Advertisement. It's late at night and the moonlight is beautiful. Chi Yejun looked at the moonlight outside the window. Suddenly a slap on the forehead? Look, I've been so busy today, I even forgot to get the sign-in reward. He quickly called out the panel. Ding. Host's use of pleasure technique brings Hineda to new heights, and her imagination is clear. Special reward is A-level secret technique, Zindu. Candy of chaos. Chaos candy. Xian Dun was eliminated by blood. Chi Yejun has learned the joyful technique and the spring scenery. Chaos candy is Xian Dun's third ninjutsu. Chaos candy can create a pill that condenses Xian Dun chakra, and can transform any kind of food, including alcohol. The victim will experience extreme pleasure after eating it. Chi Yejun was stunned for a moment. Hey, what's the difference between this and pleasure technique? Emphasis added, after the effect of the medicine ends, you will fall into the same amount of pain and depression, lose all fighting spirit, be passive and world weary, and in severe cases, you may have thoughts of suicide. It looks like a jelly bean, but it is actually the destruction of humanity. After taking it, you will commit suicide. Isn't that the highest level of killing, the method of killing by passing the blame? However, how to make the other party willingly accept it requires a certain strategy. Chi Yejun couldn't wait to use chaos candy. A rainbow jelly bean appears on the hand. He put the jelly beans into the glass of water. There is no difference, it is still crystal clear. He darted to the backyard. Pour the water into Hineda's newly planted cucumber seedlings. Advertisement. Under the moonlight. Cucumbers grow at a speed visible to the naked eye. Soon they turned into cucumbers as thick as an arm. All the top flowers are thorny and emerald green. But before he could pick it, the cucumber quickly withered and withered. Then they turned into black powder. Haha, ha, it's really wonderful that the wonderful crispy horns that ate Bulbasaur seeds entered the wonderful house. It's so wonderful. Chi Yejun is very satisfied with this reward. After returning to bed, he thought about his next plan. There is still one month left before the third exam, and I can still enjoy a peaceful life for one month. The next day, he rushed to Kanaha Hospital, outside the special care VIP ward. I don't know who is humming a tune without opening his eyes. Today is a good day, everything you want can come true. Chi Yejun directly opened the ward door. Grandpa Hokage, what's wrong with you? Third generation saw it was him and got excited. I have been suffering from severe constipation for many years. I come here to recuperate. I can eat nutritious meals for a few days and take some vitamin supplements to moisturize my intestines. It's rare for the public to pay for it. The old man has no reservations about Chi Yejun. After chatting for a while, a fat aunt came in. This person is the oldest and most senior gold medal head nurse in Kanaha Hospital. She actually recognized Chi Yejun? Little guy, I was the one who delivered you. You were very cheeky when you were a child. You weighed about 7 pounds when you were born. When you opened your eyes, you saw the pretty little nurse who delivered you. She slapped your butt and grinned. Chi Yejun couldn't help asking, then have you seen my father? The head nurse frowned and thought for a moment before saying, I think I've only seen him once. He's tall and handsome, but his hair. Advertisement. Ahem. Third generation suddenly coughed hard. The head nurse then fell silent. No matter how much Chi Yejun asked, he didn't say anything. The more he thought about it, the weirder he felt. Chi Yejun proposed buying land and apartments. Third generation called the dark ninja at the door to explain. Afterwards, only one old man and one young child were left in the ward. Maybe third generation feels like they are not going to die soon. He actually recalled the past in front of Chi Yejun. I remember that it was a grand day, the day when I became a disciple. That day, I met Danzo, who also studied under second generation. Danzo, this is the first time third generation mentioned Danzo to Ikono Jun. Chi Yejun immediately sat upright, because he could predict that what the old man was going to say next would be something very serious. It's even related to the future of Konoha. Third generation took a deep puff of cigarette and continued. In the vast sea of people, our eyes collided inadvertently. The moment we looked at each other, there was a ripple in each other's hearts, as if we were the most important people in each other's life. Chi Yejun was stunned. Wow, so exciting. Danzo didn't wear a bandage that year, and I wasn't a hokage. On rainy nights in summer, we walked together and began to tell our stories. Silence. Only a little ticking sound can be heard. A long time. Advertisement. Third generation hummed softly. Just because I took one more look at you in the crowd, I can never forget your face again. A hoarse old voice lingered. The door was suddenly pushed open. None other than Danzo. He took the tea leaves given by others and pretended to visit third generation. Chi Yejun smiled and said, Don't worry, Grandpa Hokage is just constipated and will be discharged from the hospital in two days. Just constipation? I thought I would be the fifth Hokage soon. Danzo was so angry. Chi Yejun looked at the two old men. Now, the difference between them is even more obvious than in the anime. Although they are about the same age, one looks very old, while the other has jet black hair and a middle-aged body. He also discussed it with the young nurses at that time. Nurse Joe, Danzo is willing to spend money on his own face, but third generation is reluctant to do so. Nurse Wu, Danzo is not married, and the third generation has been drained. Nurse Zhang, perhaps the third generation approval documents were nerve-wracking. Nurse Wang is the real Hokage fan. She hit the nail on the head? That's because Danzo transplanted Hashirama cells, which is like taking hyaluronic acid. Ikeno Jun and Danzo looked at each other, their eyes were like icy blades. Then turned and left. He went to see Koji again. When I arrived at the door of Suzuki's ward, I suddenly saw a sneaky black figure. Advertisement. Chapter 102 If you dare to demolish my house, I will disgust you to death. Advertisement. Kanaha Hospital, Ward Corridor. A man with glasses was sneaking towards Suzuki's ward. Chi Yejun happened to come over. The man immediately turned into a black shadow and fled away. Of course Chi Yejun found him. None other than Yakushi Kabuto. But Chi Yejun is not worried. Because of Kakashi's protection, Suzuki is safe for the time being. He gently pushed open the ward door. I didn't expect Naruto to be inside. Naruto was staring at Suzuki, dumbfounded. Suzuki is on a ventilator. Close your eyes tightly. The body is full of tubes. The instruments around him were beeping, as if once the sound stopped, his life would also end. This was the first time Naruto saw Suzuki like this. Where was that arrogant second pillar? What about that pretender who was severely beaten by society? Why are you so weak right now? You have the ability to stand up and call me an idiot? Unconsciously, Naruto's eyes were filled with tears. But, he quickly wiped away his tears and shouted, You idiot Suzuki, wake up, I'm going to compete with you. Two days later, 
Chi Yejun obtained the property ownership certificate of Sunshine Apartment. Become the owner of an apartment building, he entrusted the leasing business to an agent. Not long after he left the agency, a beautiful purple-haired girl walked into Randa House. Return home. The courtyard has been marked for demolition. Chi Yejun sneered. He raised the land certificate in his hand. It's just that in the future, residential buildings will not be allowed to be built, only commercial buildings will be built. Subsequently, advertisement. He came to the task hall and issued the task of building a house. D-level mission. Including the material cost, it is only a few hundred thousand tails. Chi Yejun was stunned and gave him more than one million tails. He just wanted to build it up as quickly as possible to discuss the old man. Of course there is another purpose. Establish a relationship with Captain Yamato in advance. Because the infrastructure construction of Sunset Village in the future cannot be separated from wood style. Since Junji traveled through time, what he wanted most was wood style. Especially the wood style. Four pillar house and the wood style. Pillar house. Don't mention some treasures, they are not called Yamato, they should be called Tenzo, check online for details. Really? Yamato is alarmed? He personally participated in the construction and got to know Junji initially. Money can make the world go round. Soon, a simple and solemn wooden hut was built overnight. But it's not the fresh food supermarket Hinata's father hoped for. The next morning, the sun is shining brightly. Hayaga Hayashi opened the courtyard door. Looking up, I saw a big sign opposite. Nichiri Funeral Service. There are also a few large wreaths facing themselves, the white flowers are particularly dazzling. The tweeter is playing in a loop. Customer discounts have begun, whether new or old customers buy coffins, we will provide funeral services, there are many styles for you to choose from. Whether it is cremation, burial, water burial, or black people carrying the coffin, it is all the same price. No worries for the children and the neighbors, half price. Then the mournful music sounded, right in front of the door of his house. Hayashi was stunned on the spot like a thunderbolt. What's the situation? What about the fresh food supermarket you promised? Where are my gizzard fish and shiso? Why did it become a coffin shop? What made him vomit blood the most was, on the streets of Konoha village, Jun Ikono spent money to advertise. In the address column it says, Advertisement. Our store is located in Nishimaki Bay of Elaine, directly opposite Hayaga's house. I'm so angry, Hineda. Hineda is grounded. But Chi Yejun is not worried. Can't you ban her for life? Let you demolish my yard? Damn old man, not building a paid toilet is just for Hineda's sake. Even though Hayaga is Hineda's father, Hineda will also be his first woman from now on. But one code equals another. If you dare to demolish my house, then don't blame me for not recognizing my relatives. Although the funeral service company was established, Chi Yejun also had no skills at all. It just so happened that the system issued a task. Ding, issue a task sign-in, and ask the host to hire two clerks, one is hardworking and self-disciplined, and the other has business acumen. The deadline is one day, and they cannot be dispatched from the hot spring resort. All right, he immediately ran to the employment agency responsible for recruitment. I happened to meet a young man. Chi Yejun was attracted by his self-introduction. My name is Kira Sora, I'm 15 years old. I live in the Kanaha Higashimaki area and I'm unmarried. I used to work at the Jose Lai Funeral Service in Tangsha Street. I had to work overtime until 8 p.m. every day. I don't smoke and only drink. Yu Chien Chang. Go to bed at 11 o'clock in the evening, drink a glass of warm milk before going to bed, and then do 20 minutes of soft exercises. Isn't this a self-disciplined person? After the trial period, Chi Yejun found him to be hardworking, simple, and hospitable. And he doesn't have the potential to be a murderer. I don't have any special preference for women's hands either. So he was promoted to store manager. Evening. Chi Jun found a red-haired girl on Kanaha Street again. She was squatting on the side of the road selling detonating charms. While selling, he avoided Kanaha City management. After seeing Chi Yejun, she said softly, Sir, buy one. No one is taking care of my business. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in three days. Chi Yejun smiled and shook his head. The little girl was about to light the detonator immediately. Then I can only go see my grandma, and everyone in Kanaha village will also see my grandma. Advertisement. Chi Yejun quickly stopped her. After learning, her hometown is in the kingdom of Whirlpool. Later, after the country was destroyed, the family moved to the kingdom of Rain to live. She was also born there. The girl's name is Azumaki Maki and she is 12 years old. Unfortunately, the family is in trouble. Become an orphan. Later, he wandered all the way to Kanaha village and made a living by selling things. Chi Yejun found that she had a talent for management and was very sensitive to numbers. He is an excellent marketing expert. So she was recruited to the funeral agency, and called her the little girl selling detonating charms. Later, she met Naruto. Night had fallen by now, but the streets of Kanaha village were dimly lit, and the bustling scene was no worse than during the day. Aikano Jun took Azumaki Maki to the funeral home, and after settling in, he walked to his new home. The new apartment is located in Kanaha Nishimaki, not far from Kanaha Hospital. Sit in the spacious lobby. He felt relaxed and happy. There is a large banner on the wall opposite. Sleep until you wake up naturally, count money until your hands cramp. It's great to have money, then summon the system and complete the sign-in. To his surprise, this time the reward was another doll, and it's someone who can share the five senses with the host. It was because of the help of this doll that Junji and Hineda finally made a substantial breakthrough. Except for infinite Tsukuyomi, Hineda rebelled once beforehand. Chi Yejun bids farewell to the five-finger girl. And at this moment, a hidden place in Kanaha village, Do knelt in front of Ant Snake. Get up. Following the order, Kabuto stood up and wiped the corners of his lips. Update suspension announcement. Due to an emergency at work, the update will be suspended for one day on Thursday the 13th, and updates will be resumed on Friday the 14th. Thank you again for your support and encouragement. I don't love my ex-girlfriend, I only love you. Advertisement. Chapter 103, Beautiful Doll with Shared Senses. Advertisement. Quiet Lakeside. The pavilions, terraces and pavilions are simple and unsophisticated. Ant Snake looked at Kanaha Village in the distance, which was peaceful and peaceful. Kanaha is such a peaceful place. Subsequently, yellow vertical pupils looked at Kabuto, with an icy chill on his pale face. The curse seal I gave to Suzuki seems to have been sealed by Kakashi. Kabuto asked, then what do you want me to do? Uncle Snake sneered, I want you to bring him right away before the darkness in his heart dissipates. However, the person next to him, Kabuto answered, are you concerned about the man named Ikono Jun? 
Uncle Snake shook his head. Ikono Jun didn't have much influence on him, but Naruto was tired of being with Suzuki all day long, and even changed his inner world. This child had a great influence on him, so I hope you can separate them and let Suzuki be affected soon. My influence. Finished. Licking his tongue, he looked at Kanaha village in the distance with a sinister look in his eyes. Kabuto had already broken out in a cold sweat. It turned into a burst of smoke and disappeared in place. And at this moment, Chi Yejun. Because two employees were recruited, the task was completed, and the reward was opened. A girl who was both calm, beautiful, and cute appeared in front of her. Straight blue hair, black suit with black skirt, and white knee-high socks. This person is Sonozaki Nariko. From the binder, she is an icy beauty with a somewhat aloof personality. Can create a soul bond with the host. In other words, Faze can feel host's emotions, and host can also hear, see, smell, and touch through Faze, sharing the five senses with each other. What's the difference between that and super perception? Chi Yejun asked. Advertisement. Perception can only sense, not actually touch. At the current level, Faze's movement range is 5 kilometers, and he can retrieve objects from the air and release chakra mark functions. In the future, the range can be upgraded, and he can even perform host ninjutsu. Chi Yejun seemed to understand. Then Sonozaki Noriko was sent to Hayaga's house. Noriko Sonozaki disappeared in an instant. Streets, pedestrians, and shops also appeared in front of Chi Yejun. It feels the same as walking on the street. Float all the way to Hayaga's house. Naturally no one can see the doll. Hayaga Hayashi was discussing Hineda's marriage with his wife. That wild boy really overestimates his abilities. Hineda's mother is a gentle lady. Her impression of Chi Yejun was pretty good. I think he's pretty good. No matter how good you are, you have no identity or family background. In Hayashi's eyes, a well-matched background goes beyond looks, talent, and character. Don't talk about him, even the Nara, Akamaiki, and Abarame clan I don't like. Hineda will become the Fire King's concubine in the future. Chi Yejun is furious. FK FK FK. This old man actually wanted to marry his daughter to the son of the Fire Nation's daimyo. You are forcing me to cook the rice before it is cooked. Subsequently, Noriko Sonozaki floated into Hineda's house. Hineda was lying on the bed crying. Hanabi got a little red flower in the class and was very happy in the future, but after he passed the preliminaries, he said coldly, It's just good luck. Maybe it was Niji who let you do it. Don't be too proud. The more Hineda thought about it, the sadder she became. Advertisement. The pillow was completely wet. Chi Yejun felt heartbroken when he saw it. Noriko Sonozaki reached out and stroked Hineda's head gently. Hineda didn't feel it, but Chi Yejun could feel her silky hair. You can even smell the citrus fragrance emanating from the collar nearby. Faze, can you release a chakra mark in the room? Host, just use your mind to release it, and I can synchronize it. Subsequently, chakra mark appeared in Hineda's house. After taking back the doll, Noriko fainted, and Chi Yejun hugged her. Cannot be summoned continuously and has a 10-day cooling time, but the time will become shorter with upgrades. The doll that looks like an auxiliary actually has a magical effect. Hearing Hayashi's thoughts today, Ikono Jun was furious. He doesn't want to wait anymore. Don't want to wait until next year? Anyway, it's only been more than half a year, and he is considered an adult in the Hokage world. It would be even better if there are two more skewers of octopus balls. It's just Hineda. Will she agree? At this moment, Hineda slowly wiped away her tears. Late this night, Toshi Ikono flew to the land of snow, in the palace of the Snow King. The acting daimyo San Teifu entertained him warmly. Chi Yejun said the purpose of this trip. Hopefully they can send engineers to Sunset Village to explore. Prepare for the construction of the railway. Advertisement. The contract has been drawn up by Toshi Ikono. However, the third wife still asked. But, even if the railway is built, you can't transport the train. Chi Yejun smiled and waved his hand. I have my own way of doing this. After returning to Kanaha village, flowers are blooming and people are flowing. Everyone is enjoying a peaceful life. Only Chi Yejun could feel the thick haze gathering in the sky. Sound Ninja Village and San Shinobi Village have mobilized all their forces and quietly gathered towards the border of the Land of Fire. Hot-blooded Naruto besides taking care of Suzuki. More time is spent preparing for the exam one month later. He pesters Ikono Jun to teach him Doria by, but Naruto doesn't have the Earth Attribute Chakra yet. How could Toshi Ikono? Naruto, it depends on who uses the Earth Flow Wall. If you use it well, it's called Earth Flow Wall. If you use it poorly, it's called Earth Flow Wall. At present, you can't even do Earth Flow Wall. Looking at Naruto's disappointed look, Ikono Jun simply handed Reisnan to him in advance. Speaking of Reisnan, he couldn't help but think of Jiraiya. According to the original plot, Jiraiya became Naruto's teacher, so how can I become his apprentice and follow him? Think about it this way. Immediately run to the Hokage building. After a lot of talk, third generation terminated the master-disciple relationship with him. Third generation itself is somewhat guilty. Called master and disciple, I haven't taught anyone anything yet. After the relationship was dissolved, Toshi Ikono met Jiraiya again, and he had a reason to become his disciple. After Naruto learned the Reisnan, he started practicing hard. Seeing that he was rarely so serious, Chi Yejun was too embarrassed to disturb him. But Hineda is also grounded. Ino traveled abroad with her brother to relax. Fengua Zioxu also returned to the Land of Snow to attend the ceremony. Advertisement. Chapter 104 A Romantic Night with Hineda. Advertisement. The night is quiet, the moon is bright and the stars are few. Hineda was grounded for five days. He can only train in the martial arts field at home every day, and the door is not allowed to let out. I miss Junjun so much. Omega. What is he doing? At this moment, Chi Yejun finally couldn't hold himself back. Whoosh. A flying thunder god. Suddenly appeared in Hineda's bedroom. Hineda is lying on the bed drawing pictures, all of which are Ikono Jun and Little Hearts. After seeing Chi Yejun, she was stunned. Junjun, why are you here? Illusion or illusion? Hineda's brain has lost the ability to direct actions. It's me, not a genjutsu. Do you remember in the forest of the land of waves? I held you in my arms and flew like a swish, that's the magic. Hineda seemed to understand and asked. But didn't you say that you need to leave a mark in advance? How can there be a mark on my house? You have never been to my house. Advertisement. Chi Yejun scratched his head. Hehe, <laughs> it's a long story. By the way, can I take you to a place? 
He made his eyes lit up. My father should be sleeping anyway. Then, Chi Yejun picked her up and disappeared instantly. He bought a piece of land, located near Hokage Rock Mountain. It was sparsely populated. It is a continuous forest composed of pine, spruce, cypress, etc., with Madara colors, like a fairy land. Chi Yejun brought Hineda to the homestead. They sat quietly on the grass, looking up at the blue night sky, it seems to be filled with bright diamonds. Under the moonlight, a sea of flowers appears. Apart from peonies and roses, Ikeno Jun didn't know them at all, but Hineda was overjoyed. Violet, Tulip, Kenna, it's so beautiful here, it's really a treasure land. At this time, the pleasant sound of water flow sounded. Advertisement. Chi Yejun looked up. A stream slowly flows from the mountains into the valley, forming a crystal clear pool. The mountains in the distance are hazy, shrouded in night fog. The night is getting darker. Shall I take you back? Um. Hineda looked at the wonderland behind her again and fell in love with it completely. Subsequently, he sends Hineda home. Don't worry, I won't just fly here without your consent from now on. Hineda nodded, blushing. The inner rebellion is getting stronger. When he wanted to leave, Hineda finally said cowardly, How about, you stay with me? Chi Yejun couldn't ask for it. Now, the system suddenly jumped out. Issue a task. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission and signing in, and will be rewarded with the Ninja Tool Kong Oil Umbrella and the Ninja Technique. Like Rain and Dew Thousand Books. Advertisement. Like Rain and Dew on a Thousand Books. This is one of the representative hidden weapon ninjutsu of Rain Shinobi Village. Let the parachute in your hand fly above the enemy. Then countless Senbon falls from the umbrella to attack the enemy. Not to mention the power, the effect alone is gorgeous. Ikeno Jun also saw it live during the game in the Forest of Death. It's a pretty good ninjutsu, I'll take it. Kneel down for you, please stop talking about rubbish ninjutsu. Baby, this is only 200,000 words. My goal is to finish the book with at least 1 million words. Now I will reward eyes, wood, and whiskers. Obscene, explosive, etc. The combat effectiveness is absolutely broken, and I will be a eunuch under 250,000 words. Return to the apartment. Come to the study room. Pick up a marker and write and draw on the whiteboard. He was thinking about his role in the Kanaha Collapse Plan. Purpose of Orikimaru. Destroy Kanaha? Kill Sarutobi? Goose is okay? And the main motivation is revenge against the third generation. Because the third generation prohibited him from engaging in scientific research, hindering his dream of achieving immortality and mastering all ninjutsu. Ikeno Shan drew Orikimaru's appearance. Advertisement. Chapter 105 Obtaining the Ninja Technique. Like Rain and Do Thousand Books. Advertisement. Stared for a long time. Ikeno Jun didn't feel disgusted at all with this controversial and dramatic figure. He's so much cuter than Danzo? Maybe it's because he is one of the few people who has successfully been whitewashed and can live comfortably in the ninja world and enjoy the rest of his life. He did a lot of things that benefited others and benefited himself. He captured children for human experiments. He was bent on destroying the peace of Konoha. He also personally caused the death of his mentor. Chi Yejun took a bite of the raccoon noodles and continued to analyze. But despite this, he also saved many people and made a significant contribution to the victory of the fourth ninja war. Based on, Ikeno Shun had no intention of telling the third generation about the plan to destroy Konoha. Even before Moonlight Hei was killed, he had no intention of stopping Beiki. Because if we really do this, the main plot will completely change. The whole world might collapse too. Forget it, let's not think about it. I can't neglect my practice these days. At this moment. Kanaha Hospital. Naruto came out of Suzuki's ward and met Kakashi. Naruto, I want to introduce you to a teacher who will specifically tutor you. Naruto shouted. Nanny, I don't want it. I want Mr. Kakashi to teach me. Advertisement. Kakashi said lazily, I still have important things to do, so I don't have time to worry about you. Naruto frowned for three seconds. He immediately got angry, pointed at him and asked. You're going to call Suzuki, right? But he hasn't woken up yet. Kakashi-sensei is partial. Kakashi has black lines all over his head. The teacher I introduced to you is even more powerful. Naruto then asked curiously, who could it be? Ui Kurane-sensei can do it too. At this time, there were footsteps behind me. Naruto turned around and immediately went crazy. What's the situation? Why did the original courtyard become a coffin shop? So many little white fafas. Hey, I've moved. Let me introduce you to a girl. After saying that, I called Uzumaki Maki. Maki has long red hair and a baby face. She is cute but has a hint of cunning. Can't say she isn't beautiful. But it's still a little worse than Hineda and Ino. She will definitely be good at getting by in the future. Advertisement. It's a perfect match for the thrifty Naruto. After seeing Naruto, Uzumaki Maki was moved. Although Chi Yejun is very handsome, there is an old saying. The bastard looked at the mung bean, his eyes met. Maki still likes Naruto like this. Only, at this moment Naruto's attention was focused on the various coffins and wreaths. He even picked a small chrysanthemum and put it on his head. That night, Naruto came to Ikeno Jun's new home. Wow, it's bigger than before. Chi Yejun cooks while he lies on the sofa and plays games. Dining room. They both mentioned Ebisu. When Naruto found out that Toshi Ikeno had taught him a lesson, he was so happy that his mouth dropped to the Hokage Rock. However, Toshi Chino still made an objective evaluation. You should humbly learn from Ebisu Sensei. He is actually a pretty good Jonin and is very kind to his students. But Naruto still didn't like him very much. But don't worry, you will meet the greatest teacher in the world soon. Advertisement. Later, Toshi Ikeno mentioned Uzumaki Maki again. But Naruto said something. If you lose the game, you can start over. But if you don't have a girlfriend anymore, you can keep playing games. Chi Yejun didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Okay, I've introduced you anyway. From now on, it depends on the fate and fate of the two of you. After Suzuki woke up. I know that Toshi Ikeno introduced Naruto to his girlfriend. During that time, he ignored Chi Yejun. Chi Yejun still doesn't understand where he offended him. This evening, Naruto stayed at Toshi Ikeno's house. He left the apartment the next day and went to the training ground to receive Ebisu's guidance. A flying thunder god from Ikeno Jun came to Romanji's house. After handing her the diapers and breast pump that Kakashi brought, Ikeno Jun came to the village. Construction of Sunset Village is in full swing. A bustling scene. Later, he met Zabiza and Haku. What surprised him was that Zabiza completely changed. And the completion of the palace also left him stunned. Advertisement. Chapter 106 Sunset Village. Advertisement. The Country of Waves. 
The former small fishing village was barren and backward. The barn is empty and the well is empty. Now it has become a beautiful countryside. Men sweat construction. Women wore grass skirts and danced in condolences. A magnificent gate stands at the entrance of the village. There are three big golden characters written on it. Sunset Village. The loudspeakers in the village also played on a loop. We welcome you and open up a new world for you. The flowing charm is full of vitality. Chi Yejun nodded with great satisfaction. Zabuza, Haku, and others ran to greet them. Zabuza had already taken off his mask. Although the sharp teeth in his mouth are still a bit scary, when he is not talking, he is handsome and handsome. Advertisement. They gathered a dozen wandering ninjas. The defense strength of Sunset Village has been expanded. Zabuza also became the village security director. Chi Yejun's palace has been built. Located in a lush forest, it is a royal manor-like mansion. Chi Yejun thought of Jojo's manor. In addition to gardens and squares, the mansion also has a swimming pool and an observation deck. The main building has four floors and more than 40 bedrooms. Chi Yejun did the math. If you live here and change rooms every night, you will have to sleep for at least more than a month. At this time, a black carriage approaches. Under the leadership of Zabuza, it took half an hour to complete the tour of the manor. This damn thing is too big. The interior is even more magnificent and luxurious. A protective shield hangs over the village. It doesn't matter how complicated the world outside is, even if it's under fire. Advertisement. We are still singing and dancing here. Little brother, you look so good looking. A cute little girl who looked like a porcelain doll ran over and interrupted his thoughts. She is an orphan adopted by Zabuza and Haku. Chi Yejun gently picked her up, and couldn't help but longing in his heart, when will I have a baby? Zabuza and Haku were saving money. As for the purpose of saving money, Chi Yejun easily guessed it. In the future, Shiro will be sent to the demon country for surgery, and at the same time, Zabuza's fangs will be smoothed. One day I will learn medical ninjutsu that is more powerful than ant snakes. Chi Yejun longed for it in his heart. He is very satisfied with the palace in Sunset Village, but the construction of the homestead in Kanaha Village is also about to begin. Return to Kanaha Apartment. Clap your hands, turn on the computer and start drawing. Then suddenly I remembered the Akatsuki organization. What interactions and stories will happen between me and Xiao in the future time travel? He was lost in reverie. In the world of Hokage, Akatsuki has been undertaking the great mission of accepting tasks, advancing the plot, and subsequently burping. Advertisement. Chi Yejun was so impressed by Akatsuki. Because the quality is too high, wearing a black robe with red clouds. A pair of white geo. When walking, I put my hands in my sleeves without shaking them. It gives people a feeling that they seem to be arrogant but are actually lazy. While watching a movie, Nurse Feng asked. Hey, what are their rings for? Chi Yejun explained with a smile. Of course it's a symbol of status and prowess. I didn't even forget to run away with the ring when Orikimura broke his hand. But compared to the rings, the most exciting thing is that everyone wears different colors of nail polish. When the Akatsuki organization was founded, it was originally for world peace. Driven by the three little angels Yahiko, Nagato, and Konan, it was originally an active anti-war organization. But the good times don't last long. After losing Yahiko and being guided by Obito, the Akatsuki organization's operational philosophy has changed from world peace to world nuclear peace. They disbanded, reorganized, and recalled rebel ninjas who had their own stories. Advertisement. Chapter 107 The Palace in Sunset Village is completed. Advertisement. Everyone's goals and beliefs are different. Kakuzo is wealth, Obito is Lin, Nagato is ideal, Itaki is surveillance and younger brother, Dog Head saves life. Not to mention the murderous Haydn and the loquat Juzo who burped in memories. They actually have a lot of internal conflicts. This is why the two teams constrain each other. But it is this restriction and delicate balance that gives them a common goal. Capture the tailed beast. But it's so touching that Kakuzu even killed his teammates. Everyone obviously has cage level or super cage level strength, but basically they are all defeated by the people of Kanaha? I don't know what my fate will be after meeting Toshichino in the future. They were basically naked when they died. There is also a popular meme, take off your clothes and you will die. Nurse 2 raised objections at the time. Not necessarily. Why didn't Sister Nan take off her clothes when she died? Didn't Obito do something? Chi Yejun sighed, let Konan go, she is just a rich woman. With the exception of Konan, once a member of the Akatsuki organization takes off their clothes during a battle, no matter how calmly you act, there is basically nothing you can do. Advertisement. The immortal duo took off their clothes and both burped. Uchiha Itaka died of illness after his coat was shattered by Akirin. Diodera tore off her shirt because she was about to blow herself up. He same takes off his clothes, turns into a shark and commits suicide. And Nagato was so coquettish that when he attacked Kanaha, he didn't even wear any clothes. No, forcing Ryan Tensei still died. When it comes to the Akatsuki organization, I have to mention Pain. This is also a character that Toshi Ikeno wants to see and hear sooner. Everyone knows the toughness and strength of Pain's six paths. But if paired with this coquettish empty ear, one bag of rice, two bags of rice, the whole persona has completely changed. It was originally meant to be a magnified move to comprehend life. Teach people to understand pain and feel pain. Sudden, he carried the rice and flew up to the second floor. Advertisement. Every time he sees this, Chi Yejun can't help but laugh. Too bad. Pen sells rice and gives it to Nima. Thinking of this, Chi Yejun laughed out loud again, and even imitated Kong ER and recited the classic lines. Right now, Chi Yejun suddenly felt an inexplicable irritability, depression, and difficulty concentrating. I've had this feeling ever since that night with Hineda. The smoking addiction in Chi Yejun's past life memory was also activated. He dug one out of space for South Blue, swallowing clouds and puffing in the mist. A member of Wixiao appeared in his mind again. Chi Yejun does not judge whether these people are good or bad. You could say they're charismatic villains. It can also be said that they are dream chasers who have no right or wrong. It's a pity that in the end, except for Ant Snake, all of them died heroes. Chi Yejun was once impressed by Akatsuki's strong character and charm. 
Payne was shocked speechless by six paths. Advertisement. I was so amused by Diodera and other live treasures. But in a later stage, all I could do was watch Akatsuki and Kakura being forced to fly all over the place by impure world reincarnation. Chi Yejun almost shed tears when he was feeling emotional. But for Akatsuki's ending, Toshi Ikeno summarized it as follows. The loser Konon bought the explosive talisman and bankrupted the Akatsuki organization. Kakuza was furious on the spot. Diodera exploded on the spot. Orikimuro escapes the organization. Nagato is hungry and thin. A ferret develops gallstones from hunger. Kisame couldn't bear the sharks to starve, so he fed himself to the sharks. Obito is just starving. Hayden was killed when he took over Kakuza's job. Scorpion had no choice but to make himself a puppet. I have spent my whole life using wood style to grow two aloe vera leaves, which rely on photosynthesis to provide energy. Pain destroyed a village for a bag of rice. Advertisement. Chapter 108, Meeting Organized by Xiao. Advertisement. Right now, an idea suddenly came to Chi Yejun's mind. If I can also establish an Akatsuki organization, or resurrect most of the members and take them as my younger brothers. At the same time as YY, a hidden base in Rain Shinobi Village. A group of handsome men and beautiful women are gathering here. They wore black trench coats embroidered with red clouds and hats with wind chimes tied on their heads. Inspirational slogans are written inside the house. Take active action and carry out the Tailed Beast Collection activity to achieve world nuclear peace as soon as possible. Thoroughly implement the policy of money first, war first. We are born to be human, and we are forced to pretend. Long live the pretending team, inside the Kingy Dormitory. Diodera had a stomach ache. Sia helped pour warm water but forgot to take the medicine. Diodera said, Dana, medicine, um. Sia frowned and said, you can throw it away, you are already so sick, what else do you want? You can only ask for it after you recover. Hey, there's a meeting inside. A roar came from outside the door. When Diodera and Sia came to the hall, Payne said dissatisfiedly, King Yu, what are you two talking about? Everyone has been waiting for a long time. Several of Diodera's mouths stuck out their tongues at the same time, making it look cute. Payne cleared his throat and became serious. Human beings are stupid creatures who cannot understand each other no matter what. Let the world feel pain, let the world feel real pain, only then can this painful terror suppress war and bring the world to stability and peace. Spicy Tiansai. Oh my god, it's starting again. He same stroked his big fish helplessly. Advertisement. Everyone seems to be used to it. The scorpion hides in the amber and yawns. Diodera fell asleep even while standing. Itaki was concentrating on chewing on his three colored balls. Z hid underground. Haydn is doing his ritual again. Kakuzu is counting money. Conan simply turned into hundreds of pieces of paper and flew away dash equals sigma, omega. Obito finally couldn't stand it anymore. He picked up the stick and hit Pain on the head with a mallet. This stick woke Pain up. Pain cursed and was about to fight back when Conan flew back. She shouted, well done. Then he immediately changed his words and said, ahem, let's get down to business. Pain then touched the bag on his head and cleared his throat. Do you remember Orikimaru? The pot immediately exploded below. That disgusting guy? Of course you remember. Oomph, he actually defected from the organization. I will definitely kill him next time I see him, huh? Yes, let him see my art. Pain patted the table and continued. According to intelligence, Orikimaru is taking action again this time. It is a plan to collapse Kanaha against Kanaha village. Hearing this, Itaki, who had remained silent, moved his fingers. He same looked at him maliciously. Ah, isn't that Itaki village? Haha. Ha. A big aloe popped out. What about? We want to go too. Advertisement. Pain shook his head. Let's observe first and see how Kanaha can collapse. If there is a chance, let's capture Nine Tails Jinshuriki. Subsequently, he resumed his tirade. The next theme is yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Let us review the past, comment on the present, and look forward to the future. There was a purr in the hall. Sapphire team. Pain yelled. Diodera was sleeping soundly while standing. When I heard the word King Yu, I immediately became energetic. Wake up and yell, art is an explosion. Scorpion was also asleep. Hearing Diodera's words, he immediately became energetic and shouted. Art is eternity. That's not right, Dana. Diodera raised an index finger and shook it at him. Art is the beauty of a moment, so art is an explosion. No, it's not. Xia shook Fei Liuhu's tail and said dissatisfied. Art is eternal beauty. Diodera pouted, put her hands on her hips and frowned. I hate it. Art is an explosion. Scorpion's voice became louder. Fart. Art is eternal. It's an explosion. It's eternity. It's an explosion. I won't call you Dana anymore, huh? Then you can sleep alone tonight. Advertisement. The remaining members dug their ears and returned to their rooms. Everyone is used to the quarrels between this pair of living treasures. And hours later, Chi Yejun fell asleep sweetly. And the two people far, far away were still arguing. Pain could only get up and interrupt the two. Be quiet. Two artists, can you let people sleep? The next day, Sunny. Hayaga's home. Hayashi's anger dissipated a lot. Hinata's grounding was finally lifted. He boasted to his wife. You need to be stricter with your children. Look at how honest Hinata has been these past two days. After hearing this, Hinata bowed her head humbly. But I feel very proud. She hasn't gone out for several days, and today she was allowed to go shopping for an hour after morning classes. 10 o'clock in the morning. Hinata left home and happened to meet Toshichino from the funeral parlor opposite. After seeing Hinata, Aikano Jun was ecstatic. After learning that she was released from the ban, he took her little hand and went shopping in Kanaha. He bought a sunflower hairpin and put it on Hinata's short hair. A review of 250,000 words, dears, please continue to watch the free videos and give me support. Thank you all, I love you. Advertisement. Chapter 109 Danzo takes the blame again. Advertisement. In Kanaha Hospital at this moment, Suzuki finally woke up. Because of Mr. Kakashi's protection, Kabuto's plan failed. Naruto heard that he was awake, asked for leave from Ebisu, and rushed over. Chijun also came with several books of children's literature and juvenile literature. He was also carrying a thermos bucket in his hand, prepared for third generation. Come to the ward corridor. Naruto stood guard at the door like a door god. Little Sakura is trying her best to squeeze in. Finally, Naruto cast multiple shadow clone, blocking the door tightly. Suzuki needs to rest, you can't go in. 
Sakura's plan to take advantage of Suzuki failed. She burst into tears. Ichiraku couldn't help but joked. It's rare to pounce in this life. Naruto, please get out of the way and let our little Sakura pounce once. Naruto then retracted his clone to make way. Little Sakura was spotted by Chiyajun. When his face turned red, he naturally felt embarrassed to pounce. Give him a hard look. If you mind your own business, you'll eat shit. After saying that, he walked in with a bouquet of lilies. After Suzuki saw her. Advertisement. He fainted again with the sound of ouch. It wasn't until little Sakura left that Suzuki secretly opened one eye. Chiyajun was overjoyed. This second pillar actually learned how to act. He held the book to Suzuki. Never thought about it. People simply look down on these children's books. Toshi Aikino, do you have a brief history of time? Suzuki asked. Chiyajun was stunned. He actually asked me to pick up shit. I won't pick up that thing when I have time. After saying that, he left the ward. Give Naruto some alone time. However, he still heard Suzuki's questioning voice. Do you know a red-haired girlfriend? The VIP ward of 3rd Hokage. Mitokato Homura sent him a blackbird to relieve his boredom. Ahino, who had already got off work, was accompanying him. Chi Yejun pushed the door open and entered. Ebino stood up in embarrassment. He pushed up his small sunglasses and ran out with a red face. Because I was running in a hurry, my bag fell on the hospital bed. Advertisement. Chi Yejun grabbed his bag and caught up. Sister, your bag. Running. Head first into the incoming Danzo? Just listen to Crash. The contents of the bag fell out. Chi Yejun looked down and his outlook immediately collapsed. EBI was so ashamed that she felt ashamed. Just don't even ask for the bag. This is not my bag. Whose is that? Chi Yejun asked curiously. EBI refers to Danzo. His. Then he ran away. Danzo was confused. B. Because Toshi Aikano was present, the items in his pockets were of no use. After a few false greetings, she picked up her bag and turned away. Third generation is certainly not stupid. Oof. The weasel wishes the chicken a happy new year. Zaijun, why are you here to see me again? The exam is in just 20 days, so hurry up and train. Chi Yejun nodded with a smile and brought the thermos bucket. Advertisement. Last time you said you wanted to eat something light, I made white porridge specially for you. After that, he filled a bowl. Third generation took it and was deeply moved. This child is so filial to me. After taking a bite, it felt a little bland. Chi Yejun dug out a bottle of something. I am the eighth oldest person in the food world, so I will eat a can of Laoganma tonight. Chi Yejun took out a bottle of Laoganma fermented bean curd. What is this? Third generation asked curiously. Fermented bean curd. Haha, ha, give it to me to try. After eating a whole 10 yuan, the old man is so rich that he doesn't need anything. Naruto also came to visit. He left with Chi Yejun in two minutes. On the way back, Chi Yejun asked. How did you learn from Ebisu sensei Naruto chuckled. Then tell him that they found a peeping white-haired man in the hot spring. Teacher Ebisu was filled with indignation. In the end, he was beaten by the uncle. Advertisement. Chapter 110 Ya Bulletin welcomes my three immortals. Advertisement. All right. It is indeed the same as the original plot. Zaijun, guess what I did next? Naruto said excitedly. Aikano Jun helped his forward protector. You used thousand years of death on Ebisu sensei Naruto froze in place. How do you know? Chi Yejun smiled and pulled him up. Let's go, I'll introduce you to a new teacher. Chi Yejun walked into the funeral home. Uzumaki Maki was talking animatedly to Kira. Aikano Jun listened carefully and found out that it was eight trigrams about third generation and a Haino. He couldn't help but think of Sarutobi Lake Baiwa, one of the Hokage Ninja Soy Sauce Kings. Die when you appear. After Naruto's mother Kushina gave birth, Lake Baiwa took good care of her. But he was killed by Obito who took the opportunity to seize nine tails. Do the math. Thirteen years have passed. Advertisement. Although third generation has sex points, she has never married, which shows that she still has not forgotten her late wife in her heart. Only this time. Asuma, if your father hadn't passed away soon, Ebino would have become your stepmother. Chi Yejun sighed, thinking of Sarutobi Hiruzen's death. He was lost in thought again. In his eyes, third generation is even more hilarious. But if he is resurrected, cage level third generation is bound to be a big threat to Tsunade. Although the soul of the ancestors can be resurrected, it cannot seize the ability. But everything is possible with the system. Maybe a special resurrection card will be awarded at that time. But anyway, after not fully understanding the cooldown time of ancestral soul, he doesn't use it lightly, because it had to be left to Jiraiya. Mention Jiraiya. He just happened to come back from collecting things. About to become Naruto's master. In order to follow up the plot, Aikano Jun plans to apprentice with Naruto. The next day, Aikano Shun took Naruto to find him. Advertisement. But, I searched all the hot springs in Konoha, but no trace of him was found. Who are you taking me to find? Naruto was very discouraged. Chi Yejun smiled and said, Don't worry, he is a very awesome person. Until the evening. Finally found Jiraiya in a hot spring. Still wearing a red vest and clogs. Holding the telescope given by Chi Yejun, I squatted on the roof and watched in ecstasy. Oh ouch. With a smile still hanging on the corner of his lips, he said with a smile. There are still many beauties in Kanaha. Now, Chi Yejun pointed and said, Naruto, he is Lord Jiraiya. Naruto looked up. Instantly fried. What did you say? It's him. He was caught by teacher Ebisu that day, and he comes again today. Is this the good teacher you call me? I won't do it. I don't want Menzeo to be my teacher. Jiraiya heard the conversation and shouted below. Hey, little golden retriever, what are you talking about? I'm collecting materials for my creation. Naruto asked curiously. Then your occupation is. Jiraiya laughed. Advertisement. Writer. Jiraiya, the fallen leaves of Angelica Sinensis root. The leaves do not welcome my three immortals. Aikano Shun admires his ultimate use of ordinary tricks. Just like the trivial fire style, everyone can use it. But can combine fire and oil to deal explosive damage. This is one of the strengths of Jiraiya. Also, Chi Yejun admires his will to never give up. So after becoming a ninja, Chi Yejun always kept one sentence in mind. The measure of a ninja's talent is not the number of ninjutsu he masters, but the perseverance to never give up. Jiraiya touched Aikano Jun's head. His eyes are full of love and doting. Then he looked at Naruto. A figure appeared in my mind. And Junji also received the latest sign-in task. The system told him in advance. This time the reward is a summoning spell. Toad family, Chi Yejun was overjoyed. Thinking of Gamabunta, Gamakaki, Gama Dragon. Advertisement. 
Chapter 111 Becoming a Disciple of Jiraiya Advertisement The streets of Kanaha are sunny. Jiraiya looked at Naruto. The image of Namikaze Minato comes to mind. Remembering that he taught me the unique skill Raisinon before he was alive. And right now, the system jumps out. A story mission is issued. Ding. Publish plot check-in. Ask host to become Jiraiya's apprentice and assist Naruto to become his apprentice. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Chiya Jun said straight to the point. Uncle, the third Shinin exam will be coming soon, and I want you to be my training teacher. Jiraiya was stunned. Tutoring Naruto he was already prepared. And that's also the purpose of coming back this time. But if you take on another apprentice, Chi Yejun naturally saw his concerns and immediately said, Uncle, don't worry, I won't take up too much of your time. Aikano Jun does not want to become a disciple. His real purpose is to follow Jiraiya to start the follow-up plot and make up for his regrets. With that, he would pull Naruto over. His name is Azumaki Naruto, and he also needs an instructor. You just need to focus on teaching him. I mainly keep him company, and I also like being with Uncle. Chi Yejun's mouth was filled with honey. Advertisement. Uncle, if I were a woman, I would definitely marry you. Jiraiya agrees to become Aikano Jun's master. The two have the same temperament. Although I promise to accept you as my disciple, I don't have much energy to teach you. As you know, I also want to write a novel. Can you accept free-range pigeon flying teaching? This is in line with Chi Yejun's wishes. He nodded immediately. And Naruto at this moment, he was looking at Jiraiya with disdain. Jiraiya suddenly felt unhappy and pretended to say, But I can guide you, but I don't have time to guide this brat. Naruto immediately shouted, I don't care about that. The perverted uncle who can't even avoid soap, guiding me will only make me regress further. Then, the two of them started quarreling with each other. This scene left Chi Yejun stunned. One is old and disrespectful. A supercilious one. It's like a shrew in the market scolding. When the two finally had enough scolding, Naruto began to mutter in his mind. This perverted uncle is very good at cursing. You can learn from him. Jiraiya reluctantly agreed to accept Naruto as his apprentice. Advertisement. But Chi Yejun clearly saw the determination and love in his eyes. Naruto also shouted to see the toad. Jiraiya formed a seal with his hands. There was a bang sound. A large toad appeared at his feet. I saw Jiraiya dancing with her waist-length white hair. This is what I am called Mount Mayaboku Toad Sage Jiraiya. A handsome appearance? Classic lines? Chi Yejun was stunned. Not to mention Naruto, his jaw almost dropped in surprise. Subsequently, Jiraiya led them towards Ichiraku Ramen. Let's celebrate by treating you to some ramen. Naruto wondered, how does he know that I like ramen? He glanced furtively at Jiraiya. This perverted uncle doesn't look so annoying anymore. Finished eating ramen. The three of them went to the small shop again and ordered some skewers of roasted flower branches. The boss just came back from peeing. Without washing his hands he picked up a bunch of roasted flower branches and handed them to Naruto. After Naruto noticed it, he pointed at him and shouted. Advertisement. Hey, uncle, you didn't wash your hands? I don't want what you took. Let the boss lady get it for me. The landlady came out and grilled a bunch of them herself and handed them to him. Naruto then started eating happily. Jiraiya smiled and said, I didn't expect you to be very clean. Necessary. At this time, Jiraiya said to him, Training starts now. Come with me to the river and let me see how you control your chakra. Chi Yejun knows. He was planning to lift the five elements seal on Naruto. So he said, I'm a little tired, so I won't participate today. After saying goodbye, return to the apartment. Sign in to complete the task. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the plot check-in and being rewarded with the summoning skill. Summoning technique? Toshi Aikano has currently obtained the cat demon Xiaohei, the shadow butterfly Mothra, the ice and snow phoenix and the mobile toilet. If I guess correctly this time, it must be a toad. The words just fell. Chi Yejun couldn't wait to try it. Summoning technique. Boom. Following a cloud of white smoke, a huge creature appeared in front of Chi Yejun. Advertisement. Chapter 112 Obtaining Summoning Technique from the Tiger Clan. Advertisement. What the hell? A giant Diaoqing tiger suddenly appeared. Majestic, majestic and majestic. The giant tiger has golden fur and black madara patterns. Strong limbs like huge pillars. The claws on the solace of the feet shone with a cold light. The sharp teeth make people shudder. The word on the forehead further highlights his status as the king of beasts. A deep male voice came. Hello master, I am Tai Jui from the Tiger Clan. The Tiger Clan? Could it be said that this summoning technique can summon the entire tiger family? Just like the toad family. Exactly, the master will continue to meet my family in the future. This is quite interesting. From now on, fighting with a group of tigers will be mighty. Immediately, a holographic panel appeared in front of him. The information about the tiger clan is displayed above. The tiger clan lives in Huaxi Valley. It is a heritage place similar to Mount Mayaboku. The founder, Hanami Senen, has survived for more than a thousand years from the time of Kagaya to the present. And it's an ancient tiger-like cat. There are three powerful men in the tiger clan. Iron Juice is one of them. The body contains the extremely powerful Senjutsu Chakra, which is already very powerful among summoning men. The Tiger Clan cannot become invisible, but possesses powerful Ninjutsu and Sage Art. Only, in addition to the powerful Chakra, the summoned Tiger Clan also needs to establish intimacy with it. That is to say, advertisement. The higher the intimacy, the higher the level of the Tiger summoned in the future, and it is possible to sign a contract with it. Chi Yejun was about to continue reading, but was interrupted by Taijui. He missed important information. Iron Juice said, Okay, that's it for today. I can't communicate with you for a long time. Let's meet again when your intimacy reaches a certain level. Take care of yourself, little one. After saying that, he disappeared in a blink of an eye. The holographic screen also disappears. What? Is this gone? So what can my current level of intimacy conjure? Chi Yejun plans to try again. Summoning technique. After the white smoke, a furry tiger cub appears. Ah, did you summon me? Do you have any snacks? Snack. Could it be that like the toad dragon, it also likes to eat snacks? Aikano Jun turned over Doraemon. Find mother's beef sticks, green shang beef nuggets, smoke and jello and more. However, tiger cubs love to eat seaweed the most. It's so delicious. My name is Yuji, and I'm starting to like you. The eyes of the well-fed little tiger were shining. Then can you tell me what skills you have? Yukichi leisurely said, I know water style. The tiger breaks through the waves, and I can also track prey. Tiger breaking through the waves? It sounds pretty cool. But stalking prey? Is it like Lalasi's ninja dog Parker, tracking with his nose? 
Can you show me? Yuji looked at the apartment, but there's no water here. Chi Yejun had an idea and ran to the bathroom to fill the bathtub with water. Advertisement. Yuji became excited when he saw the water. No, no, just turn on the faucet. Water style. Tiger breaking through the waves. Before Chi Yejun could react, I saw the water suddenly gathered into a huge tiger. Dragging the tail extending from the faucet, he pounced directly on Chi Yejun. Ten seconds later, Chi Yejun looked like a drowned rat. The entire apartment is like water flooding a golden mountain. Okay, my mistake. Chi Yejun didn't know whether to laugh or cry, so he took off his clothes. Looking at his lower abdominal muscles, Yuji curled his lips with disdain. Even though it was a tiger-like expression, Aikano Jun also felt his contempt. What do you mean? Isn't my mermaid line obvious? Yuji's amber eyes showed a bit of contempt. Then he wandered around the house. After going to the kitchen, I found a small bottle and smashed it with a slap. Spicy pepper suddenly floated out and got into Yuji's nose. The little tiger couldn't help sneezing several times. Ha 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 ha. Chi Yejun laughed. Looking at the furry little guy, Chi Yejun suddenly remembered an old saying. The tiger's butt cannot be touched. So I bent down and wanted to try it. Unexpectedly, Yuji seemed to see through his ruse. He immediately sat down and pressed his head with a flesh pad. Its eyes seemed to tell him. How can my head be touched by mortals like you? Aikano Jun smiled and took out a few bags of bully seaweed and shook them in his hands. I didn't expect this guy's style to change. Immediately she turned to his face like a cat, begging for help. Advertisement. It only takes half a day. Aikano Jun and Yuki established a deep human-tiger relationship and completed the signing of the blood contract. This was the first tiger summoning beast he obtained. Of course thanks to his endless supply of wave seaweed. Night comes, and the moon is in the sky. Half asleep and half awake. Chi Yejun seemed to feel someone hugging him inadvertently. I tried to open my eyes, but I couldn't see clearly, as if I was a young boy, until the first light of dawn. The soft touch came again. Chi Yejun quickly opened his eyes. Only then did he find Yuji lying on the side with his arms and legs spread out. This guy is quite domineering. The long tail was wrapped around Chi Yejun's neck. The front paws were still pressed against his belly, preventing him from moving around while sleeping. Chi Yejun rubbed his eyes and sat up, looking at the thin quilt on his body. What happened? I clearly remember that I didn't cover myself with a quilt last night. I slept on the quilt. Who covered me with it? Because Toshi Aikano has unlimited chakra. I forgot to cancel summoning again last night. So Yuji will always appear. After breakfast. Play with a furry tiger cub for a while. Aikano Jun ended the summons and left the apartment. Just finished inspecting funeral homes and hot spring resorts. After visiting Suzuki and Xiaoli, I went to the forest to practice for half a day. Go home and take a nap at noon. Feeling a little bored. Thinking of the cute little tiger Yukichi. Then he summoned it again. And this time, after he discovered the other party's great ability, he was stunned. Advertisement. Chapter 113, I Technique Shared with Summoning Men. Advertisement. Warm sunlight poured into the room. Chi Yejun woke up from his nap. He stretched lazily, and in a blink of an eye he saw a golden mass nestling next to him. His long tail reached into his sailor's vest. I don't know what sweet dream I had, but my little tail was still flapping lightly. He pulled the tail out. He rubbed his forehead against the furry head. Then get out of bed and pee. Wait until you come back from relieving yourself in the bathroom. Looking at the scene on the bed. Chi Yejun was stunned on the spot. Where is the little tiger Yuji on the bed? Replaced by a blonde boy about the same age as him, the young man also has a beard on his face. His first reaction was Naruto. But if you look closely, it's an unfamiliar face. It's as tough as a tiger's head. The young man opened his eyes slightly. He furrowed his thick eyebrows lightly, glanced at Chi Yejun, turned over and fell asleep again. Chi Yejun's brain was at a loss. Don't understand what's going on at all. I just peed, but why was there an extra person on the bed? Hey, who are you? How did you get in? The young man turned around leisurely and rubbed his sleepy eyes. Bright eyes looked at Chi Yejun, the corners of his eyes raised. Advertisement. Chi Yejun suddenly felt like he was being targeted by a wild beast. Even the hairs on my back stood up, although they are the same age. But there was an inexplicable aura of a king about the other party. But, it didn't take long for him to react. Could it be? The boy finally stood up. You, you are, Yuji. The young man scratched his head sheepishly. Hey, it's me. I forgot to tell you that our tiger clan has an anthropomorphic form. Anthropomorphic form? Seeing Aikano Jun's dubious expression, Yuki suddenly turned into a tiger again. Then he became a boy again. Only then did Chi Yejun become interested. Haha, <laughs> that's interesting. Subsequently, Yuji went to the kitchen refrigerator to dig out snacks. Let's introduce it while eating. We have special abilities after we turn into human form, tiger eyes. Tiger eyes? What are those? Chi Yejun asked curiously. Yuji explained in detail. Turn out to be. After the tiger clan adopts the human form, they can share tiger pupils with their master. The tiger pupils mastered by each tiger man are different. The most awesome tiger pupil is the time and space I underscore. It can see the future clearly, stop time, and even go back to the past. Taiju's tiger eyes are instant killing eyes underscore. No explanation is needed. Advertisement. And Yuji's mother's tiger pupils are the Guanyin eyes atom symbol underscore atom symbol. Also, there are also petrified eyes, replay eyes, amnesia eyes, body taking eyes, clairvoyance, dog eyes, love eyes, etc. Chi Yejun interrupted him. What are the amnesia eye and the body taking eye? Yuji said, the amnesia eye can make the opponent forget everything, while the body seizing eye can make the opponent completely lose all skills. Chi Yejun fell into deep thought. If these two are combined with the resurrection technique, they may have unexpected effects. He was overjoyed. Isn't this just eye skills like Byakugan and Sherinan? And the variety is wider. Yuji, tell me quickly, do you know these two eyes? Yuji shook his head. Then what do you know? I know how to see through eyes red heart underscore red heart. All right. Although he was a little disappointed, Chi Yejun wanted to try his clairvoyance. He dug out a suit of clothes and put them on for him. This is a black robe plus black leggings. He wears a yellow coat with triangular patterns on it. Zenitsu's costume from Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. The overall style matches Naruto's hair color very well. Originally, Aikano Shun planned to give it to Naruto. But at the moment, I feel more compatible with the tiger man. The two left the apartment and went to the street. Advertisement. Yuji, I want to try the tiger eyes. Yuji smiled and nodded. Then he took Chi Yejun's hand. 
People are coming and going on the street. Some people have already cast surprised looks. A couple of little fags. Chi Yejun immediately shook it off like an electric shock. What are you doing? In the past life, if I saw two women holding hands, I would think that they were a pair of cute best friends. But when I see two men holding hands, it feels a little awkward. Yuji was stunned. Only by holding hands can we share tiger eyes. Well, all right. Chi Yejun could only bite the bullet and hold his hand. By chance, teacher Yui Kurane walked up ahead. What the hell? Chi Yejun was stunned. The two of them walked near Kanaha Hospital again. Just happened to meet Mike Guy. He was planning to visit Xiaoli. Hello, teacher Guy. Guy, dressed in green, turned around and saw Toshi Aikano, showing his shining teeth. Aikano Jun took Yuji's hand. Can't help but look. I wipe it. Advertisement. Chapter 114, Jiraiya breaks into the country of women. Advertisement. After Guy left, Yuji said, It's time for me to go back. Mom will be anxious. Chi Yejun took out a box of bully seaweed and gave it to him. The two said goodbye and ended the summoning technique. Just as he was about to walk into the hospital, he happened to see third generation being discharged. Behind him were Jiraiya and others. After sending off the third generation, Jiraiya called out to Toshi Aikano. Little guy, do you have a girlfriend? Girlfriend. Why did the teacher ask this question? Do you also want to inspire some abilities in me? However, Toshi Chino still answered truthfully. I do. Her name is Hayaga Hineda. Jiraiya slapped his head. Remember, that girl from Hayaga's family? She seemed to have discovered me at the hot spring resort that day. Ha 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 ha. Chi Yejun nodded. Jiraiya lay next to his ear and asked. Tell me, master, how far have you developed? Chi Yejun shut up immediately. Because if Jiraiya knew, Naruto definitely knew. As soon as Naruto knows, the whole village will know. We just held hands. Then he asked, teacher, why do you ask this? Jiraiya smiled and didn't answer. He touched his head and left. Evening. Naruto's training is over. The five element seal Orikimura gave him has been lifted. Jiraiya taught him the toad summoning technique. Only, he could only summon Gameji's tadpole form. To show encouragement. Advertisement. Jiraiya takes Naruto to Ichiraku Ramen. I'm gonna start now. Naruto picked up the bowl and chopsticks and started eating. When the noodles reached my mouth, I swallowed them whole before chewing them carefully. Wow, it's so delicious. If this happens every day, I will want to practice every day. Jiraiya said something inexplicable. Eat as much as you like, it's the last time anyway. Naruto was stunned. Ah, Jiraiya immediately shook his head. Haha, <laughs> it's nothing, just open it up and eat until you have no regrets. Ha 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 ha. Naruto suddenly felt weird. But I didn't think much about it and ordered another bowl of miso charsu ramen. Half an hour passed. There are more than a dozen bowls piled on the table. Naruto rubbed his swollen belly, feeling very satisfied and comfortable. Enough, thank you, pervy sage. Turn around and look, where is Jiraiya? There was actually a green frog next to him, sticking out his tongue at him. Naruto immediately exploded, Nanny. Once eating ramen with Junji, the scene where the other party used a doll to stand in appeared again. Leave the ramen shop. Naruto took out his red toad wallet, but it was empty. Hey, are you full? Jiraiya appears from behind. Naruto burst into tears and jumped to his feet immediately. Pervy sage, you're kidding me? Didn't you agree to treat me to ramen? Jiraiya answered confidently, with a joking smile. Idiot, who said I wanted to invite you? Naruto rushed forward desperately, hitting him with small fists. Are you still an adult? At this time, Jiraiya's expression finally turned serious. Naruto, is there a girl you like? Advertisement. Naruto was stunned and let him go. Eh. Then he thought about little Sakura. But he immediately shook his head. Now I have no feelings for fat little Sakura. For some reason, two pillars suddenly appeared in my mind. Naruto smiled and scratched his head. Hehe, he, no. Jiraiya is overjoyed. The promise made many years ago can finally come true. Night. Jiraiya's home. He lay on the bed, lit a cigarette, and recalled the past. Twenty-five years ago, not far to the northwest from the land of fire, the border between the kingdom of rain and the kingdom of grass, there are two high mountains. A huge wooden bridge connects the two villages. This is Nades Hiko Village, a daughter country in a feminist society. I seriously suspect that Kishimoto borrowed from Journey to the West again. The children born were all girls, but in order to reproduce, the village chief candidates have to challenge the men from other villages. It is said that many people wrote Hokage's world-famous son-in-law novel here, Jiraiya back then. Still a young guy, he is the kind of invincible handsome guy who is loved by everyone, loved by everyone, flowers bloom when he sees them, and tires are punctured when cars see him. I heard that there is a daughter country, so naturally I traveled across mountains and rivers to collect materials. At night, an alarm sounds in the village, the super beautiful village chief ran towards the bridge with a group of beauties. Characteristics of the woman here, extremely big, comparable to Tsunade. Extremely beautiful, the fish falls behind the moon and the flowers shy of the moon, the beautiful village chief said angrily, don't lose him, let that guy know the consequences of sneaking into our village. Advertisement. This is how the same thing, turn out to be. In order to write a book, Jiraiya forced herself into the daughter country in the middle of the night to collect materials. And Jiraiya at this time, it is being hung under the bridge with a rope. Really, I'm just making out for you in heaven. Wait until he jumps into the forest. A short-haired beauty appeared in front. The beauty took up her sword and challenged. Jiraiya cast summoning. Secret technique. 36 strategies technique. He actually summoned Toad Jian and fled. The next day, it's just dawn. Jiraiya secretly came to the deserted river. After hiding in the forest all night, my whole body was sticky and smelled sour. Jumped into the river to take a bath, and grab some fish to grill for breakfast. Not paying attention, had a fall. Right now, a short-haired beauty dressed in red suddenly appears, it is the candidate for mayor of Nades Hiko village. Beautiful belt, the beauty is 28 years old. I have never seen many men in my life. Now, saw handsome Jiraiya. Then he looked at the heart-thumping guy, the beauty is greatly moved. So a contest with marriage as a bet was proposed. If you lose, you will marry me here and become my husband hehe. <laughs> the two used all kinds of ninjutsu and fought fiercely. Finally, the two made a truce and discussed a baby kiss together. Starting tomorrow, Naruto's wife will officially appear. Among the women who have crossed paths with Naruto, I feel that she is the most suitable. But the two passed by each other in the end, leaving regrets. I will make up for this regret and give him find a princess. Thanks to Wuxia Aman who loves fried oysters, 
Thank you, Lao Tai. I was stunned for a moment. I received 11 character summons for the first time. I happily ordered a bowl of fried shrimps with yellow pepper in the evening braised chicken and rice. Haha. <laughs> Advertisement. Chapter 115. Will Naruto's crown princess be her? Advertisement. The woods in the early morning are quiet and hazy. A soft mist rose from the river. Beautiful ladies and handsome men sit side by side. Since there was no distinction between superior and inferior, they discussed together. From now on, the duel will continue between their respective disciples. If Jiriya's apprentice loses, he will join Nade's Hiko village and marry her apprentice. Somewhere, Jiriya found a wife for Naruto. It also solved a series of problems such as housing betrothal gifts. Such a master? Please give me a dozen. But it may be for Naruto's father, or Yahiko, and Nagato. Now, Kanaha village Jiraiya home. Jiraiya woke up from the memory. He smiled and lit another cigarette. Outside the window, the night is beautiful and the sky is full of stars. The junction of the Fire Nation. A carriage was driving through the night. There was a beautiful girl and woman sitting in the car. The woman is her master. It was the same beautiful girl who fought with Jiraiya 25 years ago. They were also invited to Kanaha village to observe Shinin's third exam. Turn out to be, not just Jiraiya. When Sarutobi Hiruzen was young, he also visited the daughter country. The battle with Maydeze's master, Lao Maydeze, ended in a draw. Advertisement. Although they were not married, they established an intimate relationship. Even during the third war, Nade's Hiko village sent several female ninjas to help in the battle. This time third generation also extended an invitation to them to observe. Of course these are not reflected in the original work. Maydeze came here not just to observe. The main thing is to find Jiraiya's apprentice. Book a baby kiss in advance. The girl in the car is named Shizuka. Some curious babies will ask, huh? Did Shizuka from Doraemon run into the wrong set? Actually not. This Shizuka's full name is Nades Hiko Shizuka. Emphasis added, it's important to take the exam. A classmate once seriously confused Shizun and Shizun. Although he only appeared in one episode, Aikano Jun was deeply impressed. In terms of appearance, talk about body shape. The supporting role in the Hokage world is also outstanding. Too bad it only appeared in one episode. Shizuka's master took out a long object. Sitting in the carriage at night, playing the flute, I missed the white-haired man. Return to Kanaha village, in Chi Yejun's bedroom. Even though Hatsune Miku sang a lullaby, he couldn't sleep. Looking at the moonlight, my thoughts are racing. When Naruto came over for dinner in the evening, he told him that Jiraiya had also asked about his girlfriend. Chi Yejun, who was familiar with the plot, suddenly realized it. Did Jiraiya remember the agreement made many years ago? But soon he smiled and said. He has not settled his own marriage yet, so he is eager to introduce his wife to his apprentice. Advertisement. Right now, the system suddenly popped up, confirming his guess. Ding. Issue plot sign in. Ask host to help Naruto defeat Shizuka and stay with Naruto. I wipe it. This task seems a bit difficult. Hold the beauty back. The prerequisite is that you can't lose. If you lose, Naruto will join Nade's Hiko village when he is 14 years old. Then play with wool. But, if we win, how can we convince Shizuka to stay in Kanaha village and become the crown princess? In order to find a breakthrough to complete the task, Toshi Aikano opened episode 455 on his tablet and reviewed the episode in which Nade's Hiko Shizuka only appeared. In the original work, before the fourth war, Naruto rushed to the seaside town of Turtle Island to meet Nade's Hiko Shizuka and her entourage. At that time, Nade's Hiko Shizuka had become the village chief and went to Kanaha to find Naruto to fulfill the bet. The two happened to meet each other. Naruto was so scared that he wanted to run away overnight. But he was stared at by the female attendant. The entourage told him that Shizuka actually had a boyfriend named Sagari. He was a businessman who was allowed to enter the village. However, he was killed by the diehards of Nade's Hiko village. Shizuka became so sad that she became autistic from then on. Naruto's mind turned green when he heard this. After much thought, he finally agreed to have an interview with Shizuka. The next day, the ship set sail. On deck, Guy smiled and said, Naruto, did you miss the opportunity to be the groom's official? Haha. <laughs> Advertisement. And Naruto used the clone technique. The main body still stayed in the town and met Shizuka. Naruto directly stated that he was here to escape and not fight. But Shizuka refused. In the ensuing battle, Naruto didn't let go and kept his master's style. Finally defeated Shizuka. And right now, a loud noise broke the tranquility of the street. It turned out to be a loser driving a robot puppet and firing at Shizuka. How can anyone pursue a girl like this? No one cares about having sex on the street. Naruto helped her get rid of the loser and used Reznan to beat him into the brightest star in the day. As per usual, Naruto still defeated his opponent and then used mouth release. The mouth escapes. The two settled their differences. Until Captain Yamato came and took Naruto on board. Naruto continues to act as a man on the sea and sails to the distant world. The marriage with Shizuka is completely over. Another regret. After closing the video, Chi Yejun smiled and said. If Naruto had promised Nades Hiko Shizuka at that time, nothing would have happened to Hineda later. It just so happened that the system issued a task this time. Maybe Chi Yejun can really make up for his regrets. Let Naruto truly have his own love. But, poor Suzuki suddenly appeared in Aikano Jun's mind. What about the second pillar? Do you want to find one for him too? Advertisement. Chapter 116 Eating Popsicles with Tiantian. Advertisement. Thinking about it. Enter sweet dreams. The fire country is located in a tropical area. Even though it's only early April, it's still quite hot. The next morning, Chi Yejun was awakened by the heat. Get into space. After some searching, I found an old Chunlin air conditioner. But he doesn't know how to install it. In the end, only a few electric fans could be found. And Nade's Hiko Shizuka still has one day to travel from Kanaha village. Morning. After practicing until 10 o'clock, Chi Yejun came to Kanaha hospital. En route. Happened to meet Shino, Koji, Shikamaru, and Kiba. They came to visit Suzuki. Chi Yejun was surprised. They can actually come to see Urshu? Shikamaru said calmly. I don't have a deep friendship with Suzuki, and he's not a particularly likable guy. But he is a Kanaha village mate after all, so I have to go and see him no matter how troublesome it is. Hear this. Chi Yejun was stunned. Because he remembered a classic line once said by Shikamaru. I don't have a deep friendship with Suzuki, nor is he a particularly likable guy. But Suzuki is a ninja from Kanaha village like me, and he is my partner. 
So I have to save him at all costs. This this is our Konoha style. Even if I am like this, I will not be troubled by this matter, because I will protect your lives. I was moved after watching it. It's hard for people not to like such a man. The five little men walked towards Konoha Hospital in a mighty manner. Koji was eating potato chips while mumbling his lines. My name is Liang Zhisheo. My grandma is a badass. I taught her how to eat chicken. I killed more than 70 in a round, and my grandma's rounds fell into boxes. This time it is the inspirational life of Liang Zhisheo. Advertisement. The screenwriter is Jun Ikeno. Koji plays Liang Zhisheo, and Little Sakura plays Grandma. The director was invited from the Land of Snow. This is also the first movie that Jun Ikeno has officially invested in. To this group of partners who will fight together in the future. Ikeno Shun loved it from the bottom of his heart. The disinfectant water in the hospital has a strong smell. Shino kept sneezing. Chi Yejun knew that it must be that the parasites in his body could not adapt to the smell of disinfectant. Suzuki's face turned rosier. Currently reading The Ten Deadly Sins. Faced with everyone's visits, he acted neither cold nor hot. The atmosphere was a little awkward for a while. At this time, Koji couldn't help but fart. Then he said, hey, what's muddy? Everyone sniffed and sucked up all his farts. After reacting, the little guys made a fuss. After all, he is still a teenager. Love to play. Love to make trouble. Ye yelled, let's have a party, come on, get high. Straight face, straight face, straight face, straight face. Until the nurse lady ran in and cursed. Auntie, please be quiet. Everyone then left the ward with their tongues hanging out. Shikamaru and the others left without knowing Xiaoli. In the corridor, Chi Yejun met a little girl wearing a pink chongsam. Ha ha, day by day. He thought of something and took out a handkerchief from his pocket. Tian Tian, thank you for your handkerchief. Advertisement. This is when the Death Forest deals with the Sound Ninja Trio. In order to save Tian Tian, Junji wiped his blood from Tian Tian after his arm was injured. Tian Tian took it with a smile. I still owe you a meal. Chi Yejun waved his hand. Not urgent. After saying that, the two walked to Xiao Li's ward together. Niji has been discharged from the hospital to recuperate. But Xiao Li's condition did not improve at all. Ward 10. The two pushed the door open and entered. I saw a girl sitting beside the hospital bed. The hairstyle is the same as every day. He's also a meatball. Wearing a white coat, with the word medical written on the back. She had just changed the underwear of Xiao Li who was sleeping. Xiao Li had some gastrointestinal problems because he had been bedridden for a long time. Some diarrhea. The girl was looking at him tenderly and caressing his face. Chino Junima was shocked. Could it be that Xiao Li's future wife also appeared? The girl's name is Chun Li and she is a young nurse. Her family is not very wealthy and has several younger siblings to raise. When Chun Li saw Xiao Li for the first time, she was deeply attracted by those two thick eyebrows. Certainly. She even heard about Xiao Li's passion and hard work, and was completely moved by him. The thick-browed monster in Little Sakura's mouth was actually a treasured brother in Chun Li's eyes. Rock Li's hands and feet were bandaged like a mummy. Chi Yejun shook his head. Gara, this guy is really aggressive. Chun Li saw them and stood up with a red face. Pushed the cart and walked out. Advertisement. Tian Tian asked with a blushing face. It's so hot, Chi Yejun, do you like to eat popsicles? Chi Yejun nodded. Tian Tian ran out. Take advantage of the fact that no one is in the ward. He casts healing jutsu. Then he invited Hatsune Miku, who was good at healing, to come out. But Xiao Li's internal injuries were too serious. Their medical skills are not yet able to cure the disease, but can only provide relief. In the end, we still have to rely on the help of the medical master Tsunade. But under the influence of healing jutsu, Xiao Li's pain eased a lot and he slowly opened his eyes. Looking at this hot-blooded young man, a physical genius, guy's pride. Chi Yejun's heart felt a little sour. Yes, it's Xia Jun. Xiao Li struggled to get up and was held down by Chi Yejun. His eyes are a little swollen. I cried secretly last night. Because he overheard the conversation between Guy and the attending physician. The doctor told Guy, Xiao Li's hands and feet were seriously injured and he may not be able to continue to be a ninja in the future. This is consistent with Tsunade's judgment later. Chi Yejun naturally knows the subsequent plot. As soon as Tsunade appears, curing Xiao Li is not a big deal. Xiao Li, don't worry, you will definitely recover and continue to be a ninja. Really. Xiao Li was excited. Chi Yejun nodded. At this moment, the other side of Konoha village, Naruto was still practicing the toad summoning technique. And Nades Hiko Shizuka will come to Konoha village soon. Ikeno Jun even did something that shocked Jiraiya. Advertisement. Chapter 117, Learning the Toad Summoning Technique. Advertisement. Konoha Hospital. In Xiao Li's ward, Guy showed his big white face and said with a smile, Haha, Zaijun, we meet again. Where is your friend? Chi Yejun scratched his head in confusion. Which friend? It's just a friend I just made, a tough guy. Oh, it turns out to be Zaihu Yuji. Chi Yejun scratched his head and didn't know how to explain it. Guy smiled knowingly. Everyone has secrets. Youth is always accompanied by secrets, which is why youth is so wonderful and makes people crazy. It doesn't matter, your teacher Kakashi and I also had indescribable secrets when we were young. Guy is looking a little haggard these days. First of all, Kakashi puts more emphasis on sex than friends, and puts all his thoughts on Hairi Manji. Next is the most beloved disciple. Most likely to inherit his mantle, but now it is almost useless. He took out a large bag of secretly prepared pills. Xiao Li, I have to continue taking the youth pills, at least a hundred pills. Xiao Li nodded. Grab it and stuff it into your mouth. Ba, ba, ba. Advertisement. I ate until my face turned blue. Chun Li feels distressed. He stepped forward to grab it. Xiao Li said firmly. As long as the master gives it to me, I will eat it without hesitation, even if it is a big shit pill. Chun Li shed tears. I was moved again by his filial piety. I'm determined to follow this young man. Only then did Chi Yejun understand why he had diarrhea. After visiting Xiao Li, he planned to find Uncle Immortal. I also want to learn the toad summoning technique. I happened to meet Ino and Little Sakura at the door. They came to see Suzuki and Xiao Li. Little Sakura cried so hard. Ino said impatiently. I just know how to cry. What brand of mascara do you use? Why do you cry like this without falling off? Although the two are no longer love rivals, they still like to bicker. Soon there was another quarrel. Times end you in bad hashtag B at 13 o'clock and percent. After leaving the hospital, Ikeno Shun ran all the way to find Jiraiya. 
Advertisement. Naruto was still practicing hard with his butt stuck out, but he still could only summon tadpoles. After Jiraiya saw Ikono Jun, he stroked his head lovingly. Chi Yejun nestled in his arms. Ikono Shun made a request to learn the toad summoning technique. Jiraiya then became serious. Bite your finger and slowly form a seal. Summoning technique. His hand slammed to the ground. Circles of runes spread on the ground. Boom, white smoke rises. Wait until the smoke clears. A toad as tall as a person appeared in front of him. There was a contract scroll in his mouth and a bead hanging around his neck. The word loyalty is written on it. Toad loyal? Chi Yejun recognized it. It is Jiraiya's most trusted summoned beast and is responsible for keeping the summoning contract scroll. Jiraiya took the scroll and spread it on the ground. As requested, Chi Yejun cut his finger and wrote his name. Advertisement. Okay, come and give it a try. Chi Yejun clapped his hands, and a small smoke rose. A jumping tadpole appeared on the ground. Jiraiya sighed, but he asked immediately. Your special code is not printed. Chi Yejun nodded. Jiraiya froze in place, but still a little disappointed. This little guy doesn't need to form a seal, but, if you can't summon a toad, it's useless even if you don't form a seal. Wow ha 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 ha. Naruto laughed while holding his stomach. Chi Yejun has a black hair. You are still laughing at me, aren't you also a tadpole looking for your mother? Jiraiya ignored them. Pick up a telescope and search for new targets. He didn't spend much time in Kanaha. Even in the first few exams, Chunin was still outside collecting ideas. So I don't know much about Chi Yejun's abilities. It's even less clear that he has infinite chakra. No matter how powerful this little guy is, he may not be able to surpass Nine Tails Naruto. This is what Jiraiya started with. Chi Yejun started practicing. Advertisement. Chapter 118, Toad Sage of Mount Mayaboku. Advertisement. Ikono Shun used the toad summoning technique for the first time. The result is also a tadpole. The size of the creature summoned by the summoning technique is related to the amount of its own chakra, but it's also related to proficiency. It's no surprise that tadpoles are summoned at first. Sudden, there was a loud noise from the cliff behind me, Chi Yejun also disappeared, Naruto shouted. Pervy sage, something bad? A big grandpa toad appears down there. Jiraiya heard it. Stunned? What happened? Did that kid summon Gamabunta? It's impossible. Wait until you get to the edge of the cliff. Look around. Jiraiya fell to the ground. What nonsense? This kid silently summoned it? Just now he said that he couldn't summon a toad. This year, isn't it too quick to slap in the face? Turn out to be. It was not Gamabunta whom Ikono Jun summoned. But toad pills? Toad balls. Known as the most arrogant prophet in the ninja world, Mount Mayaboku's strongest dharma king, Gamamaru, who has spent thousands of years, has witnessed the bloody stories of the Atsutsuki family. You know the ending from the beginning. It was originally doing yoga at the temple of Mount Mayaboku with a group of female toads. Suddenly I felt an unprecedented amount of chakra. Out of curiosity. This is a rare appearance. Advertisement. Certainly. Showing up does not mean you can sign a contract. There are often certain conditions for summoning beasts signing. And after this time, Toshi Ikono never summoned Toadmaru again until that day came. Summoning beasts in Hokage are usually the partners and wage earners of ninjas. For example, Kakashi's pet dog and guy stepping toward us. Certainly, the summoning beasts of Mount Mayaboku, Ryakai Cave, Shigon Forest, Gumingsen, and Flower Valley are by no means ordinary people who can make contracts with them. Gumingsen is the spider cave mentioned above. They possess human intelligence. They also established systems in their respective territories. The leaders of these five inheritance places are called immortals. Gamamaru is the toad sage of Mount Mayaboku. With his powerful chakra, Toshi Ikono accidentally summoned Tomamaru. Toadmaru at this moment. He seemed very polite and a little cute. It used a crystal ball to broadcast its glorious deeds. In the world of Hokage, when humans were born, the sacred tree began to suck the energy of the earth. The alien Kagaya ate the forbidden fruit of chakra, which only grows once in a thousand years. Rely on awesome power. The war was quelled and the era of the goddess Mao began. With the blessings and prayers of the people, curse. A sexually reproduced alien brothers Hago Romo and Hamira. After entering menopause, Kagaya began to use terrifying magic to dominate the people. He even wanted to take back the power divided between the two cubs. When he saw this, Chi Yejun laughed. No wonder Kagaya is angry. You said that these village names are really indebted. Why don't you give blessings to the great benefactor who put down the war? You have to give two babies. Then, Sage of Six Paths Domestic Violence Memoir opens. One day, two brothers from Six Paths went to solve the villagers' problem. He met Gamamaru who had been waiting for a long time. Gamamaru received a prophecy in his sleep that he would meet an alien boy. Advertisement. Gamamaru introduced himself. Then he sprayed water from his mouth and coat a big black bear, showing off his strength. And he took the two brothers to the front of the sacred tree, pointed to the sacred tree in the distance and said, This broken tree is harmful to the earth's environment. If you want to know the truth, go to the ridge of the sacred tree. H.A.G. Ororo arrived behind the ridge, found my little girlfriend who died suddenly. He deduced that old mother Kagaya might be using humans to cause trouble. Being in love, he didn't go to his mother to ask the reason, so he was so angry that he wanted to hit someone. Then he went straight to Gamamaru, who was still not sure whether he was a liar or not. Toadmaru was very calm. Take him back to the village to tell him the prophecy and use the crystal ball to play Kagaya's picture. At this time, Yuhi suddenly thought, As a good baby, should I go home first and ask my mother what's going on? As a result, Toadwan directly said, Your mother may not discuss it with you. The two also started a conversation. Six paths, my wife and my mother can only choose one, what should I do? Toad, choose a wife. Six paths, what if my brother stops me? Toad, first kill him, then resurrect him. If he doesn't obey, the cycle will continue until he obeys. Six paths, I defeated my mother, what next? Toad, go spread chakra, you understand. Six paths, spreading chakra. 
I get it. Suddenly, Yi made up his mind to kill his old mother, because he couldn't bear to see the Earth's life in ruins. So he decided to kill his relatives out of justice, sow the seeds of love in the ninja world, and build a world without Kagaya. That's all. Sage of Six Paths Hago Romo mastered Senjutsu with the help of Gamamaru, also received a gift of the Immortal Talisman. The Talisman of the Immortal contains the pure magic chakra, which is an auxiliary artifact that can instantly resurrection the dying person with full blood, but it can only be used once. Hago Romo returned to the village to kill his relatives for justice. First, kill the controlled Hamura, and then use the talisman to resurrect the younger brother. Two brothers joined forces. He beat the old mother to pieces. Advertisement. A few months later, finally won the victory, gained a bright future, and protected the Earth's environment. After reading this paragraph, Chi Yejun said with a smile, this toad pill inexplicably turned into a dark-faced immortal and an old Yinbai. It can be seen from this. Gamamara's mouth evasion and prophecy are so awesome. As for the strength of Toadmaru, it is even more unfathomable. Although there aren't many fights in the show, it's understandable. If it was his turn to take action, it would only prove that the ninja world was basically complete. And Gamamara's 100% ability to predict is even more terrifying when you think about it. The prophecy about the blonde protagonist and the nine-tailed beasts that Six Paths mentioned during the fourth war was heard from Gamamaru. Mentioned Toad Pills. Ikano Shun thought about third generation again. He has a crystal ball. There is also this kind of crystal ball on the top of Gamamara's head. Even bigger than third generations? Right now, the crystal ball play ends. Chi Yejun also woke up from the memory of the plot. Only then did Tomamaru speak. Little guy, your chakra capacity is great and your future is bright. Come on and work hard. I hope we can meet again. Of course, I rarely show up. Since I am lucky enough to be summoned by you this time, I can't come empty-handed. This will make our toad family too stingy. Chi Yejun heard this. Overjoyed? Will it give me some magic? Or give me a few runes that can revive me with full health? This way I don't have to worry about the CD time of Soul of the Ancestors? However, I don't give it in vain. You humans are very polite, so the gift you give me tonight must be my favorite gift. If I don't like it, sorry, I won't give it to you either. After saying that, it turned into white smoke and disappeared. I wipe it, a generation of immortals, actually exchanging gifts like this. But, what gift would Tomamaru give him? Advertisement. Chapter 119 Obtaining a Big Gift Package from Toad Pills. Advertisement. Sayunala. Gamamaru waved his sleeves, not taking away a single cloud. Boom, Jiraiya seemed to have a lightning-style blast above his head. What's the situation? The little guy actually summoned Toad Sage. Damn it, it's so envy. Oh, comma, underscore backslash comma slash. He stood up and rubbed his eyes and looked towards the bottom of the cliff. Where are the Toad Pills? Afterwards, Chi Yejun plays the upper body. He scratched his head and shrugged, spreading his hands, his face full of confusion. I don't know. Jiraiya pointed to the cliff. Do you know who that old toad was just now? Who cares? Speak humanly. Jiraiya was anxious. Chi Yejun blinked and said slowly. The big toad just said that it is Toad Sage, and anyone who pretends to be his name is a hooligan. Jiraiya is extremely embarrassed. Carrot underscore carrot. Finally, under his coercion, Ikano Jun once again used the toad summoning technique. Boom, a grumpy little orange toad appears. I hate it, who disturbed my sweet dream. Jiraiya looked at Naruto who was still playing with tadpoles. There was a flash of approval for Chi Yejun, but he immediately said with a straight face, What I want you to summon is not this little toad, continue. Ikano Shun mobilizes chakra again. Advertisement. Boom, what appeared this time was a small yellow toad. Pouting, cute face. It is the Toad Dragon with a gentle personality. Hello everyone, my name is Toad Dragon, please take care of me. The next call was still a tadpole. Jiraiya finally shook his head in disappointment and went to find a new goal. Looking at the two little toads, one yellow and one orange, Chi Yejun laughed. Then he took out prunes, potato chips, spicy sticks, pork breasts and fish fillets and gave them to them. From now on, we will be teammates fighting side by side. Although Toji has a bad temper, but these snacks are so delicious. Well, from now on we will use our lives to protect you, as long as there is delicious food. Toad Dragon also said cutely. Yes, although my brother and I don't have much fighting ability now, we will grow up slowly and we will be as powerful as my father and uncle. Chi Yejun is convinced of this. Kamekaki's wind style. Toad Iron Cannon and Toad Oil Flame Bomb. Toad Dragon's hidden weapon skills, Toad Short Sword and Water Cannon. These impressed him deeply. Chi Yejun stretched out his palm. Give me five. The two little toads were stunned, but the ability to understand is great. Immediately learned the first sentence of the language from an alien country. Night comes and the sky is filled with stars. A flying thunder god, Ikano Shun flew to the bottom of the cliff. He brought a ton of presents. Red Star Urkuatu, Little Muddle Headed Fairy, Zhang Xiaobai, Wu Yanjai. Having read the original work, he still remembers. When Gamamaru was chatting with Six Paths, he saw a wine vat and jumped in without hesitation. It can be seen that this is a drunkard toad. Boom, advertisement. After a burst of white smoke, Toad Pill appeared again. Looking at the gift brought by Chi Yejun. So happy. Little one, you have a bright future, your gift is very good. Subsequently, Tomamaru also gave him two gifts. One is a crystal ball that can cast the telescope technique. The second gift is an immortal talisman. This is the treasure of the Toad clan. It is covered with magical chakra, which can restore people from a near-death state. Toadmaru introduced. Marvelous. With this, resurrection Jiraiya is even more insured. Chi Yejun once had a question. Why didn't Gamamaru use this to save Jiraiya? Jiraiya is a disciple of Mount Mayaboku, and has a very friendly relationship with the Toads. Is Toad Sage so heartless? Only later did he understand. It's not that Toad Sage is heartless, but there is really no way to save him. Yakushi Kabuto Impure World Reincarnation once said, I also wanted to resurrect Jiraiya, but I had to find the body to Impure World Reincarnation, but I was dissuaded by the pressure of the depth of the water. His body was already in the deep sea and could not be retrieved. Even if Jiraiya's body is recovered, Toad Sage probably won't be able to save it. Why? Because Kishimoto didn't give it. In fact, it was very simple for Kishimoto to want him to survive. As long as the body sinks, it can be hung by anything. But Kishimoto may feel that Jiraiya's death is the best ending. It's better to let him go directly and sublimate the character image. Pervy Sage, don't worry, this is my world now, Toshi Ikano, Kishimoto is off work. 
In order to express his sincerity and gratitude again, Chi Yejun ran to the space to rummage through the cabinets. I moved out more than a dozen boxes of Mao Tai and gave them all to Toad Sage. Toad Sage was so happy that his mouth was foaming with joy. Advertisement. Any more? All right. A toad that is too greedy to swallow an elephant. At one Z one carrot. This time I can know June took out XO, Remy Martin, 1982 Lafite, and the like. Toad One never drank foreign wine, it was only after getting drunk. The clever Chi Yejun took the opportunity to propose. Handsome Grandpa Toad, can you teach me the magic of magic? Tomamaru was stunned. Then he fell into deep thought. Sage mode can only be practiced by people with a very large amount of chakra. It has already felt the majestic and vast chakra power of Toshi Aikano. It is an excellent seedling to learn the magic of immortality. I just don't know what his understanding is. Is that okay, Grandpa Toad? Chi Yejun was acting coquettishly for a while. But practicing is very hard and even dangerous. Are you ready? Gamamaru asked. Chi Yejun nodded. Well, at midnight three days later, you come here and wait for me. Chi Yejun nodded happily. Say goodbye to each other. When I got home it was already dimly lit. The bone clone kept the house clean. The bath water has been put away. Chi Yejun was soaking comfortably in the bathtub. Early the next morning, Chi Yejun rushed to the mission hall. The task of building a house was issued. It's just that Captain Yamato happened to be on a business trip. However, Chi Jun was not in a hurry and let the workers transport the materials first. Back home, he called Hineda. Advertisement. Chapter 120, The World of Hokage is Air-Conditioned. Advertisement. Hineda comes to the apartment. Fengua Zioxu is still in the country of snow, implementing the construction of the railway. Chi Yejun brought drinks and snacks. Set out pen and paper on the table. Make changes to plans for your new home. What do you think? Hineda pointed to the pond. A bridge can be built over the pond and a small pavilion can be built. Chi Yejun gave her a thumbs up and drew a small bridge on the drawing. Hineda whispered again. In the future, we will farm, grow vegetables, grow fruit trees, and open a shop. We will definitely need to hire people to build workers' houses next to the wall. Chi Yejun smiled happily. I really didn't call you here in vain. You are really thoughtful. Then he smiled and pointed at the drawing. This area is a vegetable garden, this area is a flower bed. Grapes are planted in the middle of the yard, and it can provide shade in summer. This area can be used flexibly, and some pitayas, watermelons, etc. can be planted according to the season. Chi Yejun's flat bread is particularly round. The girl's eyes were full of longing. Hineda can only come out for two hours. Chi Yejun had no choice but to send her away. Then I personally went to the Hushin homestead. It was noon when we returned to the village again. Passed by Hayaga's house. Suddenly I smelled an alluring fragrance. Mouth watering. Aikano Jun sniffed like a dog. Haha, <laughs> spicy meant Aiko. This is a dish that Hineda's mother is good at. Cod roe is pickled with salt, soaked in chili peppers, etc., and served with Yuanuma rice. Take a bite. Desperate to die. Hineda once secretly sent him a large bowl from home. So delicious. Advertisement. Although he has cooking skills, he is currently limited to Chinese cuisine. Chi Jun's greed was aroused. Correct. He had an idea. Summon Sonozaki Noriko. Chi Yejun can share the five senses through her. You can even retrieve items remotely. I've never tried this function before, hee <laughs> hee. Under the instructions of Junji, use stealth to sneak into Hayaga's kitchen. After putting down the money, I secretly picked up a whole pot of spicy mentaiko. Good guy, this girl is so down to earth. At least leave some for others. Take back the method. Chi Yejun came to the funeral home with spicy mentaiko. Such a hot day. Kira Kong is still wearing a suit and leather shoes, and is meticulous. He declined Chi Yejun's delicious food. Eating lunch alone. Three pork belly rolls with radish and green beans, a plate of scrambled eggs with green onions, and two pieces of cold broccoli. The recipes are the same every day. You are really self-disciplined. Uzumaki Maki is a talkative person. His personality is as outgoing and cheerful as Naruto's. Hot afternoon. The heat was rolling, and the three of them felt like they were in an oven. This fire country is truly well deserved. It's so hot. Chi Yejun decided that air conditioning must be installed. So I ran to the street to find a home appliance store. Found one soon. However, you must purchase the machine first for installation. Advertisement. Chi Yejun bought more than a dozen of the latest models at once. The price is hefty. Chi Yejun clapped his hands. We are not short of money. There are two funeral parlors. One unit for the apartment. Give one to each of Naruto, Suzuki, and Jiraiya. One for each of the two future father-in-laws. Hayaga Hayashi still kept a straight face though, but the attitude finally softened a lot. The rest were sent to Sunset Village. Anti-collision, the Hokage does not have an air conditioner. Beidou the Hokage has had an outdoor air conditioner for a long time. Suzuki was beaten by a ferret will show a video, there is an outdoor air conditioner. With Flying Thunder God it's all about convenience. Whoosh, whoosh, come and go in a hurry. Coming back from Sunset Village is the hottest time of the day. There were almost no people on the street. At this time, a carriage stopped. Looking at the Kanaha forward protector on Aikano Jun's arm, a woman in red got out of the car and asked, Little one, are you a Kanaha shinobi? Chi Yejun nodded, and then felt a little familiar. The woman calculated in her mind, Jiraiya's apprentice should be about the same age as him. So do you know the ninja Jiraiya? Only then did Chi Yejun suddenly realize, the beautiful belt is here? Then he glanced at the carriage carriage from the corner of his eye. Really? The stunning beauty was sitting upright. Delicate and thin, the surface is condensed with goose fat. Advertisement. Although wearing a white hooded cloak, but it still can't block all kinds of charm. In the car was Nades Hiko Shizuka. She was 15 years old, two years older than Naruto and the others. Seems a little indifferent. Chi Jun said casually, Jiraiya is my master. I immediately regretted it. Really? Meiji grabbed him. Nier, come out and see your man. He looks so cool. Chi Yejun's heart sank. Broken? Don't fall in love with me who is so handsome and invincible. This time the mission is to assist Naruto, not to mention I have no feelings for her at all. Miyako briefly talked about the baby kiss. Chi Yejun scratched his head and said, I already have a girlfriend. Miyako refused to give up. Dumped. Right now, Naruto finished his training and braved the scorching heat to go to the street to eat ramen. Jiraiya spotted Miyako from a distance, gave a few hurried words, and ran away. Chi Yejun was overjoyed. 
pointing at Naruto and shouted. By the way, he is also Jiraiya's apprentice. He is lively, enthusiastic, kind, and considerate. The most important thing is that he is single. Nades Hiko Shizuka looked again. This blonde boy is quite cute, unlike him who is a bit naughty. Naruto came over and asked carelessly. Zaijun, why are you here? Chiya Jun said with a smile. Come on, let me introduce to you, this young lady Shizuka is here to get engaged. Naruto looked at her. It doesn't feel like much at first glance. Advertisement. Chapter 121 Naruto vs. Nades Hiko Shizuka. Advertisement. Kanaha in the afternoon, the sun is like fire. Master and apprentice Nades Hiko Shizuka arrived here. Encounter with Akino Shun and Naruto. Miyako asked. Where is your master? Naruto followed Jiraiya's instructions and said. Master went abroad today. God F King went abroad. Miyako couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. But. The main purpose of this visit is to deal with the apprentice's baby. Akino Jun looked at Nades Hiko Shizuka. Although it's good, it's still a bit inferior compared to Hineda, Ino, and Koyuki. Naruto wanted to refuse. Under Miyako's coercion and inducement, she finally agreed to compete. The four came to Kanaha Forest. Miyako said the rules. Golden-haired boy, as long as you lose, you will join Nades Hiko Village unconditionally as soon as you turn 14 and become Shizuka's husband. Finished. Get excited immediately. Clap your hands on the ground. Earth style was cast. The iron prison created a dual field. Etc. Chiya Jun stepped forward to stop him. He had been confused when watching the movie before. Why are the bets always one-sided? No matter what happens, the woman wins. What if the man wins? So it was proposed. This is an unequal treaty. What if Naruto wins? Naruto, who was gearing up, immediately shouted. Yes, what if I win? Can you treat me to ramen? Miyako froze on the spot. If we win, then we can leave. Chiya Jun stretched out his finger. He shook his head very pretentiously. No, do you think we Kanaha people are all stupid people? Advertisement. What do you want? Miyako was a little unhappy. Ikano Jun requested. This is also a condition for achieving system tasks. If Naruto wins, not only will Nades Hiko Shizuka not have to marry into the family, but Nades Hiko Shizuka will stay in Kanaha village and become Naruto's wife. This. Miyako is in a dilemma. Nades Hiko Shizuka has reached adulthood. If you agree to the conditions, if you are defeated, you will stay. She is the candidate for the next village chief. There has never been a case of outmarriage in Nades Hiko village, but Yuejin is still confident about his apprentice's strength. Looking at the chirping Naruto, he didn't look like a man from the castle. Strength may not necessarily be strong. Nades Hiko Shizuka is even more confident. He didn't take Naruto into consideration at all. I agree. Nades Hiko Shizuka said. Haha, there's drama? Chiya Jun was overjoyed. In order to prevent regret, he took out the contract he had drafted long ago, signed and pledged by both parties. The battle is about to break out. Ikano Jun summoned the assistant Xiaohei and the nanny Hatsune. Player Shizuka first used Najikoryu. Todoroki Todoroki Fist. Naruto strode away. But Gale Fist has great staying power. Boom boom boom. The ground cracked. Naruto could only dodge in a panic. Shizuka missed the hit and refused to let go. Whoosh whoosh. Throw out the kunal for free. With a look of reluctance, Naruto summoned multiple shadow clone to confuse the opponent's judgment. The two sides were once inseparable. Shizuka didn't want to continue the stalemate and wanted to get her blonde brother as soon as possible. Advertisement. Then, suddenly broke out. Dance in a vacuum. I saw her holding four kunao in each hand, throwing it at the target quickly, suppressing Naruto's crazy output. Shadow clone was defeated one by one. Naruto suddenly felt a little downcast. Chiya Jun couldn't help but feel worried. As expected of a candidate for village chief, his strength is obviously superior to Naruto's. To boost morale, he secretly cast a pleasure jutsu on Naruto. Naruto immediately started to fight back like a chicken. Shadow clone appears again. Shizuka fanned loudly. Make shadow clone so confusing that you don't want it or don't want it. But nevertheless, still didn't hit Naruto's body. I have to admit that training with Jiraiya is quite effective. At this time, Naruto dodged behind Shizuka's butt and started a sneak attack. Thump. But he was instantly knocked down by Shizuka's anti-wolf kick. A kunao stabbed Naruto. No, we have to help. Ikano Shun performed the Ino family's hard turn technique. Fortunately, it was not discovered by Yuejin since he didn't need to form seals. Nades Hiko Shizuka was immediately controlled by her mind. But her willpower is still very strong. Just like the Akamika butterfly rushing towards the potato chips regardless of the cost. Just a few seconds. Breakthrough mind control. But, Naruto used these few seconds to perform a double feint. A wave of multiple shadow clone, starting a multiplayer campaign. Then use Reznan to burst out and pour out energy. Hatsune Miko was not willing to be left alone, and floated forward to sing the hypnosis song. Nades Hiko Shizuka fell into a deep sleep ZZZ. Ten seconds later. Advertisement. Ring ring ring. Shizuka wakes up. Found that he was already lying in Naruto's arms. Naruto managed to sleep with Shizuka. After defeat. Shizuka just wants to die. Chiya Jun took out the contract and threw it in front of her. Next. Naruto started to use mouth release. But. He was cast on the hard turn technique. The thoughts at this moment all come from Chiya Jun's control and indoctrination. I want to take you to romantic Turkey. Love is not something you can buy whenever you want. Overthrow the feudal dynasty and find true freedom and happiness. Half an hour passed. Shizuka was moved and had a complete epiphany. She was persecuted and brainwashed by feudal fatalism since she was a child. Shizuka no longer closes her heart. It turns out the world outside is so wonderful. Miyako sighed, near, the world outside is wonderful, but the world outside is helpless. Shizuka shook her head firmly. She decided to change the village system. Only in this way can you become the helmsman sailing in destiny, the true sailor Poseidon. Looking back at Naruto, I didn't expect that he, who seemed so heartless, turned out to be a rapper. Nades Hiko Shizuka couldn't help but feel excited. Miyako was eventually converted, picking up the contract with trembling hands. He nodded and agreed to leave Shizuka. However, after friendly negotiation, Shizuka returned to the village for the time being. After two years, she will definitely return to Kanaha village and stay with Naruto to continue fighting. Naruto and Shizuka agreed. Let's fight another day. Chiya Jun completed the task and signed in. 
Acquire a ninjutsu. This kind of ninjutsu is not particularly advanced, but it is very practical, but it does not appear many times. Advertisement. Chapter 122 Mao Yuzian's Sister. Advertisement. Soon, the news of the baby's kiss spread like wildfire. Which loudmouth spread this? Of course Naruto himself. Even Xiaoli and Suzuki in the hospital bed knew. Suzuki is hopeless, hiding in bed and shedding silent tears. For the first time in my heart, I had the idea of running away from home. Farewell to Master Shizuka. Chi Yejun walked to the apartment. Complete the check-in. Whoosh, a black cloak appeared in front of him. I wipe it. What is this? Ding. Congratulations to host for completing the plot check-in and receiving the invisibility shadow cloak. Invisibility? Chi Yejun fell into deep thought. Invisibility in the Hokage world does exist, but it doesn't appear very often. There are only a few things that impressed Chi Yejun deeply. The first is camouflage concealment. It can make itself transparent. In the beginning, Kakashi and Obito suffered the loss of camouflage. After Namikaze Minato left, they encounter two rock shinobi village ninjas. The other party was able to hide in camouflage, so Lin was taken away. The second is translucent escape. Moonlight Gale's blood inheritance limit can eliminate the breath and make the whole body transparent. Advertisement. Actually, Kishimoto's original work does not have this escape. It was added by the animation team. Moonlight Hei once used this technique to successfully lurk around Yakushi Kabuto. Overheard Kanaha's collapse plan. But why was it discovered again later? Killed by Baki? Completely killed by the plot? Due to the needs of the plot, Moonlight Gale had to lift the invisibility spell. It's purely stupid behavior. Kishimoto asked you to die, you have to die. You can also use translucency to peek perfectly, Sanji must really want to learn it. The third one is dust-free blockage, you can shut down the flow of your own chakra. It can even ignore sage mode's perception, this is a skill unique to second suchikage. He relied on the Wuchen confusion to bypass the ninja coalition's perception network. The dust-free mystery is quite terrifying, imagine using the dust-free charm to travel through the women's bathhouse. Ahem. How awesome is it to fly through enemy lines without being detected? Wu also relies on this ability to claim to be no one. The last one is the cloak invisibility technique, the technique used by Kanoamaro to track Naruto. In fact, I just used a piece of cloth similar to the wall covering to block myself, so I didn't need to consume any chakra. This coir raincoat invisibility technique is very ineffective and can be easily seen through. Please add other invisibility techniques that appear. And this time the reward is the shadow cloak. It is an upgrade of the coir raincoat invisibility technique. After the user puts on the shadow cloak, he immediately becomes invisible and can hide the flow of chakra. The shadow cloak can also be used by two people. Advertisement. But. Shadow Cloak has limitations. It will automatically expire when entering combat mode. I don't know if it will be upgraded in the future. Chi Yejun is still very happy about this practical reward. Passing by a fruit shop, I saw round and big watermelons and wanted to buy a few, but before buying, he secretly summoned the little tiger Yuji. After transforming into humans, the two walked into the fruit shop hand in hand. Through clairvoyance, Chi Yejun picked two large watermelons with thin skin and red flesh. At this moment, downstairs of Chi Jun's house, a purple-haired girl was dragging a heavy box towards the apartment. Her name is Yu Yumian, Mao Yuzian's younger sister, a medical ninja. The person I admire the most is Tsunade, and I dream of becoming her apprentice. She had just joined the emergency medical class. Kanaha's medical department consists of multiple branch systems such as emergency medical classes, corpse disposal classes, and animal training and recuperation classes. Her family lives in Shuijing town in the country of fire. This time I came to Kanaha village to join my sister. But Yu Yukizian has already lived with Yuegwang Hei because she has to take care of his body. So I rented an apartment nearby for my sister. It happens to be Junchi's sunny apartment. Also on the fifth floor, Yu Yumian walked into the elevator and pressed the button. Advertisement. Wiping the sweat from his forehead, he stood quietly in the elevator, etc. Mao Yumian pressed the door button like a reflex. A young man with broken hair rushed over, rushed into the elevator, and showed his little fangs at her. Thank you. The boy was wearing a Hokage t-shirt, sports shorts, and a pair of flip-flops. There is also a headset hanging on the ear. He was holding a shopping bag and tablet in his hands and a popsicle in his mouth. A ruffian and a bad feeling. This person is Chi Yejun. Yu Yumian straightened her waist unconsciously, tensed her muscles, and looked at her with a vigilant look. Listen to my sister. There are many perverts in Kanaha village. There are many young people and ninjas among them. Chi Yejun holds a popsicle in his mouth. He lazily leaned against the wall and glanced at the beautiful purple-haired girl huddled in the corner. I seem to have seen it somewhere. She looks exactly like Sister Mao Yuzian. Only, is she overdressed? Long sleeve hooded jacket in black. Black leggings. Black canvas shoes. Like coming out of a monastery. Yu Yumian was alone in a small space with a strange man for the first time. There was a drum beating in my heart. Although it's only the fifth floor. But the broken elevator is super slow and stops once on each floor. Advertisement. Chapter 123. A bitter couple who likes to compete with swords. Advertisement. Chi Yejun looked at her and couldn't help but think. Could it be claustrophobia? Fortunately, the elevator finally started running again and reached the fifth floor. The door opens, rush out like a beauty bunny. I even forgot to take my luggage. Wait until he looks up again. The girl has disappeared. Chi Jun glanced at the label on the luggage. Atsuki Beauty. Omega. Huh? I have really good eyesight. She is indeed Zian's girl. The system pouted. Even a fool can see it. It's just that it didn't dare to say. Mao Yumian rushed to the door of 506. When I turned around and found that the man was not chasing me, I was relieved. When I took out the key, I realized that my luggage was missing. Mao Yu is beautiful. Right now, the handsome boy appeared around the corner. Is dragging his suitcase. Yu Yumian was so frightened that she almost fell to the ground. How does he know my name? He glanced at Chi Yejun who was running towards him. She rushed into the house. Snapped. Advertisement. The door is closed. Chi Yejun shook his head and rang the doorbell. Mao Yumian, you forgot to take your luggage. Mian was stunned. Somewhat overwhelmed. What to do? Do you want to open the door? And right now, the system suddenly jumped out. Release two plot check-in tasks in a row, but the mission has nothing to do with beautiful girls. It's about Moonlight Hei and Tsunade. 
Ding, the first plot sign-in is released, and host is asked to go to Plat Icadon City instead of Moonlight Hay 8 and become the protagonist of the plot that night. Instead of Moonlight Hay 8? That is to say, Moonlight Blast will not die. Maybe I will have to fight the enemy. That's fine, there is also a pity in this plot. That is Moonlight Hay 8 who died inexplicably before Shippuden. Aikano Jun once thought that the title of the film was related to Moonlight Blast. I found out later. Shippuden is Shippuden, which has nothing to do with Moonlight Hay 8. Mentioned him. We must mention Mao Yuzian. This is a miserable couple who was separated by Yin and Yang by Kishimoto. Advertisement. The characteristics of these two people are. The women are good-looking and the men are bad-looking. The man is a passer-through holder who suffers from a chronic cough and is a master of Konoha-style swordsmanship. The dance of the three suns and the moon is a thief. The woman's face is in the sunset. It doesn't matter if you can't remember the name, the key is appearance. Zian's appearance completely stands out among the many female supporting roles. Chi Yejun has always been puzzled. Why would she, in her prime of beauty, like Moonlight Hayate, who quickly fell out of the spotlight after only a few appearances? Both of them work in Ambu. Because he was a good swordsman, he was able to thrive. A monthly salary of over 10,000 yuan, five insurances, and one housing fund, and three meals a day. On a bright morning, the two came to Konoha Forest to compete with swords. Moonlight Hay was sweating profusely before even swinging the wooden training sword in her hand. Fighting and fighting, there was a stalemate. Gale used a move to escape and disappeared. Shi Yin was wondering. Gale released the translucent escape and appeared behind her. He poked the back of her head. In the world of Hokage, poking someone's head is a sign of overwhelming affection. For example, Suzuki was poked by Itaki, and Suzuki became a brother controller. Little Sakura was poked by Suzuki, and the two got married. Therefore, Zian has been poked in the head by him every day since she met Hei 8. Although the lovers lead a life of licking blood, they still love each other. Until the third session of the Chinin exam. Advertisement. Gale's head poke flag comes true. Killed by Baki. Friends who have never watched Hokage would like to ask, who is Baki? He is the second in command of Sunagakur in the Kingdom of Wind. Gara's teacher. This time the system issued the task. Stop Hei 8 from dying. As for how he died, what a waste. I stayed up most of the night and ran to Plat Ikadon City to buy cough medicine. As a result, I overheard things I shouldn't have heard, Kanaha collapsed plan. The Tohoko who was praised by the third generation was discovered. As a result, he was killed by Baki. Chi Yejun was very impressed at the time. Moonlight Hei 8? What a handsome name, such crazy swordsmanship, such a coquettish character, and a young and beautiful wife. Since you are a special jonin, can't you play two more episodes? The way he was restrained by Baki was outrageous. The combat effectiveness is completely broken. Although Baki is an elite jonin, there is nothing wrong with being stronger than Hei 8. But Hei 8's character is a master swordsman, but he fought hard with Baki who was holding a kunao, and even got kicked. Immediately afterwards, Hei 8, who fell to the ground, threw a detonating charm. What's funny? Nothing happened to Baki. Hei 8 himself was blown down. Which ninja shop did you buy this from? Advertisement. Chapter 124, Arriving at Mount Mayaboku. Advertisement. Soon, the strong wind climbed up tenaciously. Finally used the Kanaha style, dance of the three suns and moons, boom, just hit Baki's shoulder. When he drew his sword, he was stabbed by Baki's wind blade. He died on the spot, ending in a plot kill. The combat IQ is alarming. After Hei 8's death, Shi Yin lost her boyfriend and couldn't control her emotions. The spring waves under the sad bridge are green, and it seems to be the shadow of a shocked bird. Under the memorial tablet, Zian is determined to kill your mother, your father, and your whole family within three days. Want to avenge the mail ticket. As a result, Dam Kanaha and San Shinobi actually shook hands and made peace. Baki couldn't be killed. Shi Yan cried in front of the tombstone. By the time of the fourth ninja war, Zian took the initiative to serve as a medical soldier. At that time, she also met a man who paid special attention to her. It's a curly sucker mouth, very ugly. I thought the two of them would develop a bad relationship. Fortunately, the wind was brought back by the dirty soil. The curly man retreated. But the reincarnated Hei was controlled, attacked the ninja alliance, seized the scroll, killed the lives of coalition troops, he did a lot of bad things and became an enemy of the coalition forces. But this is all involuntary. It's a pity that they were very sad at the beginning, and they were still helpless after impure world reincarnation. Advertisement. Hei 8 is forced to fight Yui's lover. The two of them fought in a fancy way, drunkenly and dreamily. Last minute, Hei 8, who was controlled by Kabuto, drew his sword and rushed towards Shi Yan, seeing that the beautiful young lady is about to die. Hei 8 used his remaining thoughts to break through Kabuto's control. The edge of the sword deviates, insert into tree trunk. Hei 8 tried his best to protect Zian's life. And because of the inertia of the impact, he was stabbed by Zian's knife and fell down. Subsequently, Hei 8 apologized and was sealed away. I saw this then. Chi Yejun was deeply moved. End of memories. Chi Yejun fell into deep thought. Moonlight Blast is loyal. Although he doesn't appear much, he is indeed a rare ninja. In the future, maybe you can be admitted to Sunset Village and become a member of the Younger Brothers. As for how to stop him from going to Plat Ikadon City, this is easy to handle. With the help of Yuji Little Tiger, it shouldn't be difficult to find someone. Because it can track like a ninja dog. At this time, the system released another plot mission. Looking for the return of Tsunade Haim and saving Rock Lee, because of Gara's over-the-shoulder throw. Xiao Li's eight inner gates opened the fifth gate and had side effects. The broken fragments become embedded in the bone, causing damage to the nerve center. With the current medical level of Kanaha, it cannot be completely cured. We can only rely on the help of medical experts. What about the mission deadline? Advertisement. It can be completed within three months, and the reward this time is a new blood inheritance limit. Blood inheritance limit? This time Chi Yejun had a premonition. It will definitely be wood style? Absolutely yes. If not, I will jump off Hokage Rock. The big toad follows below. While he was thinking about it, the system popped up to remind him. Why are you so dazed? Hurry up and return your luggage to others. Chi Yejun came to his senses and said immediately. Then I'll leave my luggage at your door. After saying that, he turned around and took out the key and opened the door. Maoyu Beauty is applied to the cat's eye. Extremely shocked. He actually lives across from me. It turns out that he is not a stalker. But... He doesn't look like a good guy at all. 
A long time. Yuyumi and secretly opened a crack in the door. Immediately dragged the luggage back to the house. Then closed the door and lock it. The whole process was done in one go. According to the timeline, Hei will be killed in a few days. Chi Yejun went to Plataikadon City in advance. Place a chakra mark at the location of the incident to facilitate flying thunder god in the future. In the original work, Hei's body was found in Plataikadon Castle. So where is Plataikadon City? Displayed according to the setting set of Book of Prosperity. Plataikadon Castle is a fortress located near Kanaha Village. Advertisement. Close to the village border. And Plataikadon Castle is also where the war orphan Yakushi Kabuto was picked up. In a sense, it is also the hometown of Yakushi Kabuto. At this time, the sky above Kanaha Village was stormy and dark clouds were rolling in. Under the command of Kaze Cage Raza, San Shinobi Village has mobilized hundreds of ninjas. The Sound Ninja Village has been trained by Orikimura for many years. You can also deploy a large army of Sound Ninjas. These forces cannot be underestimated. Because Orikimura is best at all kinds of strange human experiments. The combined forces of the two ninja villages slowly gathered towards the Kanaha border. Because it's not the time to act yet. They still hide their traces. Another day passed. Night comes. Aikano Jun casts Flying Thunder God and comes to the cliff. After arriving at the cliff, as expected, Toadmaru appeared again. It promised to teach Toshi Aikano Sage Art. But you need to go to Mount Mayaboku to practice. It would be great if it could be like the system reward. Learn it directly. There are still more than 10 days left before Chinin's third exam. Chi Yejun left the bone clone at home. Gamamaru reverse summoning him, directly to Mount Mayaboku. Actually, as a thousand year old Toad, how could he agree to Chi Yejun's request with just a few bottles of wine? There is a reason why Toadmaru made an exception. Come to Mount Mayaboku to practice. How long will it take for Toshi Aikano to learn Sage Mode? What magical skills will he learn? Advertisement. Chapter 125 Starting the Journey to Mount Mayaboku. Advertisement. Mount Mayaboku. There are mountains and mountains, and the mist is vast. This place is far away from other countries. It is difficult for ordinary people to enter and it is easy to get lost. Certainly. If you sign a contract with Toad Summoning Men, you can teleport through the reverse summoning technique. For example, Chi Yejun at this moment. Bayubu, time travel. Wait until he opens his eyes. Then I saw the tall toad statue and the waterfall flowing down. Wow, what a world with birds singing and flowers fragrant. He also discovered a spring spouting magical toad oil. I filled a bottle carefully. I will make a facial mask from now on and give it to Naruto. The spring is not far away. There are many petrified toads. Few Kazakusenin once said. Many people have come to Mount Mayaboko to practice, but they have basically failed. Frog transformation occurs because of the inability to control the mixing of natural energy and chakra. What's more serious is petrification. Turned into a stone toad before my eyes. Although it was night in Kanaha. But Mount Mayaboko was bustling with activity during the day. The annual martial arts tournament is being held at the moment. Presiding over the meeting were two elders and their wife. One is the green toad Fukazako Senin with white eyebrows and white beard. One is Shima Senin with a purple bun and purple lipstick. There was a sound of frogs down below. Everyone exchanged their cultivation results with each other. Keep rolling the delicious insect food into your mouth with your tongue. Not far away. Gamabunta was smoking his pipe and puffing away smoke. In her hand she held a copy of Toad Edition of Making Love in Heaven. Haha, <laughs> little Jiraiya is really a talent. Wait until everyone discovers Toad Pill. Advertisement. He immediately became respectful. Who is this? Fukazaku asked. Toad Long and Toaji recognized Ikono Jun, jumped up and ran over, and were very affectionate. Chi Yejun gave them snacks. Then he gave Wenta a crystal pipe. Give Fukazaku a few boxes of earthworms and spring silkworms. Shima's is lipstick in various colors and curling irons. The little guy really knows how to do things. Grandma Shima took an immediate liking to him. A group of female toads also gathered around. Relying on his past life memories, Chi Yejun took them to do yoga. Gamamaru called Fukazaku and his wife to the meeting hall. Bring up the matter of cultivation. Mr. and Mrs. Fukazaku are responsible for selecting those who enter Mount Mayaboka. Toad Sage's instructions are naturally executed unconditionally. It's just, practicing Sage Mode requires a huge amount of chakra. I didn't know he. Shima shook his head. Dad, don't worry, this little guy is spiritual, just like little Jiraiya. But, Fukazaku still raised questions. Why did Toad Sage bring the little guy in person? This is unprecedented. Gamamaru laughed. In the Hokage world, it has the biggest bug, predicting the future, prophecies about it. Jiraiya believes it, and the toads believe it even more? Not long ago, it has an image of Mount Mayaboku in its sleep. Then I saw Toshi Aikano who was practicing sage mode. After, Aikano Toshi has grown up. The original black hair slowly turns white. Certainly. He also dreamed about Azumaki Naruto. If little Jiraiya can teach the chosen one, then they must be, even if they are not. Speaking of which, advertisement. Tomamaru closed his eyes slightly. Even if not, these two little guys will definitely leave a profound impact on the world. This is why Gamamaru brought him here. Certainly. Good wine plays a huge role. Chi Yejun at this moment. Surrounded by a group of colorful female toads. Someone brought over a pot of caterpillar soup. Someone brought a Mount Mayaboku specialty. Fried mosquitoes with flies. Chi Yejun almost vomited. Yoga is over. He was called to the training hall by Fukazaku. Fukazaku explains sage mode. In fact, Toshi Aikano has long known about this plugin in Hokage. To explain with the concept of game. In sage mode. Health, magic, physical attack, spell strength, speed, and perception abilities have all been comprehensively improved. Equivalent to a super powerful buff. However, practicing sage mode also takes time. Jiraiya entered Mount Mayaboku by accident when he was a boy. Practice under Fukazaku Senin. Because he occasionally returns to Kanaha village to perform tasks. I practiced it on and off for about 10 years, and I didn't really learn sage mode until I grew up. After Jiraiya's death, Naruto was brought to practice by Fukazaku Senin. It only took about half a month to complete the practice. There are no toad-like features on his body. Yakushi Kabuto is the most amazing ninja in Hokage. In the early stage, he was just a playmate of Ant Snake. Later, he became one of the ultimate bosses and teamed up with Obito to launch the fourth ninja war. 
It took him about half a year to master Ryakai Cave Sage Mode. Sage of Six Paths are born with extremely high talents. It only took half a day to learn Sage Mode. Master Madara, after absorbing Hashirama's Sage Power, it is equivalent to obtaining Sage Mode. The whole process only takes 5 seconds. Advertisement. How long will it take Toshi Ikono? Subsequently, Fu Kazako also warned about the shortcomings of Sage Mode. Only for 5 minutes. Before each use, you need to stand in a stance to absorb natural energy, and you must not move. It's easy to become the enemy's target when standing still. So you'd better have a good female companion, to help you attract the enemy's firepower and buy you time to use the star absorbing technique. Chi Yejun asked in confusion. Do I have to have a female companion? Can't I have a male companion? He thought of Yuki Tora who could help him fight in the future. Ahem, it's not recommended to be gay. Everything is introduced. Grandma Shima brought the liability exemption agreement. Chi Yejun glanced at it. It is nothing more than petrification. Mount Mayaboku does not assume responsibility. Because of the arrival of Chi Yejun, Toad Dragon and Toaji were very happy. Called all their brothers and sisters. There are Toadji, Toad Wei, Toad Xiang, Toad Nai. What impressed him most was a young couple. One is called Toad Qingming and the other is called Toad River Picture. The last one is an aunt named Toad Shuai. I took Chi Yejun to his residence. They also provided him with psychological counseling in advance to prevent psychological problems that may arise during cultivation. That's all. Koik begins his training trip to Mount Mayaboku, Kanaha Village Apartment Complex. Yu Yumiyan opened the suitcase. There are specialties that her mother specially packed for her. Bacon. Actually, a year ago, she encountered a threatening incident when she was just growing up. From then on, I became androphobia. The person opposite helped me get my luggage. Would you like to thank him? Advertisement. Chapter 126 The Magical Use of Invisibility. Advertisement. Mao Yu's beauty has been thought about for a long time. Decided to write a thank you note. But she hesitated. Wouldn't it be too insincere to say thank you like this? Bacon suddenly comes to mind. So I ran back to the kitchen with my slippers on. Come to door number 505. Take a deep breath. Knocked lightly on the door. At this moment, Toshi Ikono is already at Mount Mayaboka. Only the bone clone Ziyogwai is left at home. Before leaving, Chi Yejun ordered. My dear, no matter who comes, don't open the door until my brother comes back. Ziyogwai wore a little white rabbit hat and nodded obediently. Through the peephole, he saw beauty, but the door was not opened. Mao Yumiyan can only hang things on the door. Then he slipped back like a thief and locked the door tightly. Although Toshi Ikono stayed at Mount Mayaboka to practice, but he could still return to Kanaha. Advertisement. According to the timeline, this night was the day when Moonlight Hei was killed. Early in the morning. He asked Fu Kazaku for leave. Then he was reversed and summoned back to Kanaha village in advance. Tiger clan summoning technique. Yuji was summoned. Holding a furry tiger cub. A flying thunder god comes to Plataikadon city. Finding Moonlight Blast was effortless. Moonlight Hayate is on his way to Kikyo Castle. I originally heard that a pharmacy over there carried cough syrup. The effect is great. I plan to buy some. Ikono Jun takes out the shadow cloak. Escape into the invisible. He secretly used Xian Dun on Gale. Moonlight Gale's whole body trembled. There was a surge in my heart. The beloved Shiyan comes to mind. He turned around and ran towards Kanaha uncontrollably. The upgraded spring garden lasts for five minutes. That's all. Ikono Shun performed ninjutsu along the way. Drive the wind back to Kanaha village like a duck. Gale's life was saved. Advertisement. It was impossible for him to get up and go to Plataikadon City to buy medicine. Naturally, I won't meet Beiki and Kabuto. It's still early. There were still a few hours until dark. Chi Yejun returned home first. Come to the door. I was shocked by the bacon on the door handle. I'm the best? What the hell? With a look of disgust on his face, Chi Yejun used one finger to lift off the bacon, but unexpectedly found a pink bear note paper. Huh? What? On it is a simple drawing of a girl dressed in black. He is bending down and bowing. Next to it is written in cute doll font. I'm sorry, thank you. The exclamation point is intentionally bold. Chi Yejun couldn't help laughing. Then he turned and looked at the opposite door. What a lovely girl. I wanted to knock on the door. But look at the watch, I have to try something big with Naruto later. So I took the bacon home. Find her again when you have time. Back home. Advertisement. Come to the bathroom. Had a good bath. Mount Mayaboko took a bath in broad daylight, huddled with toads in the pond under the waterfall. It was hard for him to accept. Take a good bath. Pulling at his handsome broken hair. I sprayed some Pekoween men's perfume and nodded in front of the mirror. Well, he's so handsome. Come to the training ground by the river. Find Naruto. Naruto is training the Raisinon. After whispering, Naruto's eyes lit up. But Junji made a request, give him the frog alarm clock. Naruto thought for a moment, nodded in agreement, and then asked Jiraiya for leave. Jiraiya rolled his eyes. Immediately I noticed something unusual about the two little guys. So he followed them secretly. Until I came to the hot spring resort. Just when Chi Yejun secretly took out the shadow cloak. Jiraiya suddenly jumped out of the corner. Okay, I knew there was something fishy about you guys. Tell me honestly, what is this? What do you want to do? Chi Yejun could only scratch his head and tell the master the shadow cloak and plan. Jiraiya listened. Not only did he not blame him. On the contrary, I greatly admired his imagination. Advertisement. Chapter 127 Three Men in the Dark. Advertisement. Kanaha Street. Sweet chestnuts. Today we launch a new type of soybean and chestnut soup. You can also eat fried soybeans for free when you enter the store. Wow, it doesn't cost anything. Naruto pulled Ikono Jun into the store. The two of them ate a lot of fried soybeans. I also drank a few glasses of sour plum juice. Night comes. The full moon hung high, and the silence was eerie. Inside Plat Ikadon City, Toshi Ikono came to the scene of the incident as a flying thunder god. Above a bathhouse. Put on the cloak of shadow and hide in the corner. The system issued a plot mission not long ago. Need to complete the eavesdropping instead of moonlight blast. Sudden, a dark shadow passed by. Gara appears on the roof carrying a gourd. Like a werewolf who transforms into a full moon. At this moment, he was very irritable and wanted to find someone to kill Shikako. The original work killed Toss Anvil in seconds, but he has already burped in this book. Gara could only sit on the roof, look up at the moonlight, and scream to the sky. The only one hiding in the dark was Chiyajan, and Beiki and Kabuto. The two of them were close together, feeling each other's warm breath. Sunagakura is full of wind and sand all year round. 
Advertisement. Water resources are scarce. In order to save water, Bakey developed a good habit of not brushing his teeth. Later I ate another head of garlic. Kabuto frowned. I want to cover my nose but I'm afraid of hurting other people's self-esteem. Right now, Gara suddenly stood up. His brows were furrowed, his gaze was like a torch, and he shot downwards. The three people in the darkness were startled. Has it been discovered? Gara's heart is about to explode. In urgent need of cooling down. The other side. Bakey looked at Kabuto hotly. Kabuto is going crazy? Just when I couldn't bear the bad breath anymore. Gara finally left. Bakey chuckled and said, Brother Kabuto, there is wine in my room and some good things. Kabuto was stunned for a moment. Aren't we here to talk about something important tonight? Kabuto suddenly became excited. Pushing Bakey away, he took out a scroll from his pocket. This is the sound ninja's plan. Bakey took the scroll and returned to his usual serious and pretentious demeanor. No matter what the relationship between us brothers is, we can distinguish between public and private affairs. I will tell the ugly story. If your plan fails, we, San Shinobi, will evacuate immediately. Doe cursed in his heart. Hitui, who and your brothers? But there was still a smile on his face. Don't worry, the plan will go smoothly. Advertisement. Kabuto immediately lowered his voice. But be careful with the few genin imps in Kanaha village. Bakey smiled and said. It's just genin, there's nothing to be afraid of. Although he watched the qualifiers. I also admire Naruto and their abilities. But it's genin after all. How great can it be? Subsequently, the two murmured some more details. This is how Moonlight Gale overheard a shocking conspiracy. The sound ninja plots with the San Shinobi to rebel against Kanaha. In shock. I accidentally broke through and was discovered. But for Toshi Chino, not surprised at all. And with the cloak on him, he didn't worry at all about being discovered by the two people. Sit back and wait for the system rewards to fly out. But, as the old saying goes, extreme joy brings sorrow. It's also my fault that Naruto is such a waste, insisting on eating free soybeans. Soybeans and drinks. It ferments in the stomach. Pfft. Chi Yejun couldn't hold it back and farted out. Especially clear in the silent midnight. Chi Yejun immediately covered his buttocks. But it's too late. Who farted? The words just fell. Advertisement. Whoosh whoosh. Several kunao flew towards fart sound. Chi Yejun dodges in a hurry. Although he was not injured, his cloak was stepped on. True colors revealed. Haha, <laughs> it turns out there is a mouse. Kabuto sneered. It's just a little brat, leave it to me. Bakey said coldly. But what surprised him was, this young man did not run away, but waited in place with a smile. Chi Yejun's soul torture. Teacher Bakey, is the half curtain hanging on your face a diaper? No one else has this aesthetic. Bakey was furious. Cheap or not? Cheap or not? I just asked you if you are cheap or not. Lousy, does hanging diapers have nothing to do with you? He instantly came to Chi Yejun. Killing intense surges? To deal with Bakey, Toshi Aikano is still confident. But, in the future plot, the two villages shake hands and make peace, and Bakey is a very important figure, and will also become a powerful ally. It must be impossible to kill it. Chi Yejun was stalling for time, because he has to wait for the prompt that the task is completed. Bakey didn't give him a chance to breathe. Chakra emerges from the fingertips and transforms into a sharp blade. It hit Chi Yejun with the sound of wind that broke through the sky. Advertisement. Chapter 128 Upgraded Chaos Candy. Advertisement. Wind Blade Technique. The invisible wind condenses into a wind blade, almost invisible to the naked eye. Moreover, the wind blade is extremely fast, and the distance between the two is very close. Tuliabai was obviously too late. Critical moment? Click. The long-lost bone armor appears. Wrap Chi Yejun tightly. Look at the white bones and the blazing eyes. Beiki and Kabuto were both shocked. What the hell? Chi Yejun smiled and said. Didn't you just say that Jenin is nothing great? Then I will tell you today that Jenin in Kanaha is still the most terrifying existence. Maybe you will understand in the future, although it cannot be killed. But it's always possible to teach San Shinobi a lesson and eliminate his arrogance. Hitui. I saw a small tornado spitting out of Chi Yejun's mouth. The tornado gets bigger with the wind. The wind blew towards Beiki, as expected of elite Jonin. Beiki dodged with a body flicker technique. But he was still very surprised. This little guy actually knows wind style. Great breakthrough. It seems to have the wind attribute chakra. Fire style. Great fireball. A ball of flames came again. Beiki flashed again. Does it also have fire attributes? Lightning style. Thunder. Da da da, da da da. Blue lightning gatling strafing. Bakey had some difficulty hiding this time, and his thigh was even shocked. He also has thunder attributes? Don't tell me, he even has water attributes. Tashio Aikano? Naturally, the other party was shocked. Next, a water style. Water body technique dodges Bakey's kunao. Advertisement. Bakey is confused. The four attributes of water, fire, wind, and thunder, just fall short of earth. Just thinking about it. Boom, the roof beneath my feet suddenly collapsed. Bakey suddenly fell into the floor. Aikano Shun performed the earth style. Heart beheading technique. The five attributes are shown one by one, but he forgot. This is a building, not dirt. Bakey's head was exposed on the roof and he shouted to Kabuto. Why are you in a daze? Pull me out. Only then did Kabuto react. Dash forward. But how could he, who was so thin and weak, pull out two men at the same time? It's about to fall. Chi Yejun had an idea? Summons the invisible lowly Kagaya. White hair fluttering technique. Kagaya on the roof. White hair was tightly wrapped around Bakey's head. A sudden force. He pulled them out as easily as pulling a carrot. Kabuto thought it was his own fault. Suddenly I felt like a real man with infinite strength. After pulling out, Bakey collapsed on the ground. I am impressed by this young man Jenin. You, you actually have five attributes of chakra. Despite this, most of Chi Yejun's techniques are C-level ninjutsu. It didn't do much harm to Bakey either. He understands. I was exposed today. Overheard Kanaha's collapse plan. Until the two villages reconcile, Bakey will come to assassinate him. Even Orikimaru will take action, but Chi Yejun was not worried at all. Why? Because he has a pretty awesome magical ninjutsu. X-I and done. Candy of Chaos? Advertisement. 
A chakra pill can be made that will produce an extreme feeling of euphoria after consumption. But after the effect of the medicine ends, you will fall into the same amount of pain and depression, lose your fighting spirit, and become passive and world weary. Chi Yejun once conducted experiments on cucumbers. The cucumbers ripen instantly and then wither. Danzo gave up the hot pot restaurant to third generation in order to gain some comfort. He contracted another barren mountain. Hire people to grow vegetables and fruit trees and start a green industry. He has almost a monopoly on the supply of fruits and vegetables in Kanaha and its surrounding areas. Chi Yejun is so disgraceful, I secretly visited the fruit and vegetable base many times. Cast chaos sugar on vegetables and fruits. Danzo's tertiary industry eventually collapsed. But Junji has upgraded his ninjutsu proficiency to god level. God level chaos candy has new features added. It will erase the user's memory within one hour. That is to say, if Kabuto and Baki take it, they won't even remember what happened tonight. It's so wonderful that Crispy Corn has entered the Mickey Mouse house. Baki got a shameful big breast tonight. Suddenly he was furious. He refused. Even if you have five chakra attributes, you are still a genin. So he got up and rushed towards Chi Yejan. His mouth was still beeping loudly. Baki is still quite strong. But Chi Yejan coped with it not too hard. Because of him at this moment. Fully equipped with Jonin's fighting ability. I saw him slowly bending his body. Amid Baki's teasing laughter, the leg muscles exploded. A heavy strange force kicked the opponent hard. Boom. The noise is huge. Baki hit the water tank on the roof of the building directly. Wow. The water tank could not withstand the huge impact and exploded immediately. Now, Kabuto, who had been watching the fun, planned to help. Chi Yejan sarcastically said. It's so shameless for two adults to bully a child. Advertisement. Kabuto sneered and said. I'm just bullying you. Why don't you love me? Chi Yejun sneered. As if no one has gay friends. A summoning spell? Little Tiger Yuki appears. Baki and Kabuto were stunned. But when I saw it was a furry tiger cub. Laughed loudly. This is your pet cat, right? You have the nerve to summon it. Kitten, what's your name? Kawaii. Faced with the banter between the two, Yuji is furious. These days, it and Chi Yejun have learned a lot of modern languages. He immediately cursed. You lowly zombies don't deserve to know my noble name. After talking about a water style, the tiger breaks through the waves. The water in the water tank and the bath downstairs suddenly gathered into a giant tiger. Dragging his tail towards the two of them, Baki and Kabuto were almost thrown off the roof by the force of the water flow. Embarrassed, Ikeno Jun casts chaos candy. Two blue jelly beans appeared in his hand and were thrown to Yuji. Hatsune Miko was also summoned. Step forward and sing the song of hypnosis. At this moment, Kabuto is at Chunin level at best, and has not yet become a mini boss. He was immediately hypnosis. But Baki resisted the hypnosis spell. Immediately shake the pocket. Hey, why are you sleeping now? The house where I live is big. You can sleep at my place later. Yuji turned into an afterimage. He flew towards Kabuto and forcefully stuffed the jelly beans into his mouth. Goo escape. Scorpio of all calamities. Ikeno Jun summoned Scorpio and sprayed venom on Baki. Suddenly, Baki developed toad-like pustules all over his body. A wave of dizziness came over me. Although it was short-lived, Yuji took the opportunity to stuff the jelly beans into his mouth. Now, the system finally jumped out. The plot check-in task is completed. Chi Yejun also received a reward. Advertisement. Chapter 129 Obtaining the First Immortal Technique. Advertisement. Baki and Kabuto are forced to eat chaos candy. Toshiya Ikeno summoning back to Mount Maiboko, lying on the narrow cot, looking out the window at the bright moon. All I could hear was the croaking, croaking, croaking of the pond clan. There seems to be vague handwriting on the white wall. Jiraiya is here for a visit. Chi Yejun smiled and summoned the sign-in panel. Ding. Congratulations to the host for completing the plot check-in task and being rewarded with ten finger piercing bullets. Ten finger piercing bullets? Shoot out the phalanges of the ten fingers like bullets? Borrowing the power of dead bone pulse, the finger bones can be regenerated. Haha, <laughs> I finally rewarded the long lost dead bone pulse skill. This physical technique is somewhat similar to a spear. He couldn't wait to come to the space training ground. Rows of training zombies appear. Ten finger piercing bullets. It feels like the ten fingers are instantly filled with powerful power. The white bones visible to the naked eye extend infinitely. Whoosh whoosh, shoot towards the slow moving zombies at high speed. Puff puff puff. Ten fingers, ten directions, extremely precise, without any deviation, all piercing the zombie's body. Advertisement. The phalanges retracted, and Chi Yejun lowered his head to look at his fingers. In perfect condition, in the future, you can take your enemies by surprise and get unexpected surprises. Thinking about it, I fell asleep sweetly. Early morning three days later, in front of Mount Mayaboku Falls, Chi Yejun held his breath, absorbing natural energy and combining with its own chakra. A surging energy flows through the solace of the feet. The magnificent momentum begins to gather. Ikeno Jun's body shape has not changed, but his pupils turned into black pupils without the white of the eyes. Some small bumps appear on my arms. There are also two green frog lines under the nose. Four days, Toshi Ikeno learned sage mode in just four days. There was a smile on his lips. A blue afterimage appeared directly in the palm of his hand. The power wrapped in the magic chakra shoots towards the waterfall in front. Suddenly, the waterfall flowing down was frozen into ice. The water flowing down the ice was immediately frozen into ice crystals. Ding. Congratulations to the host for awakening and creating his own sage art. Frozen condensation. Can freeze water or enemies. Until sage mode is lifted. Advertisement. Afterwards, Chi Yejun performed several more ninjutsu. Haha, <laughs> is this sage mode? Sure enough, both strength and speed are far higher than before. Few Kazako Senin has arrived in front of the waterfall. He greatly praised Chi Yejun's ability to understand the immortal way. Although it is not possible to perfect sage mode yet. To activate it, you need to sit quietly and refine the magic chakra to a certain level. And it only lasts for 5 minutes, making it impossible to fight for a long time. But it's already a miracle? Few Kazaku is even more convinced of Toad Sage's prophecy. Remember, shadow clones are not suitable for practicing magic because it is easy to change. Chi Yejun bids farewell to the Toad clan. Depart Mount Mayaboku. Before leaving, he almost filled up the Toad supermarket. As a thank you, Few Kazako made an agreement with him. On the next full moon day, come here again in the reverse direction of summoning. He will be taught a unique magical skill of the Toad clan. The next day, 
Hokage Building Conference Room. Although Moonlight Gale was not killed, but Third Generation still held an emergency meeting. Ever since Anko met Orikimura, he had gained insight into Orikimura's motives, and secretly dispatched special Jonin Tsukiko Hei to investigate Kabuto. Going to Plat Haikadon City to buy medicine is actually just a pretense. After exhaustion that day, advertisement, Hei regretted his inexplicable outburst. He braced himself and rushed to Plat Haikadon City again overnight. But Beki and Kabuto have both left. Just as everyone was speculating, Third Generation said, The information we have now is too little, so there is no need to make wild guesses. Then another round of brainwashing by the will of fire began. After the conference, Third Generation believes that ideological education should start from childhood. So he took them to the foot of Hokage Rock. To Junji, it seemed as if he was making arrangements for his funeral. Among the powers, Third Hokage Svento box has already started to heat up. Teacher Iruka pointed to the Hokage Rock and introduced them one by one. When introduced to Third Generation, Kanoamura laughed. Haha, he's so different from his current grandpa, especially his hairline. Then, Iruka started flattering mode. What third generation is the strongest Hokage in history, known as a genius professor? Come on, come on. Third generation is very fond of it. However, under the leadership of Kanoamura, the children raised questions and disdain. Several black lines appeared on third generation's forehead. Is he really my grandson? Advertisement. Chapter 130 The Agreement with Niji. Advertisement. Afternoon. Kanoha Street. Sakura's family just opened a tea shop. The signboard reads, Welcome to experience the aroma of green tea. Hey, and Zian came to the tea house. I happened to meet Ino, Hineda, Toshi Ikono, and others who came to support me. Do not know why. Hey, meets Ikono June. Suddenly, an inexplicable feeling of kindness and gratitude arose. He couldn't tell the reason either. Anyway, I am willing to give everything for him. In fact, even Chi Yejun doesn't know. When the plot is reversed and the fate of others is saved, the other party's favorability towards you will also increase. Ino is still enthusiastic and unrestrained, and her body exudes the delicious scent of roses. Hineda is still so sweet. Chi Yejun smelled the faint fragrance of chrysanthemums in her hair, but. He found that Hineda seemed to have some thoughts and a frown on her face. I didn't even take two bites of the delicious imigawayaki. Tianjong, what's wrong with you? What's the matter? There are too many people in the green tea house. Ikeno Jun said goodbye to everyone and took Hineda back to the apartment. Hineda hesitated for a long time. Finally tell the whole story. Turn out to be. Hayaganiji has been depressed since he was discharged from the hospital. Advertisement. He often beats the wall hard. I'm not even qualified to take the exam. Every time Hayashi sees Niji's lost look, he inevitably thinks of his father Hisashi, the twin brother who gave up his life for himself and the whole family. But no matter what, nor could he offer Niji to take the exam instead of his daughter. Hineda, who is sensitive and kind-hearted, feels her father's embarrassment. I also saw Niji's depression. She thought about giving up the decision to her brother, but it was only a momentary thought. She was unwilling to miss the opportunity to prove herself. For the Chinin selection that will be held soon, of course Chi Yejun knew the result. Due to unexpected events, only Shikamaru passed. So, it doesn't matter if you take the exam or not. I can't pass it anyway. Those Jinchuriki, blood successor holders, and cheaters are still genin. Therefore, in Hokage Ninja, if you are a capable villain and bully a jonin, umbu, or even a cage-level character, you can beat them as you like. But, don't mess with the Kanaha genin who is destroying the world. Just thinking about it. It was like the system of Jinchuriki in his belly, as if he could see through his mind. A new plot check-in was issued. Ding. Please host help Hayaga Niji obtain the exam qualification. Haha, <laughs> a free mission. Chi Yejun thought of a way. Send Hineda away. Ikeno Shun ran towards the Hokage building. Follow the exam list. Game 1, Toshi Ikeno vs Naruto. Advertisement. Game 2, Gara vs Suzuki. Game 3, Kankuro vs Shino. Game 4, Shikamaru vs Tamari. Game 5, Hineda vs Cloud Shinobi Village Muscle Man. Chi Yejun proposed to give up the qualification. Third generation was shocked. I always thought you were a motivated young man. Why did you let yourself down? Chi Yejun waved his hand. Is giving up the exam a fall? No, Grandpa Hokage, listen to me. Third generation lit their pipes and listened. Then I regretted it deeply, because Junji launched a brainwashing escape. Nowadays, adults are preoccupied with exams, promotions, and getting ahead. You have never thought about whether your children can withstand it. We are not products on the assembly line, but living people. Exams and promotions are by no means a healthy education model. Children's schooling careers are long, but their lives are even longer. If I have a child in the future, I will never force him to take an exam. He can do whatever he wants, no matter whether he goes to school. Half an hour later. Third generation is confused. Zaijun, I don't disagree with you abstaining from voting. What are you talking about for a long time? But, although Chi Yejun gave up the exam, but that doesn't mean Niji can be a direct replacement. After deliberation by the elders, it was decided to hold a resurrection match. The eliminated Koji, Niji, Kiba, Ino, Sakura and others will fight for a spot. As for the competition style, Mitokato Homura proposed a comprehensive score based on daily performance. Yudatan Koharo proposed group competition and elimination at each level. Finally third generation decided. Follow the call of fate, draw the cards, advertisement. Chi Yejun lent him several brainwashing books in advance. Fatalism, the power of destiny, if you don't believe in fate, die, the little strong who seizes destiny. The day the cards are drawn, Ikeno Shun waited for Niji in front of Hayaga's house. Niji looked him up and down and secretly took an attack stance. Chi Yejun smiled friendly. I don't really dislike this cold guy. He even added Niji to the resurrection list. Niji's story brings tears to both men and women. His death prompted countless viewers to send in razor blades, enough to open a hardware store. Is something wrong? Niji asked coldly. Chi Yejun showed a charming smile. Mention the upcoming draws. If you believe me, I will give you a look when the time comes. Niji was stunned. Why should he help me? What's your intention? Chi Yejun smiled and said, Haha, it's all because of Hineda. She's unhappy because of you. If you pass the exam, she will be very happy. You'll eat deliciously and be in great shape. 
So you don't have to be sentimental. Niji blushed. Then it makes sense if you think about it carefully. Then, what can you do? Chi Yejun shook his head. You don't need to know this, you just need to trust me. Niji said nothing and turned to leave. Chi Yejun warned. Remember? Get in line early. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Ninja School Classroom 301. Everyone has arrived, and the fateful moment has arrived. Chi Yejun also received new rewards. Advertisement. Chapter 131 Obtain rewards similar to 8 trigrams palms. Revolving Heaven. Advertisement. Ninja School. Classroom 301. The Easter match begins. It's said to be an Easter match, but it's just like drawing lots. Chi Yejun said enviously. In the past, it would have been better if we had drawn lots for the final exam. You would get as many points as you got. Everything was left to fate. I was too lazy to memorize and review. Eight cards have been placed in front of the table. The back is completely blank. Except for one with the Kanaha logo painted on it. Obtaining this card will qualify you to compete against Naruto instead of Toshi Ikono. Eliminated contestants stand in order. Niji takes it very seriously, got in line at 1240. So get the chance to draw cards first. Naruto, Ikono Jun, and others also rushed to watch the fun. Certainly. Chi Yejun also brought Yuji. According to rules, it is prohibited to use tactics such as rolling eyes. Marino Iki and others kept a close eye on each player. Niji draws the card. Chi Yejun secretly held Yuji's hand. A card perspective imaging? He looked over to Niji. I blinked three times as promised. Niji received the signal. Originally he wanted to turn over the first card. But in the end, I followed my heart and chose the third one. Quiet? Everyone is looking forward to it. When the card is revealed, there were all kinds of magical exclamations on the field. The brand Niji flipped happened to have a logo. Others don't need to read it. Teeth expressed dissatisfaction. Koji expressed dissatisfaction. The fat girls from Cloud Shinobi Village expressed their dissatisfaction. Little Sakura was even more outraged and questioned, did you use your white eyes? The monitoring teachers immediately denied it. Advertisement. Guy even stood up and said with a smile, absolutely impossible. If Niji opens his eyes, the veins will bulge and lines will appear. But there are no such coincidences in the world. Everyone shouted together, without any choice. Can only touch it once more. This time Niji was asked to put on a blindfold. He looked at Chi Yejun, feeling suddenly a little panicked. But Chi Yejun was not worried at all. Niji put the hood on. Suddenly everything went dark. Heart turning technique. Ikano Jun successfully controlled Niji with a tap of his hands. Then touch one of the cards. Open it. It's the Kanaha symbol again. Moonlight Blast turned over all the other cards, but they were all blank. The little guy screamed again. This time, Marino Iki suddenly slammed the table. He shouted loudly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to rebel? Do you want to be caught and sent to the torture department? Everyone then fell silent. Niji qualified for the competition. Tian Tian was so excited that he almost jumped up and immediately ran to the hospital to tell Xiaoli. Guy was even more excited and showed off his shiny white fang. Chi Yejun also completed the sign-in and received the reward. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the mission and signing in, and obtained the wind style. Spiral cover. Wind style. Spiral cover? Can produce a high-speed rotating chakra cover. It makes a circular spinning motion like a top and rebounds physical attacks. The cover can act as a barrier. Objects will be knocked away or broken upon contact. Similar to the Hayaga clan's 8 trigrams palms. Revolving heaven? But revolving heaven needs the power of the Akugan's observation to achieve absolute defense. Wind style. The spiral cover is completely unnecessary. It is an undifferentiated, all-round, 360-degree chakra defense with no blind spots. To be honest. Just mindless defense. Although Chi Yejun has bone armor, but that will only turn on automatically when life is seriously threatened. Advertisement. There are also certain restrictions on the use of earth flow walls and water barriers. Requilifey for exam. Niji looked at Ikano Jun. Nod slightly. A faint smile appeared, but it was fleeting. Subsequently, he rushed to the training ground at home and started training day and night. My mood is much brighter too. Chi Yejun looked at his back and smiled. Brother, you owe me a favor? You will owe me a bigger favor in the future. Afternoon. Ino and Hineda arrive at the apartment. In the past two days, they have been obsessed with the TV series. It's also the fault of Toshiro Chino for urging him. Originally, the Incredible Hulk and the Avengers were pulled out from space. As a result, I brought along several Love in the Rain discs. The two girls looked at each other with tears in their eyes. Without any choice, he could only watch movies with them. The next day, it's just dawn. Naruto was wearing a nightcap, his nose was bubbling, and he was in a sweet dream. Bang bang bang. Fellow, open the door, I'm here to bring warmth. You have the ability to rob a man, but don't have the ability to open the door? You hide in the house and don't make a sound. I know you are at home. Well, suddenly, Chi Yejun stopped knocking on the door. He tilted his head. Oh no, I'm into the drama. Isn't this Aunt Shue's line? Naruto reluctantly opened the door. What? Go to morning exercise with me. Naruto shouted immediately. Are you going crazy? I have to practice in the morning. Chi Yejun said. Whatever you want, don't forget you are fighting Niji, a master of Taijutsu. Naruto was shocked. Only then did I remember yesterday's Easter match. Then I'll get dressed and you wait for me. Advertisement. Ikano Jun walked into Naruto's house. I found that the slogan always win on the wall behind the dining table was gone. Instead, it's wild vegetables. Eat more vegetable. But the words always victory came to his bedside. Chi Yejun laughed. It turns out that Naruto likes to change the interior decoration regularly. I didn't expect that he has such a leisurely attitude. Haha. <laughs> Kanaha Forest. The two teenagers started doing morning exercises. Chi Yejun thought of the first time he met Xiaoli here. Until the sun rises. Haha, <laughs> it's another pleasant and fulfilling morning. Naruto looked at the green leaves and the crystal dewdrops. Smile brightly. Subsequently, the two ran towards the village, playing and playing. Disturbed the mouse who was doing morning exercises. Kicked over the rooster that was used to practice the voice. Kicked over the trash can on the roadside. After a while, there was a lot of excitement. Have breakfast. Ikano Shun came to the training ground with Naruto. Naruto has reached the third week of training. But it made no progress at all. Jiraiya is going crazy. Naruto is going crazy too. He practiced like crazy and eventually collapsed to the ground. Jiraiya looked at him. While feeling pity in his heart, he frowned. It is not easy to draw out the nine tails chakra and use it freely, but it is not impossible. 
Chi Yejun said from the side. Maybe putting him in danger will draw out the Nine Tails chakra. Jiriya is ecstatic. He took him in his arms. He praised, how can you be so smart? You actually came up with such a brilliant idea, and you thought of it with me. Then ran towards the cliff. Ikano Jun pointed at Naruto who fainted. Teacher, Naruto. Jiriya waved his hand. You can just carry it and train your physical fitness. Advertisement. Chapter 132, Naruto inspiring Nine Tails Chakra. Advertisement. Three poles high in the sun, hot wind blows on my face. Ikano Shun was sweating profusely while carrying Naruto on his back. Come to the edge of the cliff. Bang, put him on the ground. Naruto fainted with bubbles popping out of his mouth, like a little crab. Jiraiya woke him up. Naruto rubbed his sleepy eyes. Before he could figure out the situation, Jiraiya pushed his finger on his head. Naruto fell off the cliff. Jiraiya used extreme methods to stimulate the Nine Tails Chakra in Naruto's body. Bottomless cliff. Naruto screamed. Yula Ola Ola. Toshi Ikono was the physics class representative in his previous life. The calculation started from the moment Naruto fell. The speed of free fall is 9.8 m slash s superscript 2, and the formula for calculating instantaneous speed is. So Naruto's falling speed is 9.8 meters in the first second, 39.8 meters in the second second, and so on, it won't take long before he falls into a meat pie. Subsequently, another question occurred to him. Naruto fell off the cliff. So high, so fast? Why would it be fine if it hit Gamabunta? The system is also watching the fun. Jump out the answer. Gamabunta is big, has a very elastic belly, and has a long buffering time. It's like jumping off a building after falling out of love, but ended up jumping on an air mattress. Chi Yejun nodded. Actually, I think Kishimoto didn't think so much at the time. Naruto was about to fall to the bottom of the cliff. At the critical moment, he suddenly came to another humid space. The prison ahead contains the vicious nine tails. Naruto felt it break. He immediately pointed at it and shouted, Hey, Karema, come out and pay the rent. Although nine tails was very reluctant, he still said, Advertisement. If you want chakra, just say so. Jump off a cliff. I will die too if you die. Give it to you, give it to you, I'll give it all to you. Naruto got chakra instantly. But, he saw the seal above the cage, although it was not torn apart in the end. But I still touched it with my hand. Just this touch, although Minato chakra was not triggered, it triggered a chain reaction. Kakashi worked the night shift last night. Sudden, Master Namikaze Minato appears in a dream. I saw him holding a small notebook. He smiled kindly and said, Kakashi, don't be too harsh on our Naruto. Look at this book. I remember it's all about you. In a certain month and year, teacher Kakashi said that I was the last in class 7. My parents, please accept him. Kakashi woke up from his dream, covered in cold sweat. And Gara is being watched by Tamari and Kankuro in the room. Suddenly my whole body was shocked. Next moment, he felt that Shikaka's aura was about to move in his body, and he seemed to be attracted to something. The farther away Akatsuki organization base. Pain sensed a trace of breath. Call a general meeting immediately. Pain, why don't we take advantage of Kanaha's collapse and capture Nine Tails? Who will volunteer? Zetsu, don't look at me. Are you crazy for letting a flytrap fight Nine Tails Jinchuriki? Scorpion, aren't you Elo? I won't go either. I heard Kanaha Genin is very pervert. Delada, that Jinchuriki and I both have yellow hair and blue eyes, so we can't do it. He same, I don't know anything else. Anyway, I know that his mouth escape made Zabuza cry. It's so damn scary, I'm afraid. Hayden, I'm not good at catching them alive. I'll just die together. Kakuzo, if I count on my fingers, that kid will definitely lose money if I catch him. Konan, why are you looking at me? My aunt is here. Itaki, ahem, I have a terminal illness, you let me go? Doesn't your conscience hurt? Finally everyone looked at pain. What do you mean? I should be the one to co-write it. Advertisement. Itaka finally told the secret. Boss, you actually have a trick. Get Suzuki first when you enter the village, and then shout that it's in your hand. Nine tails will definitely be attracted. Just seal his mouth with stickers and tie him back. By the way, remember? Stay away from the girl who rolls her eyes. Don't go to the noodle shop. If you encounter a white-haired Sherry Non, just hit him a few times and he will be out of blue. I heard there is a handsome guy. Turn around and run away when you see him. That guy has what kind of magic can make you want to die. It's so bad. Pain totaled the night. Forget it, I just caught a cold these days, let's do it next time. Now, on the edge of a cliff, Jiraiya, who seems calm, is actually ready for summoning protection. But just now, the situation coming from below left him stunned. Hai Su Yu Shenwei, ninja technique, summoning technique. An echoing shout rang out. Huge white smoke rises. Although Jiraiya was pleased, he was also shocked. I didn't expect this kid to summon it. Think about it. Turn around and run. Chi Yejun also slipped away with him. Jiraiya sighed as he ran. This little guy is so scary. He actually summoned Gamabunta. You know, I can't even resist that old smoker. This also shows that the little guy's talent is even more than Minato. Escape to a clearing. The two sat down to rest. Jiraiya asked Ikano Jun for the first time. Little guy, I heard that you have dead bone pulse physique. Chi Yejun nodded. Then he was shown the Karamatsu dance and its Tsubaki dance. Haha, <laughs> that's amazing. After that, he explained the effect of the bone armor. But Jiraiya finally couldn't do it. Okay, let me show you the bone spear technique. Bayou bia bayou. The bone fingers immediately turned into bullets and shot forward. Jiraiya was overjoyed. Kid, you are so awesome. Chi Yejun felt very arrogant. Advertisement. I haven't told you yet, I've become an immortal too. A long time. Naruto ran over panting. Looking behind this scene, he shouted angrily. Hey, you guys are going too far? Are you here to play? You don't care about my life or death at all. To apologize, Jiraiya invites them to eat ramen. Naruto was bitten by a snake. He took out his empty small wallet and looked wary. I don't have any money. Jiraiya smiled and said, don't worry, I'll pay for it this time. Naruto then happily walked into Ichiraku ramen. He asked while sipping the noodles. Pervy sage, what if I don't summon the nine tails chakra? 
Then he suddenly pointed at Ji Yejun. If it were him, you wouldn't be willing to push him down, right? Hmph, partiality. Ji Riya explained haha, of course I do this with full confidence. In fact, the summoning technique can point to the direction, and it can't only be summoned at the feet. If you don't activate the Nine Tails Chakra, I am fully capable of using the summoning technique from a few hundred meters away. Summons a giant toad to act as a safety cushion. Naruto then laughed. Let me tell you, Toad Sage won't ignore me. Ji Riya was stunned. I was deeply moved. This kid finally stopped calling me Pervy Sage. Ji Yejun took the opportunity to flatter him loudly. Master, a cage level ninja, how can he catch you down there? Jiraiya's chopsticks stopped in midair. Ajahn, what did you say about me just now? Cage level ninja. Jiraiya hugged him excitedly. You can eat as much as you want today, master's treat. Naruto can only have five bowls. After eating and drinking enough, the three masters and apprentices had bulging stomachs. After saying goodbye to each other, Chi Yejun walked home. Right now, the system suddenly jumped out. A task sign in about Sunset Village was issued. Advertisement. Chapter 133 Entering the Tiger Clan Wonderland. Advertisement. The Country of Waves. Sunset Village. Flowers are blooming and prosperity is flourishing. Chi Yejun hasn't been there for a long time. Romanji was picked up by Kakashi and got a flat tire. By the way, let me know what's going on there. Chi Yejun nodded with satisfaction and didn't worry about it anymore. Just today, the system suddenly issued a task about Sunset Village. Ding! Issue a mission sign-in and ask the host to strengthen Sunset Village's strength and add a blood successor limit holder before the Kanaha Collapse plan is implemented. What? Adding a blood successor limit holder? The mission deadline is less than 10 days. Where to find it? And even if you find it, how to convince people to settle down willingly? This task is very difficult. But, Ikeno Jun believes there must be a way to complete. Night. Lying in bed, I thought about the mission. The more I think about it, the less I have a clue. He jumped up. I ran to the creek in space and caught some crayfish. I went back to the kitchen and made a plate of spicy crayfish with garlic paste. He summoned Yuji and had supper with him. They chatted while eating. Yuji eats lobster for the first time. It doesn't feel satisfying. After peeling for a long time, there was only a little bit of flesh. The venison from our Huaxi Valley is still delicious. Chi Yejun laughed. Don't you like eating seaweed? Advertisement. Mentioned Huaxi Valley. Chi Yejun had a sudden idea. Would love to go there and have a look. Yuji, do your tiger clan have the reverse summoning technique? Can I go to your fairy land to see it? Yuji agreed to ask for him. But don't have high hopes. Think about it too. Not everyone can go to the place of inheritance. Hokage has a huge worldview, but the overall plot involves very little. Kishimoto painted a big picture, but did not fully display it. Just like several great fairy lands. Mount Mayaboka has the most scenes. There are a lot less scenes in Ryakai Cave. There are very few wet bone forests, and people don't even know what they are like inside. As for the remaining two wonderlands, Kishimoto didn't even mention a word. Chi Yejun wants to uncover the mystery one day. Subsequently, the two played flying chess. The more you play, the more boring you become. Chi Yejun suddenly felt evil and took out pen, ink, paper, and inkstone. Splash ink and create a couplet. Then he pulled Yuji and disappeared into the thick night. Danzo's doorstep. Yuji jumped lightly into the courtyard wall and pasted the couplet on the gate. People sitting at home. The pot comes from heaven. Heng Biao, the first generation pot shadow is me. The next day, Danzo seems very satisfied. He even wants to build a village of pots. At noon, Chi Yejun came to the funeral home for dinner. Suddenly received Yuji's feeling. So he secretly summoned him. It turns out that the leader of the tiger clan, Yukichi's father, agreed to Ikeno Jun's request. Advertisement. Agreed to let him go to Huaxi Valley. In addition to excitement, Ikeno Jun hugged Yuji. Kanaha Street in the afternoon. The two of them were running. Naruto was a little jealous when he saw it. They're as good as wearing a pair of pants now. Thinking about it, I walked to the hospital. When I arrived at the ward, I found that Suzuki was missing. The back mountain at this moment. A remote cliff. Kakashi is teaching lightning style. Chidori. Chidori must sprint to activate. But the drawback is that it is too fast and cannot clearly see the enemy's movements. Therefore, it must be matched with Sharingan's inside ability to make up for it. Chidori is perfect for Suzuki's training. And the effect of this technique is also very gorgeous. Light blue electricity enveloped his hands. The light of lightning covered his whole body as he sprinted. The bursts of popping sounds are like the chorus of a thousand birds. It's simply awesome with lightning. Chi Yejun returned to the apartment. Yuji transformed, took his hand, and used the space transfer technique. Wait for Chi Yejun to open his eyes. Fresh air blows in my face. Refreshing, warm and comfortable. You can't feel the heat at all. The sea of flowers is fragrant, the streams are gurgling, butterflies are flying, and bees are dancing. Wow, Flower Creek Valley is more beautiful than Mount Mayaboko, it's like a summer resort. It's a little different than imagined. He thought there were majestic tigers everywhere. But looking around, they are all handsome guys and beauties in human form. Chi Yejun asked, are you in human form on weekdays? Advertisement. Yuji laughed and said, of course not. This time everyone is also welcoming you because they are afraid that you will be scared if you are surrounded by tigers. Chi Yejun felt like he suddenly fell in love with this place. Soon, Yuji takes him to his father. The transformed iron juice is a mighty middle-aged man. Don't be angry, be proud of yourself, and carry the aura of a king. In hundreds of years, you are the first person to successfully summon our clan. With the permission of the tiger clan immortal, I agree to your request to enter the valley. However, our clan will not accept cultivation disciples for the time being. The implication is that it is temporarily impossible to practice tiger clan sage mode. But Chi Yejun doesn't care. He mainly wants to experience the awesome space-time pupil technique. Yuji had told him, the time and space pupil technique possessed by the tiger clan immortals can bring people into the past. Chi Yejun wants to go back to his childhood. Look at your own mother. Unravel the mystery of your biological father. Taiji heard his request and fell into deep thought. Chi Yejun smiled and said, it's my friend who wants to see. Taiji was amused. Haha, you really made something out of nothing. Finished. Take him outside the elders hall. Chi Yejun sat on the futon and waited. At this time, a beautiful young woman floated over. Her name is Yuzan Mu. She is Yuji's cousin. Yuzan Mu is lively, cheerful, charming, and unrestrained. She often listens to Yukichi's stories about Ikeno Jun. So he laughed and said, 
Are you Toshi Ikono from Kanaha Village? Chi Yejun stood up and nodded politely. Advertisement. Chapter 134, The Time and Space I Technique of the Tiger Clan Immortal. Advertisement. Yuzan Mu changes back to tiger form. I took Toshi Chino to visit Ichiban Flower Valley. At last. Yuzan said goodbye to him with smiling eyes. In the future, if you have nothing to do, call your sister over. If anyone dares to bully you, my sister will help you beat him up. Chi Yejun quite likes this cheerful tiger sister. Elders Hall. Majestic and solemn. Chi Yejun walked in with Taiji. I originally thought Elder Huamai was an ancient cat. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be a Chinese pastoral cat. Yellow and white, plump and cute. Lying on the mat and licking her fur. Chi Yejun was a cat slave in his previous life. I really want to pick it up, but think about it and forget it. He is an immortal after all. Chi Yejun took out the freshly prepared bags, cat food, and canned cats. Send it up respectfully. He took out the cat litter box and a few bags of cat litter. The immortal seemed very satisfied and made a purring sound. But he never transformed from beginning to end. It meowed several times. Iron Juice explained. The elder agreed to use the space pupil technique once, but there may be certain risks, because the elder has not used it for thousands of years. Chi Yejun thought for a while and nodded. Advertisement. Even if he is lost in space, he is sure that the system will never fail to save him. Because now he feels more and more. He is the Jinchuriki of the system. If he dies, the system will die too. But, the space pupil technique is random? That is to say, there is no way to specify a specific time period. Maybe go back a few years or more than 10 years ago, but it's also possible to just go back to yesterday, or even a few minutes ago. And Toshi Ikono still maintains his original state. Age and skills will not change due to time and space transformation. This is quite good. One more thing to note is that the location of time and space transition is also random. Chi Yejun nodded. My heart is full of curiosity. Will it be teleported to six paths? That's exciting. Iron Juice pointed to a dark cabin. You sit on the futon inside. The time and space teleportation can only last for one day. After the transmission is completed, you will end the time and space transformation in the form of a dream in your own home. The immortal meowed twice more. Iron Juice added. The elder said that it has not been used for a long time. Let's test it this time. If you are not satisfied with the location of the first teleportation, you can return here by chanting the magic spell immediately and start again. What is the magic spell? Taiji asked and said awkwardly. The evil dragon is roaring and wailing, the little windmill, the big west G, Abba, 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 the big ash sack, the little old axe, the wailing. I wipe it. Advertisement. It turns out that Huamai Immortal is a funny guy. What a surprise, what a surprise. After knowing all the details, Chi Yejun walked into the small dark room. My heart is full of tension, excitement, excitement, and anticipation. Boom, there was a roar. I felt dizzy before my eyes. Chi Yejun fainted. Wait until you open your eyes. Dark and cold. There are dense forests everywhere. What place is this? What year is it? Just thinking about it. A holographic panel appeared in front of me. Kanaha 52 years. And the location at this time. It turned out to be outside the Yoriwaki clan camp. Ter Yoriwaki clan. Chi Yejun, who is familiar with the plot, immediately thought of one person. Kimimaro, full name Kagaya Kimimaro. One of the five sound ninjas under Orikimaru. Even if it comes to Kanaha village, it is one of the best. He has a calm, confident and calm personality. And very polite and personable. During the fight with Xiao Li, Xiao Li said he needed to take medicine, so Kimimaro stopped attacking and waited for him to finish. Advertisement. There are two red spots on his forehead. The holder of the dead bone pulse blood inheritance. Has what can be called the strongest bones. Therefore, from a young age, he was regarded as a human shield and weapon by his tribe. Imprisoned in a dark dungeon. Living a miserable life in darkness. Later, the tribe released him. But it's not out of good intentions. The Kagaya people are arrogant, warlike, and crazy. Kirigaku wanted to take the initiative but was afraid of taking risks. So Kimimaro was asked to go for a sneak attack. Kimimaro sneaks into Kirigaku alone. Kill countless mist ninjas. On the way, they also met Mamakai Zabuza and Haku. Bai also had the same fate as him. He was helpless since he was a child and was hunted down by his tribe because of his blood inheritance. But luckily, he met Zabuza. But Kimimaro met Orikimaru. He finally fell ill and died during the battle, and his death was very painful. Chi Yejun woke up from the timeline calculation. A slap on the thigh? Yes, Kimimaro should be about seven years old at the moment and is being locked up in a dungeon by his tribe. If we rescue him, wouldn't it completely change the regret of his death? He will not meet Orikimaru and become a tragic experiment? Even if there is a genetic disease, I believe there will be a cure in the future. The most important thing is, the task of increasing the blood successor owners can also be completed. Sunset Village has added an admiral, and I have a younger brother. He and Zabuza are old acquaintances. The three of them can live happily together. Haha, ha. one stone kills many people. Advertisement. Chapter 135 Kimimaro in the Dungeon. Advertisement. Cold night forest, foggy and confusing. Look around. It's hard to tell the difference between east, west, north, and south. It's so cold. Chia Jun took out a sweater and put it on. Tonight he planned to explore the Kagaya camp. Find the dungeon where Kimimaro is imprisoned. When it comes to Kimimaro, Toshi Ikono can't help but feel a sense of intimacy. Why? Because both of them can pull out bones and make weapons. Chia Jun's figure is dexterous, moving through the forest. Finally, it stopped in a dark corner outside the tribe. Keep your eyes on the camp, looking for the best time to sneak in. Chia Jun sat down. Turn on sage mode. Sudden, a pat on the head. It's okay to hide, we have a cloak of shadow. It was nearly midnight. The Kagaya tribe did not rest. They were busy preparing something, their faces filled with bloodthirsty excitement. Could it be that? A night attack on Kirigaku or tonight? Chi Yejun disappeared into the night. Easily walk around to the camp gate. Sage mode ends in three minutes. Chi Yejun smiled evilly. Spit out blue ice breath directly from the mouth. It was only later that he discovered that sage art. Ice condensation could not only be cast by hand. Better through the mouth. Very much like Superman's freezing breath. So handsome. The two guards quickly condensed into icicles. Chi Yejun started looking. But after searching for half an hour, I still couldn't find the place where Kimimaro was being held. It's really strange. Advertisement. 
He ducked into the fragrant kitchen, going to look for clues. The chef is cooking, and there are several men beside him. Today is so exciting. Yeah, we're going to have a big fight and kill all those bastards in Kirigakur. The fate of the Teriyoriwaki clan will soon be rewritten, and we will become the most powerful clan in the land of water. The chef puts the fried vegetables on the tray. He ordered. Stop feeling emotional, Yuan Fang. Bring the food and wine to the clan leader. Yuan Fang is a handsome young man. He picked up the tray and turned to leave. After hearing this, Chi Yejun, who was invisible, couldn't help but curl his lips in amusement. It was indeed rewritten, but the whole army was wiped out. All that was left was a bewildered seven-year-old child. Ikeno Shun must rescue Kimimaro by tomorrow night. Because the time and space transformation only lasts for one day, and he didn't want to meet Orikimaro either. Think of this. Jump off the rafter and follow quietly. Yuan Fang held the tray and moved forward steadily. From the kitchen to the meeting hall, you need to pass through several dark corridors. Dark corner. He was suddenly knocked unconscious with a stick. Before the food hits the floor, being caught firmly. Transformation technique. Chi Yejun turned into Yuan Fang's appearance. Black Neza head with two red spots on his forehead. After dragging Yuan Fang to a dark place and covering it with weeds, Chi Yejun picked up the tray and walked forward. Chamber. The clan leader and elders are discussing. Chi Yejun walked in, placed the drinks and dishes, and stepped aside. The patriarch is a bloodthirsty and warlike man. Extremely ugly, goldfish eyes, garlic nose, windy ears. Advertisement. The breath he exhaled was comparable to Bakey's. Tonight will be a battle that changes the fate of our clan. I wish you success and cheers. Cheers. After drinking heavily, someone suggested. Send someone to check on that little guy later. That damn life will finally come in handy now. The clan leader nodded. So Kisne. An old man said. He fully awakened the blood successor at the age of seven. He is really a genius. The patriarch immediately said angrily. Fart? What a genius. He's just a little bastard that no one wants. Others immediately nodded in agreement. The ugly man suddenly asked Chi Yejun. Yuan Fang, how do you see? Chi Yejun was stunned. He immediately said. Yes, he's just a little bastard, it's just, he's been hungry for several days. Should we give him some food tonight? Or how will he be sent to lead the charge later? The patriarch thought for a while. Nod. Get some leftovers to serve and come with me to the dungeon. Turn out to be. The dungeon is actually located underground in the council chamber. Chi Yejun was very angry. A child? But the blood successor is fully awakened? What did he do wrong? To have suffered such a crime. Chi Yejun followed the ugly man to the dungeon. It was dark and oppressive, damp and cold. The surrounding walls are mottled and covered with moss and cobwebs. Hello, patriarch. The two guards nodded and bowed. Um, squeak. The rusty cell door was opened. A putrid musty smell mixed with the smell of blood hit his nostrils. Chi Yejun almost covered his nose. After adapting to the darkness, only then did I see it. Advertisement. A thin figure huddled in the corner, looking at them tremblingly. His eyes were full of fear and despair. It's childhood Kimimaro. There were also lines of dried blood on his face. Clearly abused. Hey, boy, come here. The ugly man shouted to Kimimaro in the corner. Kimimaro trembled all over. The sound is like a mosquito. Master Patriarch, I don't dare to run away anymore. I'm hungry. The ugly man twisted his thin chin. Tear? He tore his shirt open. The dense blood scabs shocked Chi Yejun. You little bastard, do you still dare to run away? How does the whips do taste? Chi Yejun's fists were clenched. My eyes are about to burst into flames. But he still doesn't know how many Kagaya people there are. Don't act rashly for now. The ugly man is a sadist. I guess I beat him a lot on weekdays. He grabbed Kaimimaro's hair and threw him against the wall. Boom. A muffled sound. Kaimimaro's whole body flew out lightly and hit the wall hard. Chi Yejun's chest was like a worn out old bellows. Panting heavily. He resisted the thought of strangling him to death and said, Master Patriarch, we need him to take the lead tonight. The ugly man's anger became more and more intense. He gave him a stern look. You dare to control me. Chi Yejun immediately lowered his eyebrows. Don't dare, don't dare. But I was thinking in my heart. Look how Lao Zi will torture you old guy to death. Advertisement. Chapter 136 The Eye Technique of the Tiger Clan. Advertisement. The clan leader pressed forward. Kimimaro, listen, the time has come when we need you. Fight for our Teriyoriwaki clan. Kimimaro asked eagerly. Really, do you really need me? That's right. Fight to your heart's content, go to the Mist Ninja village, kill everyone you meet on the way, and just act according to your instincts. Then he said to Chi Yejun, give him the food. Kimimaro took the food and wolfed it down like a refugee from a famine. Because I ate too fast, I accidentally choked. Chi Yejun handed him the water, patting his back gently, eat slowly. Kimimaro looked up at him and recognized him. Over the years, he and a young lady were the only ones who had secretly given him food, but no one had ever been so gentle to him. Hurry up and eat, someone will take you out later. After the clan leader finished speaking, he locked the dungeon again. Chi Yejun followed. I don't know why, ugly men always feel cold behind their backs. Kimimaro was confused again. Kill, is your mission tonight to kill? He pulled a bone out of his shoulder. Stab hard against the wall? Chi Yejun figured out the location of the cell. End the transformation. Hidden under the cloak again. Quietly return to the dungeon. Akuno easily dispatched two guards. Then show up. Kimimaro was shocked. Who are you? Chi Junro smiled and said, I am, your brother, I am here to save you. Brother. Seeing Kimimaro's confused look, Ikeno Shun performed Sabeki's dance. Pull out a whole steel-like arm bone from the shoulder. Then there was another move called Karamatsu's dance. Advertisement. The bones of the limbs broke out of the skin, forming defensive bone spurs. Ah. Kimimaro was stunned. Sure enough, it's the same as myself. Looking at Chi Yejun again, I felt an inexplicable sense of trust and intimacy. Actually, that person just now was also transformed by me. Kimimaro, come with me, I need you. After speaking, he stretched out his hand and looked at him with a smile. Kimimaro seemed to be under a spell, staring at his handsome face, and that warm and sincere smile. Chi Yejun used his mouth escape, just like the slander of God. Kimimaro couldn't help but put his hand through the cell door fence towards Ikeno Jun. But he still asked, it's just that I can't get out. Haha, ha, this is easy to handle. The strange power can kick the prison door open. But the cell is small, and Kimimaro is bound to get hurt. And the movement will be too loud. 
Tiger Clan Summoning Technique. Chi Yejun slapped his hands on the ground, summoned the summoning beast. But, this time it wasn't Yuji, but his cousin Yuzan Mu. In fact, when galloping in Huaxi Valley, the two signed a blood contract. Yuzan Mu possesses the ability of a pharmacist. Can make all kinds of weird medicinal powders and potions. For example, a series of forced potions that force people to run and walk upside down. Itching powder, vomiting powder, etc. There are also hypnosis potions, laxatives, truth-telling potions, etc. But at present, Ikeno Jun does not have the right to obtain the medicine. Yuzan Mu's pupil technique is the heat eye. Like Superman's heat ray. Saw the tiger appear? Kimimaro immediately pulled out the bone and entered a state of preparation for battle. Advertisement. Chi Yejun smiled and waved his hand. Don't be nervous, it's our ally. After speaking, he nodded to the tigress. Bang, Yuzan Mu suddenly turned into a human form. Received instructions from Ikeno Jun. Eyes turn red. Fires a scorching ray. Hereby. Bang, the strong lock is cut instantly. Chi Yejun and Yuzan Mu stretched out their hands at the same time. Kimimaro hesitated for a moment. He dived into Chi Yejun's arms. I don't want to leave for a long time. Maybe it's been a long time of indifference. Young hearts are in urgent need of love and comfort. Kimimaro felt warm for the first time and couldn't help but shed tears. Like the first time he met Orikimaru. He was abducted home by a man with a bright tongue and devoted himself to him until his death. The more children lack love since childhood. If he meets someone who treats him well, it will be easier to trust him. Desperate? Take out your heart and lungs? Take off your guard. Yuzan Mu reluctantly said goodbye after completing his mission. Ikeno Jun took out his cloak and left with Kimimaro. He didn't intend to kill. Because he knows, even if Kimimaro is lost, the bloodthirsty and crazy Teruyoyuki clan will attack the Mist Ninja village. In the end, they still face genocide. But, that patriarch is another matter. Under the leadership of Kimimaro, the two went to the patriarch's bedroom. Leave the cloak to Kimimaro. He casts the transformation technique again. Advertisement. This time it turned out to be Yuan Fang's sweetheart, the patriarch's little lover. The little lover twisted and came to the hall. He kept firing electricity at the clan leader. Then he hooked his hand and whispered in his ear. The patriarch is overjoyed. The little lover and Yuan Fang are childhood sweethearts. Lives in Mist Ninja Village. He was abducted by both parents when he was young. His little lover has always been lukewarm and disobedient to him. Why are you so proactive today? The patriarch was overcome with desire and entered the bedroom with his little lover in his arms. Ten seconds later, he was tightly bound by the white hair of Loli Kagayaheim. Junji and Kimimaro appeared one after another. When Chi Yejun took out a kunao and wanted to stab him, but was stopped by Kimimaro, Chi Yejun was stunned. No way, he is actually a little virgin. I saw Kimimaro showing a ruthless expression that was inappropriate for his age. Slowly pull out the bone spur from your shoulder, let me. Chi Yejun smiled and nodded. The ugly patriarch's heart was pierced, and he died on the spot spurting blood. But, before death, his mouth was tightly covered by Chi Yejun. Sooner or later the body will be found. Because transformation technique, the innocent little lover and Yuan Fang will naturally become the murderers of the patriarch. Think about it. Then he found her and Yuan Fang. After a brief narration, the ice and snow phoenix was summoned. The childhood sweethearts rode on, agreed on a meeting place and spread their wings to leave. Ikeno Shun and Kimimaro also left the camp hiding under their cloaks. There is still half a day left before the time and space transition. Will he meet Haku and Zabuza? And Orikimaru. Advertisement. Chapter 137 Meeting Kimimaro's Good Friend by Chance. Advertisement. The sun rises in the east. Warm sunshine shines on the earth. Yuan Fang and King Mei were rescued. They didn't take any luggage, only a flywheel. Yuan Fang has big ears. He was trained by the Yoyuki clan in secret agent listening for a long time, and he is good at using hidden weapons. After thanking him profusely, he ran to his hometown of Mist Ninja Village overnight. During the fourth war, they met Chi Yejun again. Jun and Jun took the ice and snow phoenix and flew towards the border of the Kingdom of Water. Toshi Ikeno originally wanted to go back to Kanaha Village for a visit, but it will take at least a day to fly back. Time shift is coming to an end tonight. Flying Thunder God also has no mark in this era. I can only give up. Kagaya Camp. Just woke up from the chaos. After the temporary election of a new clan leader, the plan to attack the Mist Ninja Village was postponed until tomorrow night. And at this moment, Zabuza, Orikimura, and the others are at Sun Castle on the border of Water Country. The time to pass the Mist Ninja Village was also postponed for two days. Among the powers, all for the sake of meeting Kimimaro, the Ice and Snow Phoenix flew all day and night. Let out a tired chirp. Jija, Zioxu seems tired. Junjun stroked its feathers gently. Chi Yejun then settled in Haiwa Village. It's fate. Kimimaro meets the person who regards him as his spiritual support. Haiwa Village. It is surrounded by the sea on three sides and the mountain on one side. There is thick fog all year round. Advertisement. Not far from the village is Shuyin City, and to the north of it, facing each other across the sea, it is the legendary country, the Kingdom of Blood. Although this country is very mysterious, but it still makes people talk about it and become frightened, because the people there have the forbidden limit of blood inheritance, blood escape, and he holds the terrifying blood curse seal. Fortunately, they are isolated from the rest of the world. It has not appeared in people's sight for the time being. Chi Yejun landed in the northernmost part of the village. A lonely stone house looked very desolate. It seems that none of the villagers want to come near this place. Now, the mist has not yet dissipated, and the sky is just getting light. A handsome young man playing with birds walked out of the stone house. The young man is tall and strong, at least 1.9 meters tall, no more than 10 years old. He has messy orange hair and his eyes are also orange, but pure and flawless. Kimimaro felt a little startled when he saw him. Chi Yejun was even more stunned. Degree Omicron Degree. Isn't this Kong Yu? Kimimaro's best gay friend. His characteristic lies in his dual personality. Normally he is very stable, loves to play with birds, and enjoys forest bathing. When I feel unhappy, I will even eat it, and it will be crunchy. The body will change along with the black curse mark. When little demon fairy's whole body changes, his special physique will accept the natural energy overflowing from the earth. Transform into a cruel immortal. 
However, his normal personality is indifferent to the world, able to be one with nature and communicate with birds. But it was this special physique that was born with the ability to control natural energy that caused his personality to split. Advertisement. In the eyes of the villagers, he is a deformed monster, especially those orange eyes. It is also considered to be evil and dangerous and will bring bad luck. So everyone was alienated from him and even said bad things to him. From small to large, he was often bullied by the village children. Him now, the brutal ability has not yet awakened. When an attack occurs, most chickens and ducks will be killed, making the village restless. Two years later, his terrifying abilities were fully awakened, to avoid harming others. Kong Yu lived far away from the village in a cave. Until Kimi Miro was walking nearby, I accidentally entered Kong Yu's cave. He pulled out his big, bone and tied up Jango, claiming to be his spiritual prison. He also recommended the stronghold of his big boss Anshi. Dear, it's full of freaks like us, come and play. After being treated both softly and hard, Zong Yu turned out to be Ant Snake's test material. Hey, who are you? Yugo interrupted Ikeno Jun's memories. Oh, we are travelers. Kong Yu warmly invites you. Come to my house and have fun. Him at this moment. He is kind and honest, completely different from his later darkened image. The two of them entered the house, found out there was a little girl. It was his sister Kong Gai and Kimi Maro are both seven years old. She is a petite and cute little loli. No orange pupils and polio in his legs. Advertisement. I found out after chatting. Kong Yu's parents died young. The brother and sister depend on each other for life. Their home used to be a two-story building with a mill next to the village inn. Later, the two were kicked out of the ancestral home, moved to a stone house far away from the village. In this way, he still has to pay a large amount of land rent to the village chief every month. Although the brothers and sisters are not very big, but the cooking skills are good. Kong Gai, Gai brought barnacle steamed eggs, garlic snails, and conger eel soup to the stone table. Although they are all worthless things in the sea, they taste very delicious. Yugo looked at Kimimaro in a daze. Kimimaro also looked up at him. The two teenagers looked at each other and smiled. Inexplicable ripples arose in my heart. Chi Yejun plans to settle down here, until the end of time and space at night. As for Yugo, he had no intention of taking him back to his original time and space, because his dual personality will cause a lot of trouble in the future. And if you travel back in time and space, you can only bring back one person at a time. Kong Yu has been closed all year round and lacks information from the outside world. At this moment, he asked curiously. Kimimaro told him all his experiences and encounters. Both had miserable childhoods. Soon we felt sympathy for each other and became familiar with each other. There was rain and fog outside the window. The hut flickered with candlelight. Warm and comfortable. But right now, the village chief's son and seven or eight of his men pushed open the courtyard door. He waddled in. Moving his fat short legs and his big belly, he looked like a waddling duck. Baga, the rent is paid. Advertisement. Chapter 138 Magical Alchemy. Advertisement. Kong Yu's eyes widened in anger. Argue based on reason. Why do we still have to pay rent? You have occupied our home and now you keep asking us to pay rent? Is this still justified? The fat man laughed wildly. In this village, I am the law of heaven. A deformed monster with yellow eyes and a lame man, bah, you. Yugo's face turned livid and he clenched his fists tightly. The fat man pointed to the fishing boat not far away. The rent must be paid today, otherwise the fishing boat will take it away. Fishing boats are tools for survival. Zong Yu has loved small animals since he was a child and can communicate with them. There are many stray cats and dogs in the courtyard. A stray dog happened to run up. The fat man kicked him hard. The dog screamed, twitching with pain. The little lowly limped over, hugged the dog sadly, and shed tears. Yugo's anger boiled in his chest. Although he is tall and bulky, he is still more powerful in numbers. And he is only ten years old. But he still raised his fist. Started working with those people. Chi Yejun is furious. I think of growing up in my grandfather's house in the countryside when I was a child. The village chief is a bastard who bullies men and women. See the situation in front of you. The devil inside him begins to awaken. And right now, Kong Gai grabbed one of his men who was beating his brother. Bite on his arm. Don't hit my brother. Advertisement. The man cursed loudly. Bagia dear. Slap the little lowly away. The poor little girl hit her head on the flower bed, bleeding profusely, and fainted immediately. Heavy clothes. Zong Yu shouted heartbreakingly, waving his fists and feet as he rushed out of the encirclement and ran towards his sister. Chi Yejun can't bear it anymore. Soaring into the sky uncontrollably. Flying kick to the man's face. When he landed, he grabbed his arm and twisted it back hard. There was a click, and the shoulder joint had been dislocated. Looking at Xiao Kong Gai who was lying on the ground bleeding. Toshi Ikeno summons Miku, who can heal. Then pull out the kunao. Stab him hard in the throat. Blood spurted out. The noisy people suddenly quieted down. True secret destruction feat. Chucker gathers in the legs. Kick the village chief's son to death. The fat man fell to the ground and died suddenly. The few remaining people wanted to escape and spread the news. At this time, the white-haired kid pulled out a white bone from his shoulder, etc. Ikeno Jun shouted loudly and stopped Kimimaro. Kimimaro was stunned. I muttered in my heart, is this little brother a holy mother? I saw Chi Yejun hugging Kong Gai and covering her eyes. Sent to the hut. After closing the door, he shouted. Jun Jun, please continue your performance. Suddenly, advertisement. The small courtyard turned into a bloody hell on earth. The killing is over. Ikeno Jun summoned Yuzan Mu. Chi Yejun asked. Don't you know how to do alchemy? Is there something that can make corpses disappear? Yuzan Mu nodded. You mean corpse turning water, right? Yap. Junior berries, namara rot fungus, emperor's umbrella moss, bone meal, crow hags tears. Yuzan Mu was talking about the ingredients for corpse water. Then disappear. A few minutes later, she reappeared and handed Chi Yejun a small blue and white porcelain bottle. Here, you can use it endlessly. What? Did you hear that right? Infinite loop? That is to say, after using up a bottle, it will be automatically refilled? Awesome glass? Chi Yejun was excited. Holding my heart that was beating like bang bang. The zombie water is a very terrifying potion. Originating from the Sengoku period in China, it is the ultimate mysterious poison commonly used by assassins. The body only needs to be stained. It will turn into a puddle of liquid in an instant, and even the bones will be melted. Then it quickly evaporates and turns into ashes. Chi Yejun was suddenly afraid. If you accidentally get involved with this, you will have to meet God. Yuzan Mu seemed to see his concerns. Smiled and said. 
Don't worry, the corpse turning water I produce can only be used on corpses, and is ineffective on living people. Haha, <laughs> advertisement. The Meow Meow cat rides on the roller coaster, and the whole journey is Meow Meow Meow, after Yu Zan Mew disappears. Chi Ye Jun opened the bottle cap and tilted it slightly. A few drops of clear water like liquid dripped. See, the corpses on the ground corroded quickly like burning candles? It only takes one minute. Not even the blood was left, it completely melted away. Kimimaro was so shocked that his eyes almost popped out. Kong Yu almost bit his own tongue, Chi Ye Jun put away the vial, smiled and said, A must have for home travel and killing. Although the corpses were destroyed and no traces were left. But the small village is obviously not suitable for living. Chi Ye Jun asked. Zongo, apart from communicating with small animals, what else can you do? Zongo thought about it and said, I can also build bridges. The Kingdom of Water often has bridge repair tasks, and I can also earn some pocket money. Build the bridge? Chi Ye Jun immediately thought of how to settle him. But, it was just before 10 o'clock in the morning. There are still more than 10 hours before the time and space transition. Chi Ye Jun said his arrangement. He plans to send his brother and sister to the country of waves. You go to the village chief of Dejana, or go to a sister named Hairi Manji. She is very nice. The brother and sister have long been tired of this place. Pack your bags immediately. Subsequently, the four of them headed towards Shuyin City, not far to the west. And there, Chi Ye Jun met several acquaintances. Advertisement. Chapter 139, Encountering an Acquaintance in the Bathhouse. Advertisement. Shuyin City, a port city in the Kingdom of Water. A mixture of dragons and snakes. Occupied by pirates, traders, thieves, and the black market. Because it is rich in all kinds of sea fish. The long-term fishery trade has also made this place a prosperous fishing city. An hour later, Chi Ye Jun and four others finally arrived at the dock area. Ships with various pirate flags and trading company flags were moored in the harbor. An air of prosperity. Find the ship heading to the land of waves. Chi Ye Jun sent the brother and sister on the boat. Although it was less than a day, Kimimaro and Yugo are in love with each other and start the gay friendship mode. Yugo touched Kimimaro's head. There is no such thing as a feast that lasts forever. I'm leaving. If there is still a chance for us to be brothers again, we will definitely not be sisters. Kimimaro nodded and said with a tearful smile. Well, be happy from now on. Be happy all the time. Don't look sad as soon as you leave me. Although we are both freaks, we still want eggplant and Tiankai. Yugo smiled brightly. Kongai I even hugged Chi Ye Jun. Chi Ye Jun said softly, Miss Little Sister, maybe we can meet again tomorrow. The ship set sail. Everyone waved goodbye. Ikeno Jun and Kimimaro walked to the fish market. Advertisement. Who would have thought? So crowded? Because when I go to the market, there are huge crowds of people, just like spring festival travel. Right now, he saw an old woman in front of her, carrying a particularly long dried fish on her back. I wipe it. Is this the same hada that Kisame is carrying? They came to a tavern. There was a gorgeous woman at the door. Recruiting. Join us, a national level scientific research base, with favorable treatment, complete equipment, free board, and lodging, a pair of big pants, a pair of flip flops, a full day mobile cave view suite, more work, more reward, as long as you work hard, in Kanaha buying a house in village is no longer a dream. But look further back. Chi Ye Jun was shocked. No matter you are lame, blind, or crazy, as long as you are a freak or misfit with society, you are welcome to join. I wipe it, and snake. Chi Ye Jun hurriedly pulled Kimimaro away, looking at the bustling crowd. Kaimimaro's eyes were full of curiosity. I haven't been out of the cell since I was put in it. It's so lively here and I like it so much. Chi Ye Jun hugged him in his arms. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Let's find a hotel first and then take a bath. After inquiring, there is a really nice hotel. One ticket. Bathing, eating, sleeping, washing hair, killing horses and chickens. The two walked towards the trade area. Advertisement. It took me a long time to find it. This hotel is an old factory renovated. The two walked into the dressing room. Soak in warm soup. My whole body feels very comfortable. It was as light as if I had taken some magic pill. Right now, Kimimaro poked Ikeno Jun. Chi Ye Jun opened his eyes. Isn't it by? He was also taken into the bathhouse by Zabuza. Zabuza caught his gaze. He said fiercely. Hey, what are you looking at? Chi Ye Jun curled his lips. What are you so crazy about? Believe it or not, Lao Zi will fire you tomorrow. Snort. Snort. The two turned their heads away. Take a good bath. Chi Ye Jun came to the rest area. Sitting by the fire, I ordered two portions of pickles, bran cakes, roasted eel with coarse salt and rye wine. Coincidentally, Zabuza also came with Shiro, and the ones ordered are exactly the same. This time, if he doesn't beheaded, he won't be cold-hearted. I even have an indescribable feeling for Chi Ye Jun in my heart. Advertisement. Anyway, I am willing to risk my life. Desperate to do things for him. Bah, what are you thinking about? Vi is everything to me. Zabuza shook his head to get rid of his random thoughts. Shiro smiled sweetly at Kimimaro. Kimimaro responded politely. After all, they are both children, and the two little guys quickly got to play together. They got bottle caps and tiles from nowhere. Act as mom and dad, play house. Right now, there was a commotion outside. It seemed like someone was quarreling. Chi Ye Jun, who was bored, stood up in a hurry. Zabuza is also an 8 trigram spirit at heart. He picked up the beheading sword and followed. I saw a woman wearing chicken coop hair. There was steam coming out of his mouth. The spittle was mixed with trout and breadcrumbs. Put your hands on your hips. He glared at the shop owner with a fierce look. Her language is also specially processed and paired with a high decibel sharp voice. Chi Ye Jun took a closer look. He patted his forehead helplessly with his hand. I'll choke you, Ant Snake, do you still want to have an image? At last night came. The space transformation is completed. Chi Ye Jun woke up from his dream. Advertisement. Chapter 140, Pampered by Brother Brakon. Advertisement. Diddy Diddy. The little frog alarm clock rings. Chi Ye Jun poked his little head out of the blanket with his messy hair. The thick eyelashes trembled slightly and she slowly opened her eyes. He yawned confusedly and looked towards the unfamiliar room. Huh? Where is this? His gaze squinted. 
He unexpectedly saw a man looking at him intently with a smile on his face. Chi Yejun jumped up instinctively. The man was as handsome and dazzling as ice and snow. He was wearing a lavender robe. Her chest and one shoulder were exposed. She has long white hair, delicate features, red eye shadow, and clear eyes. When he saw the two red dots between his eyebrows, Chi Yejun came to his senses completely. Kimi Maro, then I have ended the time and space transformation. He looked at the calendar. Strangeness, how come three days have passed? But, why is Kimi Maro called his younger brother? The system will jump out at this time. Give an explanation. Advertisement. Turn out to be. One day of time and space transformation is equivalent to three days in the original world. Moreover, the people brought back by time and space will automatically form a close relationship with the host. It could be friends, parents, siblings, lovers. Chi Yejun breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, they are not lovers. Brother, come and eat. Chi Yejun shook his head helplessly and walked into the kitchen. It turned out that the table was filled with various hot pots. Eating something so greasy so early in the morning. Haha, <laughs> I'm not very good at cooking. I saw these in the refrigerator, so I took them out to eat. Later, I'm going to sign up for a fire-style crash cooking class. Chi Yejun had no choice but to sit down. It took a meal for Kimimaro to understand. I, no, want, younger brother, control, elder brother. Kimimaro didn't care at all. Pick up the needle and thread and sew clothes, like a kind old mother. Oh no, what are you doing? Chi Yejun was speechless. Brother, we can both play with bones. Your current clothes are inconvenient and will break. I will sew you a backless dress, like my brother. Chi Yejun was completely petrified. No, quickly send him to Sunset Village to participate in major infrastructure construction. Ahem. Kimimaro suddenly coughed violently. The cough was heartbreaking. Then his face turned pale and he fainted. Chi Yejun touched his forehead. Advertisement. So hot? Get him to bed quickly. The system jumps out again. He suffered from a serious bacterial infection due to long-term use of dead bone pulse in a dark and humid dungeon, which brought various germs into the body. He also overoperated bone bud cells and osteoclasts, and was also slightly deficient in calcium. Isn't it because the bones are retracted after use and bacterial infection occurs? But why am I okay? Produced by the system, seamless. All right. Is there any solution? No. However, the system still scanned it for him. Fortunately, Kimimaro did not possess Orikimura's Earth Curse Seal. This also avoids accelerated infection. Jun Ikono casts Healing Jutsu. Although the intractable disease cannot be cured, the inflammation has been relieved a lot and the fever has gone away. If it is not completely cured, Kimimaro will still die, right? He thought of Yuzan Mu, so he summoned her. Chi Yejun made a request to get the healing medicine. Yuzan Mu thought for a while, nodded and said. The super antibiotic vaccine can completely immunize against inflammation, so you won't be infected in the future anyway. Bone regeneration cream can also regenerate bones. Even if you are severely injured in the future, bones can be regenerated even if they are broken into powder. Chi Yejun was overjoyed. Sister, can you give me some? Yuzan Mu smiled and nodded. Advertisement. But, the raw materials are gone. Yuzan Mu told Chi Yejun. Toadstool and jelly are necessary materials, but they are too scarce and I don't have them either. As long as you can get them, I can make the medicine. Toadstool? Snake gum? Why does it sound related to snakes? Where to get it? Right? He thought of the system's encyclopedia panel. So the holographic screen was summoned. I was stunned after checking it out. The origins of these two raw materials all come from the spawn cave of Orikimura. What the hell? Fortunately, Kaimimuro's condition is not fatal yet. Not in a hurry. Chi Yejun took out alcohol and iodophore and gave them to him. Don't play with bones for the time being. If you really need to play with them, use alcohol to disinfect them. I will find a way to help you treat your illness. Ikano Jun casts Flying Thunder God, taking him to Sunset Village. Place him in the manor. Carefully taken care of by dedicated nursing staff. Subsequently, he found Romanji and asked if there were any people named Kongo and Kongai in the village. It was evening when he returned to Kanaha Village again. Then I remembered that I forgot to receive the mission reward. And when I went to look for Naruto the next day, I found that he couldn't find it. Advertisement. Chapter 141, Get a Big Gift Package Reward. Advertisement. Sunset Village. Set up Kimimaro. Chi Yejun rushed to Hijia. Raiwanji is doing pregnancy yoga. The belly is ridiculously big. Could they be twins? Twin. Liwanji was stunned for a moment, then showed a happy expression. Chi Jun also imagined the picture. Kakashi has a baby on each shoulder. Just like Jiraiya has a shoulder and a toad. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Luenji smiled. Chi Yejun asked, then did you go for a B ultrasound? What? Fu Chao. Only then did Chi Yejun remember that there was no such technology as B ultrasound in this world. What a weird tech tree. The hospital even has brainwave equipment, but no B ultrasound machine. Return to Kanaha village. It's night. Chi Yejun was lying on the bed watching Tianbao Fuyaolu. To his delight. The omnipotent space seems to have some connection with the past world. The latest animations, dramas, and items will appear simultaneously. Although there is no internet. But his tablet always updates automatically. Advertisement. Wonderful. Seeing the wonderful and gorgeous fighting scene, he slapped his head. I forgot to sign in to receive the reward. He jumped up and opened the sign-in system. This mission is more difficult. It also spans time and space. And a blood successor was added to Sunset Village. The system awarded a big gift package. Open it and take a look. The first one is skewered octopus balls. I'll go. That's it. Chi Yejun was angrily eating. Don't eat it if you can. The system is very dissatisfied, but dare not say. The second item is Dead Bone Pulse's new ability, Beast Bone Control. Beast Bone Control? What's this? Please host go to Kanaha Forest to find out more. Chi Yejun put on his vest and underwear and got up. Run towards Kanaha Forest. Certainly. I still put a bone clone at home beforehand. Prevent third generation's crystal ball. At this moment. Kanaha Hospital. Advertisement. Naruto felt his eyes light up and slowly opened his eyes. What catches the eye are the white walls. My nose also smelled of formalin. You're awake. Excited voices came from the bedside. Naruto rubbed his eyes and adjusted to the fluorescent lights. Turning around, he saw a beautiful woman with long black hair. It was his baby wife. 
Shizuka from Nade's Hiko Village. Don't move and have a good rest. Naruto then lay down again, feeling much less tired from three days ago. Nade's Hiko Village is isolated and deprived. In addition to the salesmen who come to the village regularly, they also go out for shopping from time to time. Shizuka came to the Land of Fire this time to purchase tropical fruits. Passed by Kanaha Village to visit my future husband. Turns out Naruto was hospitalized. Naruto looked around and then asked, Am I in the hospital? Shizuka peeled an apple and handed it to him. Of course. Turn out to be. The last time Naruto summoned Gamabunta, he had already consumed too much chakra. In the original work, he collapsed and was hospitalized that day. But because I heard that master was treating me to a guest, he used his strong willpower to push himself to the ramen restaurant. Advertisement. After eating ramen, I went home and took a nap to recover a little. I also went to visit Suzuki the next day. As a result, when I came out of the hospital, I met Kanoamura, Mohuang, and the others. Naruto boasted in front of the children. Said he could summon a giant toad. The children curled their lips in disbelief. Then, Naruto led them to the edge of the cliff. The second cliff jump. Nine Tails obediently dedicated himself. The toad was also summoned again. But, Naruto finally collapsed due to exhaustion of chakra. He slept for three whole days. I didn't wake up until this moment. Toad Sage, where is my master? He murmured. Your master has just left. He has been coming to see you every day these past few days. Naruto then smiled happily. What about, Chino Jun? Chi Jun? He doesn't seem to have been here. Naruto immediately exploded. What? He never came once. Shizuka nodded. Well, I've been here for three days, and I know him. I'm 100% sure that he hasn't been here. Advertisement. Chapter 142 Dead Bone Pulse, Beast Bone Control. Advertisement. In the night, Chi Yejun flies like a shuttle. There was a dark shadow following him like a shadow. He was keen and had noticed it long ago, until we came to Kanaha Forest. A dark shadow appears. He is a ninja from the Sound Ninja Village. Orikimaru's men, because the time and space switch brought Kimimaro back, Orikimaru did not encounter this container, targeting Suzuki instead. This time Kanaha's collapse plan not only kills the third generation in revenge, but also wants to get Suzuki. Results a few days ago, his eyeliner found Chi Yejun who was performing the bone finger technique. Can you control bone bud cells so freely? Orikimaru takes a keen interest. Then, send someone to secretly follow and inquire about the situation. This sound ninja is a master of assassination and is good at assassination. And it has two chakra attributes, wind and earth. The power belongs to Jonin, only. His opponent at the moment is Chi Yejun. Earth style. Rock cut thorn. Sound ninja seal. The ground beneath Chi Yejun instantly sprouted spikes. Wind style. Spiral cover. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. A semicircular blue cover protected Chi Yejun. The hood spins rapidly. Break all the protruding spikes and knock them away. The gravel bounced towards the sound ninja. The sound ninja hurriedly avoided. Then he immediately used his special skills in order to achieve a quick victory. His special skill is called wind style. Ghost shadow kunao. This is a technology flow developed at the Orikimaru base. Infuse the wind attribute chakra into the unique kunao. Once the kunao cuts the enemy's body, the wound will continue to bleed and will not heal within a short period of time. People with weaker constitutions will bleed to death in a short time. What's even scarier is, Kunao cannot be resisted with weapons. Because of the blessing of the wind, Kunao is like an invisible ghost that will continue to move around all obstacles. Advertisement. See, the sound ninja's Kunao instantly transformed into a violent wind blade and attacked Ikono Jun. Ikono Jun continued to use the spiral cover. Unexpected, the Kunao actually penetrated the cover and flew out. Fortunately, Chi Yejun responded quickly. Leap into the air. Kunao flew past as it scraped against the solace of my feet. What's the situation? It actually penetrated the cover, but Chi Yejun reacted quickly. The things developed by Orikimaru have some heaven-defying technological properties. Whoosh whoosh. This time, several ghost Kunao were shot together. Earth style. Earth flow wall. A wall of earth appeared in front of him. Click. Even such a hard wall has been broken. The ghost Kunao was equipped with a wind blade, which penetrated directly through the earth flow wall and continued to shoot towards Ikono Jun. Multiple shadow clone. Fortunately, shadow clone shared the damage for him. Bang bang bang. The clones shattered and disappeared one by one. Although the opponent is strong. But it's just this one awesome trick. Chi Yejun quickly grasped the rhythm and faced it calmly. Yes, try the new reward. He thought of the beast bone control he had just obtained. Use it immediately. Beast bone control. Chi Yejun soared into the air and spun in the air. Whoosh whoosh. See, several bones flew out of the limbs, chest, and pelvis. Countless bones split instantly, flying around and disappearing without a trace. Immediately, several black shadows roared over, bringing up smoke and dust. What's going on? Does the enemy have reinforcements? Chi Yejun froze on the spot. Roar. Sudden, the beast roared. The black shadow rushed over and crashed directly into the sound ninja. What? Advertisement. Chi Yejun was shocked. After reacting, he immediately jumped to a high tree. I saw a dark shadow passing under me. Boom. Karma. Roar. Hiss. Several more black shadows roared past, bringing up huge amounts of smoke and dust. Until the smoke clears, Chi Yejun discovered that several wild beasts appeared in front of him. Wild boars, chimpanzees, brown bears, mammoths, and an old eagle. They are covered with bone armor. These bone armors are all formed by the splitting of bones shot by Aikia Jun just now. This is animal bone control. So awesome. Turn out to be, beast bone control can automatically find nearby powerful animals. And it can cover the split bones to strengthen and control them. Used by Jun, the corpse melting technique I learned before can only melt corpses into bones. Then cast the skeleton spell to revive it. The resurrected skeleton has no fighting power, it is purely for fear and pretense. The battle continues. The chimpanzee's claw sprouted sharp bones, and he leaped forward to attack the sound ninja from the air. Bone spurs sprouted from the boar's shoulders, and it charged at the enemy from the front. The elephant even swung its bones and teeth that had grown several times longer to hit the opponent. The sound ninja jumped and dodged. There were countless cuts on the body. He kept throwing out ghost kunao. Puff, the gorilla had wounds on its body and was bleeding. Wild boars and elephants were also scratched. Although they feel no pain, the body is damaged and can only stop. But the fighting didn't stop. A foot-long sharp claw protrudes from the brown bear's paw. Uh-huh, uh, the sound ninja left three claw marks on his chest. Blood surges, 
Finally it's the big eagle's turn. It flapped its wings and soared into the sky. The feathers of the wings turn into thousands of bone thorns, which shoot directly at the enemy. The sound ninja had been seriously injured. He could only roll to the side and dodge. Toshi Ikono is close. Game over. Advertisement. He didn't hesitate at all. The fist condenses chakra, and with majestic strange power, punches the opponent's temple. The brain matter shoots out directly, as the battle ends. The beast quickly fell to the ground and died. Since the beginning of bone control, their life has been rapidly lost and turned into strength. Although this technique is very powerful and can resist enemies better than shadow clone, it will hurt innocent animals and is too cruel. In my previous life, I have been advocating the protection of wild animals. Just thinking about it. Sudden, the dead beasts were resurrected one by one with full health and ran back to the forest. Haha, <laughs> very green and environmentally friendly technique. Love it, love it, Junji is very happy about this new dead bone pulse reward. There is one last bonus in the gift package. It's something like a dragon's claw. There are three extended knuckles on it, engraved with three animals, namely bear, bird, and fish. What does it mean? Chi Yejun was a little confused. This is a dragon claw key. Please host go to Sunset Village, follow the clues to find the key switch, and then open it to get the reward. I wipe it. So mysterious, the gift package then disappeared. Chi Yejun couldn't sleep, and a flying thunder god flew to Sunset Village. Except for the patrols keeping watch, the villagers had already gone to sleep. Everyone also knew Chi Yejun's boss identity, so naturally there was no questioning. Where are the clues? Chi Yejun was a little confused. At the system prompts, he summoned Shadow Butterfly. Shadow Butterfly took him to the beach. A thin layer of mist hung over the sea. Chi Yejun summoned Chi Zioxu and rode it behind Ziawa. Until an island appears. A tower is looming. Chi Yejun entered the bottom floor of the tower. Strangely enough, there are no stairs leading up. Chi Yejun started looking. Soon I found a ring on the ground, pulled hard, and a spacious passage appeared. As soon as I walked in, the candles on the wall lit automatically, and the musty smell hit my nose. There are strange murals painted on the walls of the passage. It seems that a village is shrouded in something. There is a war raging outside, but the village is safe. Chi Yejun didn't bother to take a closer look and continued walking down. A huge stone door appears at the end of the corridor. Could the reward be inside? Babies, the 300,000 word review is about to begin. I don't like to ask for gifts in every chapter like some readers do, but, this time, please support me and just watch the free ads, because during this period rewards are too miserable, less than 10 yuan a day, far away from the requirements of the website. The accumulation of small efforts is the greatest help and encouragement to me, can you not, kneel down and thank me miserably. Advertisement. Chapter 143, The Passage Under the Bath. Advertisement. Under the guidance of Shadow Butterfly, Chi Yejun came to a tall tower, found a door. There is a turntable on the gate, with a total of three turns from the inside to the outside. Twelve animal patterns are distributed in each circle. There are three slots in the center of the turntable, which correspond exactly to the dragon claw key. Chi Yejun studied for a moment. It suddenly dawned on me, according to the patterns of bears, birds, and fish, rotate the corresponding animal symbols in three circles to the twelve o'clock direction. Then insert the dragon claw key into the three holes. Turn hard, snap. After the crisp unlocking sound, the sound of mechanical rotation of gears was heard. The stone gate suddenly opened. Haha, <laughs> smart little orphan. Chi Yejun was very excited. I don't know if the pattern rotation is wrong and it will fire hidden arrows or something. The stone door opened and a secret passage appeared. Chi Yejun walked in. Boom, the stone door behind you closed automatically. Now, the dark passage suddenly became bright. The luminous stones on the stone wall light up in sequence from near to far. There are also various murals on the walls. The passage slowly ascends. Leads to a hall. There is a push-pull lever on the ancient stone table. What is this for? Chi Yejun did not find any clues after researching for a moment. The system jumped out. Ding, congratulations to host for discovering the third mission reward. Pulling the lever will open the Sunset Village Dome Mode. What? Advertisement. Dome Mode? It took some understanding to understand. Dome Mode is a powerful illusion. Normally nothing special. But if you encounter someone who has evil intentions towards the village or has malicious intentions towards the villagers, the illusion will take effect. What the enemy will see is a vast ocean. Once they step in, it will cause suffocation like falling into the sea. I'll go. This is too awesome. Haha. <laughs> Ikano Jun has been worried that Orokimura will find Kimimaro. Don't worry now. By the way, can this place be a refuge in the future? Can I also bring my friends here to avoid danger? Only those who must be registered and have Sunset Village registration are protected. All right. Don't worry, there will be a way to make everyone become my villagers in the future. Chi Yejun pulled the lever. The safety factor of Sunset Village has been improved. Just about to turn around and leave. The elegant butterfly flew deep into the hall. What? There are rewards? Chi Yejun followed suit. Turn out? There was a railroad track ahead, with a huge minecart on it. What's the situation? Does the Hokage world have rails and minecarts? Then he slapped his head. What a fool. There is no railway in the country of snow. And there must be mining in the Hokage world, otherwise where would coal and steel come from? Based on the principle that the Jinchuriki system will never harm yourself. Chi Yejun climbed onto the minecart excitedly. I found it when I went up. Not even safety belts or other protection. Produced by the system, perfect. Shut up. Advertisement. As soon as the system popped up and said the boastful advertising slogan, Chi Yejun slammed it back. Flip the switch. The minecart started slowly. Then the speed became faster and faster. But Chi Yejun could feel that the whole process was uphill. Although it is uphill, the speed is quite fast. It's less than 20 minutes. The minecart slowly stopped. Ahead is still a stone door. Or use the dragon claw key to open it. After opening, Chi Yejun was stunned. It felt like I was in an aquarium in Ocean Park. A glass passage suddenly appeared. On both sides of the passage are two large pools. He walked forward with doubts. Until another door appears. Chi Yejun found the switch and pressed it. A wardrobe appeared in front of me. Push gently. I go. It turned out to be his office in a hot spring resort. He thought of the wardrobe leading to the ice world in The Chronicles of Narnia. The secret door then closed. Chi Yejun sat on the sofa and fell into deep thought. This reward is actually a passage to Sunset Village. Although he possesses the Flying Thunder God, he is unable to teleport on a large scale. The passage can be used for emergency evacuation in the future. Or can it be built as a tourist channel? 
He walked into the passage again. That's when I discovered it. There is also a button near the secret door. After pressing the button, the black curtain was immediately lowered on the glass channel, and the overhead light was turned on. Chi Yejun is very satisfied with the reward of this big gift package, but he didn't know. Advertisement. There is also a hidden reward that he doesn't know about yet. Depart the hot spring resort. Ikano Jun discovered that Naruto was missing. There was no trace of him at home, at the training ground, or at the ramen restaurant. Chi Yejun was suddenly shocked. I have a bad feeling. Could it be that? He was organized by Orikimaru, or Akatsuki. Think about it this way. My whole body was covered in hair. For the first time, my heart felt extremely painful because I was worried about Naruto. Come back quickly, I can't bear it alone. Until I met Shikamaru, Kiba, Shino, and Koji on the street. Let's go to the hospital to see Naruto, Kiba said. Naruto, what happened to him? Chi Yejun was stunned. Shino said, I have insufficient blood and am in the hospital. Chi Yejun suddenly realized, Naruto must be addicted to summoning toads. As a result, Chakra was completely exhausted. Then, he also joined the visiting team. The team of handsome boys headed to the hospital. What a coincidence. Met Ino, Hineda and little Sakura who also went to visit Naruto. Yejunjun, you are here too? Let me treat you to three-color meatballs. Cosmos Ino said enthusiastically. Little Sakura shouted, Hey, Nympho, we're going to see Naruto. Ino glared at her, wide forehead. I mean after watching Naruto. The two started bickering again. Shikamaru rolled his eyes. Women are so troublesome. Koji was still eating potato chips, more fiercely than a pig. Hineda's little hands are habitually clasped in front of her chest. Like a cute little fairy. She asked softly, Junjun, I have been a little worried about you these past two days. Advertisement. Chapter 144 The two princesses gathered in the ward. Advertisement. On the way to the hospital, Ino is the most lively and chatters non-stop. What kind of flower seeds did I buy? My father's private money was discovered by my mother and I kneeled on the washboard, etc. Shikamaru's mouth twitched as he heard this. The ward at the moment. Nades Hiko Shizuko looked after Naruto thoughtfully. She helped Naruto up. Although Suzuki has recovered, Kakashi still keeps him in the hospital. This makes it easier to protect. He came to Naruto's ward. I was about to push the door open and go in, only to find a crack in the door exposed. From his perspective, Naruto seemed to be lying in Shizuka's arms. Boom, it's like five thunder strikes, the world collapses, shameless idiot. Advertisement. He cursed harshly. One day I will have a woman too. He clenched his fists and swore secretly, but still didn't leave. Shizuka has been taking care of her for three days. Naruto was a little embarrassed and said, Shizuka, it's time for you to go back. How can I, Uzumaki Naruto, be so weak? I'm fine. Besides, it's not good for a man and a woman to live alone in the same room. Shizuka pouted her red lips and said, If there's anything wrong, just take care of me. After three days of getting along, Naruto, although he hasn't fully understood it yet, is somewhat attracted to and fond of this beautiful girl. The two agreed. See you again half a year later. Wait for Shizuka to leave. There was a noise outside the corridor. Ikano Jun, Hineda, and their group pushed the door in. Everyone swarmed up. Passionate and caring. Suzuki suddenly felt sad. When I was in hospital, I never saw everyone so enthusiastic. Advertisement. With this thought, he silently exited the ward. Naruto was immediately excited when he saw so many people. But, when seeing Chi Yejun, his mouth pouted and his head cocked to one side. Haha, I'm angry. Chi Yejun walked over with a smile. There's no overnight feud between brothers, and there's nothing that a few comics can't fix. Naruto, who was very nervous, soon opened his mouth and laughed. According to the doctor's request, Naruto will be hospitalized for at least two days of observation. Shikamaru took the initiative to stay vigil. Chi Yejun laughed in his heart. No wonder he became 7th Hokage's personal chief of staff, and now he starts to flatter me. Haha, <laughs> night comes. Shikamaru lay on the bed beside him and fell asleep. Naruto, however, stared at the starry sky outside the window with his eyes wide open. He remembered the scene when he met Nine Tails. Since Nine Tails lived in the body, the relationship has slowly changed. It is no longer the prisoner prisoner relationship of the previous two terms. Instead, they became landlord and tenant. Advertisement. Nine Tails is also protecting Naruto secretly. The most obvious one is the Battle of Nerissa in the Valley of the End. Suzuki's second Chidori penetrated Naruto's chest muscles, lungs, and bones. Immediately, Naruto burst out Nine Tails chakra. Within seconds, recovering from serious injuries, it immediately confused Suzuki, except for protection. In fact, the seemingly fierce Nine Tails also taught Naruto a lot of common sense in life. At this moment Naruto looked at Shikamaru who was sleeping. He smiled and summoned Nariko. Nariko has caused nosebleeds to third generation, Iruka, Ebisu, Kakashi, and Jiraiya. Never thought about it. Shikamaru rubbed his sleepy eyes and said lazily, Color is emptiness. Only by not being greedy for beauty can you be content. Women are very troublesome, frustrated face. After that, he fell asleep again. The next day, Ikano Jun came to the ward to visit Naruto, but met Gara. Advertisement. Chapter 145 Gara outside the ward. Advertisement. Kanaha streets. It was bustling with people and lively. One after another, the carriages passed by. On it sat the daimyo and envoys from various countries who came to observe the Chinin examination. Everyone is showing off. Inside the barbecue shop, my guy, Kakashi, Sarutobi Asuma, and others are drinking and eating meat. Because Kakashi learned that they had triplets and was having a treat to celebrate. Asuma asks for the secret. Kakashi said proudly, there is no secret, it's just good genes. Subsequently, Chi Yejun came to the hospital. First find Suzuki. Suzuki's connotation has been further sublimated, and books such as A Brief History of Time can no longer meet his needs. Chi Yejun took out some new books and handed them to him. Laozi, Zhuangzi, Sunzi. Until Ikano Jun left, Suzuki started to see something more and more wrong. Pretending to be a grandson, he seems to be mocking me again. Chi Yejun came to the corridor with a smile. Not much different from usual days. Occasionally, there are a few patients doing stretching exercises with the nurse. When he passed Xiao Li's ward, he opened the door and took a look. Empty. Haha, <laughs> needless to say, I'm going to work hard again. Although he was seriously injured, Xiao Li still gritted his teeth and went downstairs to practice push UPS. He didn't listen to the doctor's advice at all. Chi Yejun understands that Xiao Li may not be able to be a ninja in the future. Grief can only be diluted through endless training. Right now, a nice floral scent came. 
Advertisement. Turn around and look. Day by day, she held bouquets of daffodils in her hands. A faint fragrance spreads in the ward. Tian Tian, are you here too? Chi Yejun greeted with a smile. Is it Toshi Aikino? Mr. Guy has something to do at noon. I'm here to see Rock Lee. Smile sweetly every day. Subsequently, the two went downstairs to find Xiao Li and persuaded him to return to the ward. Suddenly a gust of wind came. The curtains float. Xiao Li fell asleep because he was too tired. It was quiet every day with flowers arranged. Chi Yejun looked at her beautiful bun. He didn't notice the figure outside the ward at all. Now, Gara is standing at the door, recalling the scene on the day of the qualifiers. Guy saved Xiao Li at the critical moment. Gara asked angrily, but Guy said seriously, because he is my most beloved and important, subordinate. In my dreams for the next few days, Gara dreams about this scene repeatedly. This deep friendship was something he had never experienced before. I'm just a tutor, why do I love a student so much? Is it a loss of morality or a distortion of human nature? Gara never understood. Not long, Chi Yejun suddenly felt the slight friction sound keenly. A chill followed. He turned back sharply. What caught the eye was the yellow sand that was spreading rapidly. And the murderous Gara. Advertisement. Gara stood at the door. His face was ferocious, and his pupils exploded with terrifying lines. The yellow sand crawled towards Xiao Li's hospital bed, like a yellow snake. Right now, the system suddenly jumped out. Issue a task. Ding. Issue plot sign-ins to stop Gara's dangerous behavior. In the original plot, Guy eventually shows up to stop Gara. But at this moment, Guy is eating barbecue. Hey, what do you want to do? Chi Yejun stood up and wanted to stop him. But if he wasn't careful, he was pushed away by Huangsha. I was wiping, but I forgot to dodge, I was careless. Tian Tian also took out his ninja tool. Gara gave her a deadpan look. He raised his hand just to kill her. Right now, before Chi Yejun could take action, Gara's half-raised hand couldn't move. Shikamaru arrives just in time. Use shadow imitation to control the opponent. Bang, Naruto, who came with him, raised his hand and punched Gara. Shikamaru immediately covered his face. The shadow imitation technique itself will also suffer collateral damage. You bastard, what are you going to do with your thick eyebrows? Naruto roared. Gara said coldly, I want to kill him. Shikamaru was shocked and broke into a cold sweat. Why are you doing this? You obviously won the game, do you have a personal grudge against him? Despite being controlled by the shadow, but Gara remained calm. Advertisement. There is no grudge, I just want to kill him. Naruto gritted his teeth. Tia Nation's almond-shaped eyes are wide open and she's very cute when she's angry. Are you crazy? How could you attack an unsuspecting patient? Shikamaru snorted coldly. He is just a self-righteous guy who lacks tutoring. At this moment, Gara was exuding strong murderous intent. Even Chi Yejun shuddered. Goosebumps appeared on my arms. This feeling is something I couldn't experience when watching anime before. Gara glanced around coldly. Even if there are four of you, you may not be my opponent. If you try to stop me, I will kill you too. Chi Yejun laughed. How arrogant? Although I don't dislike Gara, but he still didn't like how unruly he was at the moment. Just thinking about how to stop him, Naruto clenched his fist, pointed at him and shouted, Asshole, let's try it. Shikamaru was a little frightened and stopped him immediately. Shut up Naruto, this guy is different from ordinary people, he is as strong as a monster. Naruto gritted his teeth, I'm not afraid of him, we still have Chi Yejun. besides, I also have a monster in my body, I won't lose to this guy. Hearing this, Gara slowly lowered his head, monster, it seems we are all the same. Subsequently, he began to tell his story. My mother Garuro took the life of me when I was born. In order to make me the strongest ninja, my father used the avatar of sand to possess me. I was a monster from birth. Tian Tian looked at him in horror. The incarnation of sand. It is the soul of the old monk San Shinobi who was sealed in Shikaka's boiling pot. Then there was a burst of pain. Advertisement. Chapter 146 If you have the ability to fight with me. Advertisement. Facing Gara's cruelty. In the whole room, only Chi Yejun understands and sympathizes the most. If Naruto's childhood difficulty is barely considered level 13, then Gara has level 1300. No Jinchuriki's childhood was as miserable as his. Gara's father Luosha, in order to judge his value and business ability, began to secretly test him. Gara's uncle is named Yashimaru. Yashimaru, a sister controller, accepted the Raza test arranged by Gara because of the death of his sister Gara. As a result, the assassination attempt failed and he blew himself up and died. But he told Gara that your biological mother also dislikes you. Hear this? Gara decisively went berserk, and Shikaku spilled out of his body and destroyed the entire Sunagakur. Luosha immediately concluded that Gara was a failure. In the years that followed, Luosha sent people to assassinate his son six times. This kind of father being killed by Ant Snake is also very satisfying. Luosha's series of disgusting behaviors. This led to Gara's distorted character and miserable childhood. And in the future, he also fell in love with Huang Mao, whom he shouldn't have loved, and his soul was taken away after a fight. He remained single until middle age. Ten minutes passed. The ward was silent. Gara continued. Chi Yejun was also drunk. In addition to secretly singing, this guy is also a talkative person. Fortunately in the end, he finally concluded. My existence is to kill everyone except myself. Because there is always the fear of being assassinated in my inner world, only by killing everyone else can I feel at ease. Fight only for yourself, only love Shura. After finishing speaking, Chi Yejun smiled and took the lead in applauding. Advertisement. But Tian Tian covered her mouth, extremely shocked. Naruto's heart was turned upside down. He stared blankly at Gara, seeming to resonate with her. He also struggled to find a reason to live. Fortunately, he met Mr. Iraka who recognized and loved him. Chi Yejun also became the first friend to accompany him. And Suzuki, Shikamaru, Koji, and of course Jiraiya. This made him feel that living was a happy thing. But this Gara has always been alone. Maybe from this moment on, the two have established a tacit understanding in their inner world. But sympathy is sympathy? It's another matter if you dare to run into the ward and act wild. Naruto pointed at his nose and cursed. Gara was also extremely disdainful of him. Looking at the scene where the two Jinshuriki are facing each other tit for tat. Chi Yejun couldn't help laughing. The two stopped yelling and looked at him. Is it that funny? The reason why Junji laughed was because he thought of the plot many years later. It's a complete reversal from this moment. Even Raza, who was reincarnated by Impure World in the fourth battle, was shocked. Wow, you kid can actually make friends. 
Yellow sand gushes out again. At this moment in the original work, my guy just arrived and prevented the possible danger. At this moment, we can only rely on Chi Yejun to resolve the crisis. Chi Yejun immediately stepped forward. Gara sarcastically said, After all, I am an official. Second generation, do you have a clear conscience when you sneak attack a patient who has no fighting ability? Are you still a human being? You have the ability to fight with me. If you are excited, you will add your mouth to escape. The yellow sand on Xiao Li's body finally faded away. Gara put all the sand back into the gourd and followed Ikono Jun towards the door with heavy steps. But, he still turned back to stare hard at Naruto. He said calmly, I will definitely kill you, just wait. Advertisement. Chi Yejun couldn't help but said, when the time comes, it will be too late to love, and we will still kill. What did you say? Naruto and Gara asked simultaneously. Ahem, it's nothing. Subsequently, Gara and Toshichino came to the rooftop of the hospital. Naruto and the others wanted to come to help in the battle. Stopped by Chi Yejun. Brother Shinjun. On the rooftop. A hot wind blows, and Ikono Jun and Gara confront each other. Naruto and the others followed anyway. But he just stood at the rooftop door and watched the battle. But everyone is ready to join the battle at any time. Sudden, two more people ran upstairs. It was Tamari and Kankuro. Tamari and Tian Tian once fought against each other, and Tian Tian lost miserably. When the two met, they glared at each other. Subsequently, Tamari ran to the rooftop to stop Gara. After seeing Chi Yejun, he smiled. Kankuro also ran forward. Lying down in his ear and whispering, Brother, you will expose your abilities like this? Don't forget our mission and plan. Gara at this moment. All he wants is to kill? Where is the plan? In desperation, Tamari opened the big fan with a swipe. A flying jump. Jumped directly onto the fan. Suddenly he flew out from the roof of the building, because there were no mobile phones in the Hokage era, she could only go to the master in person. Chi Yejun was almost stunned. He caught another piece of evidence that Kishimoto borrowed from Journey to the West. Princess Iron Fan is definitely the prototype of Tamari. Hey, why don't you fight? Advertisement. Gara pushed Kankuro away and asked impatiently. Chi Yejun smiled. Fight? Whoever doesn't fight is the grandson. Subsequently, the two began to fight fiercely. At the same time, Gara's father, Luosha, is rushing to the location. More than a month ago, Luosha had set his sights on resource-rich Kanaha. The opportunity was to strike up a conversation with Orikimura, Prime Minister of Nakuni. After the two fencing for a while, they hit it off, so they conspired to attack Kanaha. It turned out that a big game of chess was played very well. As a result, Orikimura rebelled. At that time, the only thing Luosha thought about was that you are so beautiful. Little did he know that Ashi had made a cool move. The border between the land of fire and the land of grass. A deserted cliff. Luo Xia finally arrived at the meeting place. As a result, Daudu and Binbin, who replaced Kaimimuro's supporting roles, were discovered. He looked at Orikimuro confused. Ash, let's go to the desert to pan for gold, shall we? Luo Shanai said crookedly, then bent down to tie her shoelaces. Orikimuro yelled angrily, FK you old gold miner. After saying that, he drew out his sword. Luo Xia was not prepared at all. Stab him hard in the back of the heart. Before death, Raza finally recognizes Orikimuro's face. It was difficult to say the last words. I was careless, you, a young man, don't have martial ethics, you came to cheat, you came to sneak attacks, you bullied an old comrade of mine, this is not, good, I hope you are a rat's tail juice, go to hell. Orikimuro thrust hard a few more times. Luo Xia finally burped. Orikimuro sneered, disguised himself as Raza, and headed towards Konoha. P.S. The vacant room on the fifth floor opposite my house has finally been rented by two young ladies. They just came to see the room in the evening and seemed to have cleaned it up, but they haven't moved in yet. Advertisement. Chapter 147 Gara was slapped in the face. Advertisement. The sun is scorching, and the sun is like fire. Men and women all hid in their houses to escape the heat. Only on the rooftop of Kanaha Hospital. Ikano Jun and Gara are about to start a fierce battle. Naruto cheered from the side. Come on Zaijan. Kill that red-haired gourd kid. Brakon Kankuro immediately counterattacked. You golden retriever, why do you have such a bad mouth? Are you calling me a dog? You big Tibetan mastiff. You're a chihuahua. The two cursed each other, showing the different dialect characteristics of the two countries. Gara was unaffected. Without making any seals or clapping, the sand just came out. It was spinning around him like a yellow greedy snake. Chi Yejun couldn't help but laugh, the special effects are so pretentious. Subsequently, a ball of blue electricity slowly appeared in his hand. It made a crackling sound. Naruto stopped yelling and was stunned. Raisnon can still be charged. It was this time that made Naruto become interested in Mariko. So much so that massive Raisnon, wind-style Raisnon, Raisin absorption were developed later. Gara slowly approached Ikono Jun. Chi Yejun summoned Xiao Hei to remain unchanged in response to all changes. When the distance between the two is close to 5 meters, the sand around Gara is gathering more and more. Raise your hand and quickly grab it in the air, hand of sand. Chi Yejun recognized it. Really? Part of the sand turned into sharp claws and grabbed at him. Chi Yejun didn't panic at all. As a Hokage fan of time travel, understanding the abilities of each character is also a great cheat. He releases a huge thunder and lightning rays non. Collide with the sand? Make a sizzling sound. Sand's hand was immediately electrocuted and turned into powder and fell to the ground. Gara is actually testing the opponent's strength. Chi Yejun turned from defense to offense. Draw out that shining Kusanagi sword, rush towards Gara quickly. Advertisement. Boom, the long sword struck directly at the opponent, but was blocked by the sand condensed out of thin air. This is what Gara's mother turned into after her death, specifically used to protect him. The condensed sand hung in midair. Although it blocked the attack, it still sank a little. Gara's sand claws clawed at the opponent again. Chi Yejun jumped, perfectly dodged a blow. Since then, there have been more and more ninjutsu and teijutsu. How to flexibly use and combine them in different battles is what he urgently needs to master. Gara thought that it would be easy to deal with his opponent. I didn't expect that the other party had a lot of brushes. He frowned. A sand palm was condensed again. But, this time the palm is at least ten times as thick as before. There are three fingers on it. And it gets sharper towards the fingertips. At the same time, Gara's face is also covered with a layer of sand, making his appearance look a bit distorted and terrifying. Kankuro was immediately shocked. If this continues, my brother will lose control. Why haven't Tamari and Master come yet? Chi Yejun sneered. 
Haha, you can change forms, and so can I. It seems like it's time for a serious fight. The invisible Xiao Hei was guarding him. Ikono Jun used multiple shadow clone to confuse his vision. The body remains motionless. Until two frog lines appeared on the face and the pupils of the eyes turned completely black. Shikamaru and others were shocked. Sigma, degree degree, degree degree. What's the situation? How did Ji Yejun become a ghost eye? Naruto had been studying with Jiraiya for a while after all. I've also seen what Jiraiya sage mode looks like. He was extremely shocked inside. Could it be that? Zaijun can also sage mode? Wow, Toad Sage is really biased. Chi Yejun smiled and comforted loudly. Gugua, don't worry, I'll wait for you Uzumaki Naruto 9 tail sage mode to join you, with Raisinon in your left hand and Tailed Beast Bomb in your right hand. If you don't agree with it, you can reason with it. Naruto grinned after hearing this. Gara also saw changes in Ikono Jun. Advertisement. He was very disdainful and sarcastically said. It's just a flashy display. It's okay to scare others, but it won't work for me. If you have the ability to turn your eyes at me, I will obey you. Chi Yejun smiled coldly. Slap your hands on the ground. A small but majestic tiger cub appears. Summoning technique. Gara was shocked. Naruto and others were even more stunned. Zaijun will summoning the tiger clan. Kankuro mocked, where is the tiger clan? I think it's just a kitten, haha. <laughs> Yuji's reverse scale is that some people say it is a cat? A lightning bolt? Rushed forward? Uh huh. The sharp claws pulled off Kankuro's pants. Shikamaru and others were all stunned. Naruto pointed at him and smiled. Haha, <laughs> Sunagakura's acorns are not as big as Kanoamura's. Tian Tian couldn't help but glance at it, and immediately covered his mouth and laughed. Kankuro said he was very hurt. Sigma, asterisk. Yuji returned to the center of the rooftop. Transformed into a human form, stepped forward and took Chi Yejun's hand. Orange in the orange. There's another frying pan down there. Can you still transform? Yuki's pupil technique reached Chi Nojun's eyes. Chi Yejun's black pupils instantly turned white. Turn out to be. Tiger Eye's pupil technique is white when it is used. Gara was so shocked. What a supercilious look. What nonsense. Isn't it too quick to slap someone in the face these days? Gara's spirit returns. The giant sand hand attacks again. Toshinori Ikono cast multiple shadow clone. Bang bang bang. Advertisement. The clones broke apart one after another. Seeing that Sunashao is about to attack the body that absorbs natural energy. Xiao Hei suddenly jumped out and struck the sand claw with one claw. Have no choice. Sand claw is too big. Although the force of the slap was powerful, the attack surface was too small and did not cause any damage. Yuki wants to use water style. Tiger breaks the waves. It's a pity that there is no water on the rooftop. Shadow clones disappear one by one. Gara's giant sand claw suddenly attacked Ikono Jun's body. Just at the critical moment, Ikono Jun ends the energy absorption. Sage mode is on. See, a blue breath shot out from the mouth, accompanied by a harsh sound. It's like the noise made by blackboard sassafras rubbing against a blackboard. Soon his hand was immediately frozen, Gara was shocked. Chi Yejun exhaled again, want to freeze Gara. Gara responded quickly. Quickly dodge out of breath range. Then cast sand shield. An absolute defensive sand shield was built. It was as if a giant egg enveloped him. This absolute defense does not come from the power of the tailed beast, but from Garuro's love for his son. Chi Yejun did not use any strange power or pain. Because he knows. The high density sand is gathered together and is as hard as steel, making it impossible for ordinary attacks to break through. You might even break your leg if you kick it down. Think about it. He raised his hands, Bayu Bia Bayu, shooting at the sand balls. One round, two rounds, three rounds. As soon as Chi Yejun's finger bone was ejected, it magically grew again. I was stunned every day. What kind of ninja tool is this? Why have I never seen it before? Advertisement. Chapter 148 Xiao Li starts the happy sage mode. Advertisement. Rounds of finger bone attacks. Although they were all knocked away by the sand shield, it was because they were in sage mode. The penetrating power of bullets increases dramatically. There are still tiny cracks in the sand shield. Haha, <laughs> that's enough. Then, Toshi Ikono summoned two hives. The overwhelming swarm of bees swarmed towards sand egg. Sage mode has one minute left. The swarm quickly found the crack in the sand shield and got in. This ninjutsu is called Gu Release. Withered bee swarm? It can summon two beehives, and a swarm of bees will emerge to strangle the opponent. During the strangulation process, it will absorb the opponent's chakra and life essence. The sand egg suddenly shook. Apparently, Gara inside is under attack. Kankuro's expression changed drastically. Chi Yejun also squinted his eyes and said, Haha, one tail was indeed alarmed. And Naruto, who had been watching the battle, Suddenly I feel like the karema inside my body is ready to move. It seems like something is hooking it. And at this moment, the ward downstairs. Rock Lee woke up leisurely, but found that there was no one in the house. Advertisement. Teacher guy, where are you? The relationship between master and apprentice is indeed deep. Chun Li, the little nurse who liked him, ran in. She has the same bun as Tian Tian. Li, I'm here. Xiao Li frowned slightly when he saw it was her. He has already told Chun Li, a passionate youth does not need a partner. Chun Li smiled and retorted, then why do you like that little Sakura? Chun Li didn't give up. The fighting was still going on upstairs. The huge sand shield swayed a bit. Sudden, the sand egg began to shake again. A thick arm slowly stretched out from the egg. The arms have ancient dark purple patterns, like a terrifying beast's claw. Kankuro is not calm anymore. What's wrong with this? He's going berserk. Right now, two black figures galloped up from downstairs. Step aside. It was to Mary and Beiki. Beiki ran forward, looking serious. As an early Hokage elite jonin, he is pretty good. Advertisement. He naturally felt the terrible aura. Just like when I was in Sunagakur before. One tail's violent aura. He looked at the dome beside him. He lowered his voice and growled. Gara, what do you want to do? Have you forgotten why you came to Kanaha? Put away your murderous intent. This moment, Gara seemed to wake up with a start. Subsequently, he began to suppress Shikaku's aura that was about to stir within his body. Not a moment. The beast's claw slowly retracted into the sand egg. The sand eggs also began to collapse and turned into quicksand. Gara's figure appears. In fact, even if Beiki hadn't arrived, his chakra would have collapsed. Because they are all absorbed by the bee swarm. 
His face was extremely pale, cold sweat broke out, and he had lost a lot of his life essence. Tamari stepped forward to support him. Then he looked back at Chi Yejan. The eyes are very complicated. With Kankuro's help, Gara left the rooftop. But, before going downstairs, what else Gara wanted to say was interrupted by Naruto. Okay, go and have a rest. Don't you just want to say, just wait, sooner or later I will kill you all. Can you come up with something new? Gara's face turned blue and white. Advertisement. Staring at Naruto coldly, he said angrily, Boy, next time I meet you alone, you will be in trouble. After that, he left the rooftop. Originally it was nothing, but being sucked in by Toshi Ikono's swarm, Gara's chakra was severely overdrawn. As a last resort, he was hospitalized to recuperate. Chi Yejun counted on his fingers. How many people were hospitalized after a Chinin exam? Downstairs, there was a knock on the ward door. Xiaoli, why are you locking the door in broad daylight? Are you okay? Tian Tian shouted anxiously outside. Chun Li had no time to comb her hair into two buns, so she could only open the door with her hair disheveled. Everyone was stunned. What's the situation? Chun Li's face turned red. He lowered his head and ran away. Of course I know Jun saw what was happening. Subsequently, when he Tian Tian went downstairs, Chi Yejun received the mission reward. Because of this reward, he plans to meet Gara again. Thank you to all the gifts. Your support is a great encouragement to me. I suddenly received a notification yesterday and was shocked to get a god tier certification. Thank you for the helpless cookies. The room opposite is still dark, and the ladies haven't moved in yet. Could it be that they are moving during the weekend? Advertisement. Chapter 149. Go to Tia Nation's house to sign in. Advertisement. Looking at Xiaoli who was blushing, Chi Yejun laughed dumbly. But think about it. In what way is our Chinese style Xiaoli worse than others? Why did you cheat for two minutes and get banned for 700 episodes? Naruto's hospital room at the moment. Naruto was envious of Ikono Jun's sage mode. His current ideal is to become an immortal as soon as possible? By the way Shikamaru, what is your ideal? Shikamaru looked out the window and said lazily, I just want to be a ninja and make some money. Then I will marry a woman who is neither beautiful nor ugly and have two children. The first is a girl and the second is a boy. When my daughter gets married, my son can also when I am on my own, I will retire from my job as a ninja. After that, I will live a leisurely and secluded life playing chess or go every day, and then die before my wife. These are my ideals. Naruto couldn't help but stick out his tongue. I can't understand this life without passion. Kanaha in April. The fire is like summer. Chi Yejun and Tian Tian left the hospital. We happened to pass by Shikamura's house. An old man with pineapple hair in his head was sitting under the old tree in front of the house. Drink rice wine and eat fried snails. What a wonderful leisurely day. Shikamura's ideals come from heredity. Subsequently, Junji received the award. Advertisement. What I got this time was two ninja tools. One is the attack claw that increases attack speed. One is the water spider, which is a river crossing prop that allows you to walk on water for a long time without consuming chakra. Oh no, even give me Shikamaru's shadow technique? These two are completely useless to me. Chi Yejun disappointedly put the two ninja tools into the space. Now, Tian Tian couldn't help but ask. Chino Jun, what kind of ninja tool was that white bone of yours during the battle just now? Chi Yejun scratched his head. That's really not a ninja tool, it's dead bone pulse's unique physical technique. Oh, that's how it is. I'm a little disappointed every day, but he still showed a sweet smile. Observe the whole process of today's battle. She completely changed her opinion of Chi Yejun. I even secretly feel that Toshi Ikono is not as powerful as Niji. Thank you, Ikono Jun. Thank me for what? Chi Yejun showed a bright smile. If it weren't for you, Xiaoli might be in danger today. The two of them kept walking like this. The further we go, the hotter it gets. Chi Yejun simply took out a big umbrella. Throw it and levitate it in midair. The shadows are cast, just enough to provide shade for Tian Tian. This is. Tian Tian looked up and asked curiously. Advertisement. Haha, <laughs> this is ninjutsu. Ryu Ben's prop. The oil umbrella can shoot countless thousands of arrows to attack the enemy, but don't worry, it is absolutely safe at this moment, haha. <laughs> Tian Tian wondered, then this umbrella can always be suspended in the air. Chi Yejun explained, of course it is controlled by chakra. I am afraid that you will be too hot. Tian Tian smiled sweetly again and said, I'm not that precious. After saying that, he jumped up, took off the umbrella, and studied the structure carefully. Chi Yejun sighed. Sure enough, there are only ninja tools in my eyes. Right now, the system suddenly jumped out. Ding. To publish a check-in task, please host go to Tia Nation's home to sign in. What the hell? Going to Tia Nation's house? I'm not familiar with her either. Why do you have the nerve to speak? Just thinking about it. Then they came to a three-story wooden villa. Tia Nation's house has arrived. It is indeed a rich woman's home. Every day I just say something casually. I'm home. Would you like to come in and have a glass of juice? What she didn't expect was. Chi Yejun actually nodded with a smile. Okay. Advertisement. Degree degree. I regret it so much that my intestines turn green every day. Although my impression of Chi Yejun has changed a lot. But I'm not familiar with it after all. Niji and Xiaoli have never been to their home. This man is really thick-skinned. Can't you hear the polite words? Without any choice. He could only invite Chi Yejun in. Chi Yejun was overjoyed. The mission is expected to be completed. Haha. <laughs> He took the initiative to put on slippers. What the hell? I was so smoked every day that I couldn't even open my eyes. Then, you don't need to change your shoes. Tian Tian couldn't help but say. Chi Yejun chuckled. Put on your shoes quickly. Sitting on the sofa in the living room, I couldn't help but ask. Where are your parents? He really wanted to meet Tia Nation's parents. Dad went to the Iron Kingdom to purchase goods, and Mom was looking at the store. After, the two of them were speechless. The atmosphere was a little awkward for a while. Chi Yejun thought for a while. An idea strikes? I plan to give Tian Tian a big surprise. Advertisement. Chapter 150. Heading to Sister Spider's Gooming Forest. Advertisement. Ikono Jun's hand reached into the large pocket of his pants. Take out two things. One is the attack claw. One is a water spider. They are all the ninja tools that were rewarded by the system just now. This is. My eyes shine every day. These are two of my ninja tools. I know you like to collect them, so I'll give them to you. Tian Tian was shocked. Cover your mouth. Isn't this bad? Is it really okay? Chi Yejun nodded. Really, I have a lot more at home. 
Tian Tian then took the two ninja tools. Can't put it down. I will compress them in the scroll when I get back. Chi Yejun, thank you so much. I can't even repay you. I have a new ninja tool every day, which makes me smile. Subsequently, Chi Yejun continued. Tian Tian, have you ever heard of Frostmorn, Sun Chaser's Bow, One Strike Kill, Murasame, and Kan Huo Taishao? Bang Kai. Tian Tian shook his head, his face full of curiosity. Chi Yejun spoke in detail. He kept talking for half an hour, because he understands the truth. Advertisement. If you want to gain the other person's favor, you must first understand the other person's preferences and have like-minded interests. Really? It's like opening up another world every day. Although I love ninja tools. But Chi Yejun said that she had never heard of these. Simply magical. In her eyes, Chi Yejun is knowledgeable, knows everything, and loves ninja tools as much as he does. After the introduction, Chi Yejun's voice became hoarse. I wanted to find a few books about ninja tools from space. But it turned out not to be the case. Finally, he took out a set of World Machinery Industry Standards collection and gave it to her. Including milling cutter, reamer, threading tool. Although some of it is unclear. But I am still happy to accept it every day. Unconsciously, she regarded Toshi Ikeno as a like-minded ninja friend. Tian Tian, there must be various ninja tools in your room, right? Why don't you show me around? Tian Tian shook his head. My ninja tools are all in the scroll. All right. I am worrying about how to go upstairs. Tian Tian suddenly asked. By the way, can you fix the air conditioner? It seems that the air conditioner in my room is not working. The opportunity has come. Advertisement. Chi Yejun said immediately. Of course. How about I help you take a look? The cheerful Tian Tian nodded and took Chi Yejun upstairs without thinking too much. Kick, kick, kick. The two came to the second floor. What surprised Chi Yejun? Tian Nation's room is like a world in another dimension. The corners of his mouth twitched as he looked at the cartoon sheets, love photo frames, and standing cabinets stuffed with stuffed toys. This. Is this really the room of Tian Tian who likes all kinds of cold ninja tools? Even the gentle Hinata's bedroom is not so dreamy? Tian Tian smiled awkwardly. My mother did this for me, and I don't really want to do this. Subsequently, Chi Yejun started repairing the air conditioner. After tinkering for a long time, I still can't figure it out. The system can't stand it. No more Freon. Chi Yejun said immediately, we have found the crux. Freon needs to be added. Wow, Zaijun, you even understand this, that's amazing. Tian Tian then brought a cup of papaya tea. There was a cartoon puppy lying on the rim of the cup, its tail raised happily. This is too kawaii. After returning to the apartment, Chi Yejun summoned the system and received the reward. This time the reward is different. It actually requires Chi Yejun to go to Gu Mingsun to collect it in person. Advertisement. Gu Mingsun, a place of heritage like Ryakai Cave, Mount Mayaboko, Shigong Forest, and Flower Valley. Chi Yejun thought of the lifeless and dark forest. A house made of bones. There is also the spider immortal who enchants the whole country. It has been several months since the last time I went to Gu Mingsun. Chi Yejun almost forgot about it. How to get there? Think for a moment. Only then did I remember. The system once rewarded a way to go to Gooming Forest. So he immediately got into the universal space. Not far from the library. There are several arches. One of the doors has a toad symbol on it and is transparent, allowing you to see the lush greenery of Mount Mayaboku. It means that the door is activated and Chi Yejun can enter at any time. The door with the spider logo on it also became transparent at this moment. Chi Yejun stepped in. A wave of dizziness came over me. When I opened my eyes, I found myself in a dark forest. But it was not the spider immortal who greeted him, but a beautiful sister. Hello sister, where is the spider immortal? I'm here to receive the reward. If you want a reward, please come with me. Finished. All sorts of things. I took Chi Yejun to a pool. 